Good evening, gamers, and welcome back to Hellstorm Wargaming. You are joining us in Ulfen Calm this evening, because today we're going to be playing Warhammer Quest Curse City. And my name's Mikey. Hey, thank you very much for the host. Really appreciate it, Hellstorm guy. I'm joined by Georgie. Hi there. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? I'm all right, thank you. Are you ready to adventure down into the dark, deep, vampire-ridden city? How, yes. A yes. hundred million percent, yes. <laughs> so now's a good time to tell us if the sound's okay, if the music's too loud or too quiet, if Georgie can be heard, if I can be heard. Uh, but welcome to the stream, everyone. Uh, Daddy Gamble, welcome to the stream. We're streaming to YouTube and Twitch right now. Brian Finord, thank you very much for the two pound, uh, two dollars. Sorry, really appreciate it. Um, who else have we got? We got Tom in the chat. Hey there. We got Marius Mickelson. Got my order in. So I, now I just need to constantly see gameplay while I wait. So here I'm. Here I am. Excited to see Flow compared mm -hmm. to Shadows over Hammer Hall and Little Blackstone Fortress. I played. So I've never. I've actually owned Blackstone Fortress, but never played it. But I think they've basically taken that system and fine tuned it. Yeah. So hopefully, um, it'll look good. Thank you very much to the host. Really appreciate it. Uh, that's and Des. Thank you, man. Uh, nice gothic vibe with the candles. Well, thank you. They're, Finally, they're my time to shine came. And he was like, is this a like, goth game about vampires? Do you want to play, play it? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I've been waiting for that, that question. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was happy to help set dress today. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the miniature, as someone's pointed out, yes, the miniatures aren't painted. Thank you much to Games Workshop for sending the board game on Thursday evening. Um... Thursday night, yeah. Thursday night, yeah. So I had one day to learn how to play, build the models, and I didn't get a chance to paint it. So thank you very much to them for sending it through. Um, this isn't, it's obviously they're endorsing it, but hopefully we can give some honest feedback about what we think. Yeah. And whether we like it or dislike <laughs> it. We've both played, we're playing the same mission we've already played. Um, so hopefully we get all the rules right. That's the main thing. Uh, but we did enjoy the first one. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. It was good. It will save opinions till the end. It was, yes. It was fine. <laughs> It was fine. <laughs> so do you want to tell me who you've brought? Because we, we're both playing two characters today because essentially we're four heroes at a time. Mm -hmm. um, and I've set up my stream deck so we can have a look at their character cards while you tell me who you've brought. I'll start with um, Yelson, if I may. Yelson? Yeah. Um, so Yelson Darok, um, he is Van Helsing, essentially. Basically. Um, but, yeah, I, I, liked, um, I liked his backstory. Mm -hmm. He is Vampire Hunter Extraordinaire. Um, and he's got a cool hat. So, yeah, he's got a cool hat. As you can see from his um, character card, what I like is that all of the stuff super thematic, um, so everything that you would expect an elite vampire hunter to be able to do, he can do. He has stakes, he has blades, he has big vampire guns, and um, yeah, he's cool. He's cool. He's cool. So that's Yelton. You've also got Cleona. Yeah, I've got Cleona Zeitengale as well, who I also love. Um, she's kind of like she's like a priest clericy type um and when her when all of her sisters were eliminated by the baddies she took it upon herself with the great grace and glory of sigma to go after them and get a vengeance mm. and she's she's, she's she's a heavy hitter she she really is um and i think i will be honest i didn't i i I read the law and I looked at the figures, like the minis, and that's how I picked them. Mm -hmm. I don't care about stats. I want the cool ones. So I'm that's glad how you I picked them. <laughs> but you actually remembered the law that we read yesterday. Do you need me to tell you the law for your guys? No, I will remember. Okay. So I have brought Imelda, which is the the basically who I'm photoshopped as on the thumbnail. Um, she's very cool. She's a captain. She's got a sword. Do you want me to? She's got a bird thing on her shoulder, which is pretty cool. Amanda's kind of like Brienne of Tarth. Yes. Um, and you can see in the sculpture's <laughs> which I think it's really cool. So she um, was the last remaining member um, of her kind of knight troop. And they're like the elite warriors. And she came from a, a poor background. And she worked her way up in the military. And she is, you know, stony and steely. And it is her mission now to avenge her fallen comrades. Mm. There you go, exactly. So what I was going to say. Thank you for saying it much better than I ever could. <laughs> and then finally, we have Prince Glorio van Alten the Third, a prince, a legend, what a bank. Was... That was Glorio getting pretty mad. I think. Okay. You okay. Yeah. Just something knocking. We got neighbours. Um. So he's basically he's a little bit of a trickster in the in a sense that he doesn't like to get into the fight. He very much likes to watch other people get into the fight. Um. 
so he doesn't really like fighting. That's it. Do you remember what else about anything else about him? Okay, so essentially, <laughs> Glorio. Law Hammer. <laughs> his backstory is really, really cool. And to be fair, if we were playing three three characters each, I probably would have gone for him as well because I really like his backstory. He has um, three siblings who were all taken over and turned by um, by the baddies and they're now baddies. So mm. it's he's the last remaining Van Alton. And he, like you said, he's very much a star and not a finisher. His armor is pristine. It's never seen too much combat. So now it's his time to kind of go in and avenge his family. Yeah, that he's got like a bit of a vendetta to yeah. like avenge people. I remember yeah, that being so now you said They it. were a, <laughs> they were a the noble law, family um, that, that had a lot of power in Ulfenkan and now he's, he's out to kind of um, reclaim their legacy, essentially. And I think as you, the campaign progresses, you'll probably bump into his siblings um, throughout who've been who've been turned um, into into monsters. Monsters, baddies, baddies. Yeah. And he's got a really cool hairdo. He's got a he has got quite. Hair. It's very similar to my hairdo, but he's got it, less of it. You know, bald on the sides, long on top. Mm. It's the same. So, quick catch up with the chat before I go any further. That's Undead says, nice choice of clothes for the stream. Are you wearing the ring? I mean, I could. No, it is no, he's reach. not. It's gone forever. Sorry. I... <laughs> yeah, this is my favourite t shirt. Yes, <laughs> I love my boyfriend when he lets me play Warhammer. Um, Tarea, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, he's got a cool hat, say no more, says Tom. <laughs> ding, 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 exactly. Uh, and then GW said, it's one to four players. Does that mean it's possible to play with one hero or is it two heroes minimum? So basically, you always have four. So if you're playing one player, you'd actually control four characters. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's it. So that's the characters we are. If you don't know what Warhammer Quest Curse City is, essentially, it's a band, a disparate band of four heroes uh, coming together to... Find out what's happening in the city of Ulfenkarn because they have heard of a big baddie, a big vampire baddie called Radhakar the Great Wolf. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Yeah, Radhakar, yeah. Um, and for some reason, he's taken over this town or city and people have tried to assassinate him, assassinate him <clears> but <throat> for some reason, he keeps getting back up. Dun, dun, dun. I don't have, I don't have sound effects today, I'm really sorry. Um, so for some reason, he get, keeps getting back up. And there seems to be abundance of zombies, vampires, and other gri gribblies and nasties in mm. this city. Um, so we're going to be playing in the alleyways today, which is, this is our alleyways. Which we do not recommend as something that you do, playing in alleyways. Don't play in alleyways, especially when it gets dark, yeah. or if there's vampires, yeah. you know. Um, so this is the recommended first mission today. And Warhammer Quest is, essentially, this is another game of Warhammer Quest. If you've heard of Warhammer Quest before, you're going to find it very familiar. But essentially, it's like a board game where you play against the board, like cooperatively. And <clears throat> we're going to be essentially fighting the bad guys, working the right way through uh, each journey, or essentially each mission, to find out what's happening, to slay the lieutenants of Radhakar the Great Wolf, take down Radhakar the Great Wolf, before the city is fully influenced by him. Yeah. And then they all turn on us and they don't like us. Uh, we have a, vi a ship. I can't remember what it's called. but um, It's called an the, ad the Adamant. Adamant, that's it, yeah, because they're quite adamant to help the city. That's what it is. So we've basically dropped in from an airship, a Caradron Overlord's airship, and uh, that's kind of like your save point or your, like, if you're playing a video game, that's like your world hub. Essentially, you go and play a mission, you go back to your world hub, you, do, you gain experience for each mission you complete, you buy stuff with all the treasure you found, mm -hmm. or you equip your treasures, and then you go off onto another mission, and then keep going from there. So we've again, we've only played the first mission. It's quite a fun game, so we're going to play that one again. Yeah, for sure. So again, this is a recommended one. We've got some mysterious objectives on the board, as you can see. We've got one here, we've got one there, and we've got one there. And essentially, they're going to be like places we can go and investigate. But the main mission is it's a hunt mission. So essentially, we've got to kill as many bad guys as possible before nightfall. So we actually have. Um, a clock, which will be successfully and beautifully handled by Georgie. Well, um, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so this is our points counter, but it's also a clock. So essentially we have, uh, as each turn goes on, the time will tick on. If it gets to night time, then, which is this, that's that side, yeah. I'm helping. Uh, the vampires and the zombies get a little bit scarier and a little bit more nasty and a little bit faster. Uh, but also, whilst we're killing stuff, we can also become inspired because we get feeling so epic. We can hear our theme tune playing whilst we're killing people. I mean, killing zombies, not people. Uh, we get inspired and we can also upgrade before then. But once it hits night's time, 
all enemies are upgraded to be essentially inspired or yeah. empowered. I think empowered, they're called. We yeah. get inspired, they get empowered. Yeah. So, if a hero dies, what curse should be dis- bespowed on the player? Well, that's that's the question. Are we talking about curses in the game or curses in real life? Because if Georgie dies straight away, if should then, make her do a forfeit. I will probably come yeah, off. Yeah, you have to give back the jumper that you no. love so much. <laughs> no. My mum messaged me and she was like, are you ever going to take that thing off? No. I was like, no, sorry mum, this is who I am now. <laughs> um so i think we're about ready i believe so do you want to talk about the other characters that you could play as yes we can i, can, I haven't got their character cards it's okay i know them but we can i can like show you the picture show you the model <clears throat> and georgie can tell you all about them so do you want to talk about this chap hello yeah um so he might be out of focus i'm really sorry he might be um this guy's super cool i can't remember his name unfortunately death um, wizard no it's um he's he's cool he's kind of like a necromancer so he spent loads of time kind of cultivating death magic um so if you think of kind of like dark mage um necromancery wizard he's a really really cool model so he has a lot of kind of abilities that are to do with that um he's he's his backstory is quite cool i like mm. i like he's got a big beard yeah the beard yeah. is stuck to the base because it yeah. was very i actually glued it down because it was so spent it yeah. makes sense though yeah so he's all about kind of um necromancy and dark he's having a great time world magic yeah we have this guy this little dude the character on overlord yeah he's like a, he's a combination of like an artificer and a rogue i think mm. from what i've read mm-hmm. so he'll go around getting all like a little entrepreneur yeah. Um, getting all of the the loot and scraps. Mm. Um, He's also got a harpoon gun, <laughs> which works. It Most works as if a harp, as if it was a harpoon, which so is I, very cool. I really thought you might have gone for him. To be fair, I nearly did. Um, I nearly did because he's think, really cool. Yeah, I figured he'd be on the um, on the on adamant. You know, he yeah, won't, he won't he'd, come be, down yet. he'd be fixing the he's ship. He's playing right? adamant. You know, I, he's like Sid off Final Fantasy VII. He's always there, <laughs> but he's you know he's busy. Yeah. Then we have Col- Colthus. Qualthus, yeah, who is a Kenothi wood elf. Yes, and her backstory is so metal. Um, she essentially, she was a very, very, very close call for who I was going to play as well. Um, mm. I almost nearly played as well because I thought, mm, she's Ranger. Awesome. Um, so, Aragon but girls, hello. Well, Legolas. Basically. Legolas, right? Um, or the one from The Hobbit that no one remembers the name of. Uh, Arwen? Is it Arwen? I don't think it is. It's Evangeline Lily, isn't it? Anyway, not the yeah. point. Um, and so Legolas. before, um, after all of her people got slaughtered, she grabbed a honk of a sacred tree and turned it into arrows. So she has like special abilities and special poke and cheek news for these kind of like sacred arrows from the mm. sacred oak, which is super cool. Do you remember this guy's name? I can't remember his name. I remember his title. What is his title? The Corpse Eater. No, oh, yeah, because he'll eat anything. He'll eat anything. Um, He's a little ogre tyrant. Yeah, and he's big, like a big then... fighter barbarian type. I'm yeah. using a lot of D&D um, words. Probably the it, best way to describe it's it. It's like D&D meets Gloomhaven. And, meets Warhammer. Yeah, and it's really, really cool. So he's he's a brawler. He's in, you know, mm. he's, a, he's a good fighter. But there's loads of variety and there's lots of different stuff for, like, for different play styles, which I think is really cool. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much for the host. Uh, Jake, really appreciate it, man. If you want to host the stream, we're streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Exclamation point host, please. And it really helps us out. So they're the other characters we can play. If we die or lose any heroes, they would replace the heroes we've already got. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm having mic issues because it fell off. But carry on. I'm sorry that you have to be with me. Get it? Mic issues? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So are we ready to play <laughs> Curse City? Yeah. So again, we're going to be following the rule, but we're not going to. We've obviously explained who, what, and what's happening. We're not going to really like go through and tell you how to play. We're just going to explain what's happening whilst it's happening. It's super slick. It's super. It's a, it's a lot easier much. than I anticipated, and it's a lot, a lot more logical than than mm. other stuff we played. So I think you'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's really clever. It's relatively straightforward. It's just there's a lot happening, but it all happens sequentially, so it doesn't so it like kind of makes sense. You can just yeah. break it down. Um, finally, before we start playing, if you're watching the stream on YouTube, make sure you click like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to support the channel, that really helps us out. If you want to support it further, consider becoming a member because if if it goes down really well, we'll do more. Yeah, we'll run through the campaign and we'll open the magical envelope. I keep being like, maybe people will like this so we can play it every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so please, because I want excuses Sunday to, City. to play for it. Curse Sunday Sundays. City, that's what I'm saying. Curse Sundays, yeah. hell yeah. Right then, okay. It's time for Curse City. I don't have a button to go. I want it to drop all the lights. Oh. We need Tom 
Tom, I, I know Tom. you're at home. Come here. If, 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 want... if the pandemic wasn't a thing and have Tom doing all the all the production stuff and I could just play, that would be nice. Or Tom could play and I'd do all the production stuff. That You'd would probably... be preferable. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's time for the turn. It is the journey phase. But first of all, we need to deploy because I just remembered. Yeah. So we've got a, this is our board we're going to deploy. We have our deploy drop off zone here. Um, so shall we take it in turns? We technically roll off and see who has initiative, but we're just going to take it in turns. I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy set one up for first. you to, um, to take I think it's the leader lead. set one, sets one up first. Yeah. And I'm going to be playing the leader today. Yeah, I've, I've requested that you are the leader permanently mm -hmm. because I am... Um, Simple. Yeah, we're going to put Jelson there. <laughs> I am, yeah. I'm going to drop Imelda. Yeah, thank you very much for the host. Really appreciate it. Where the nods? Um, Queen Cleona is going to go here, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want someone a bit, a bit, um, hench in front of her, I think? And then Glorio is going to go behind the two badasses. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Um, so we should, I think initially in setup, we're going to. There's a couple of things it tells you to do because it's your first game, mm -hmm. which I'm going to kind of copy but not completely copy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw our enemies early. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll do that first. And then we'll go into doing the initiative phase and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So what you essentially have is you have a deck of cards which have the enemies on, depending on what level your characters are, the highest level character, you decide what gets summoned. Yeah. So on number one, we have, we are all level zero, we have three Ulf and Watch. Okay. Which I'll set up first. So three open watch, let's go on top down, which will go here. So these are our skelly bobs. On number two, we have Gorslav, the Gravekeeper. Oh, God, we're going in big to start with. Who then. is one of Radikar's lieutenants. And then on uh, the third one, we have two more open watch. That's a that's a difficult first <laughs> That is quite difficult because we have two little <clears throat> skellies. Yeah. But then we have Gorslav, one of the lieutenants of... Radikar, one of his best pals. Not even some little bats or little rats to start No, with. bats We're or rats. Fully purely, in. purely lieutenant time. So, essentially, you take it in turns. You have this initiative count uh, slider, essentially. We have some cards. So, the enemies have basically one to three. And then each of the players has, like, a symbol. Um, so, that's essentially random. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what yeah. we're going to be doing. So, what we have is the journey phase initially. So, what we have to do is... We start ticking time. So, yes. would, would you like to move the sun on one space? Yes. And essentially, we have about ten or ten or twelve turns before it falls to nightfall. Once we've done that, we go into the destiny phase. The destiny phase. This is a cute mechanic. I love this. So, essentially, we have five dice which we roll at the start of each turn, which are destiny dice, which are essentially dice that can be used by any player. However, when you roll them, if you roll any doubles or anything that matches, you have to get rid of them. So if you roll all sixes, they all disappear. Do you want to roll them in the dice yeah, box? Yeah. So these are our destiny dice. We've rolled well. We've got one, two, three, five, and six. Oh, which cool. are all so separate, we can keep all so of them, keep right? So we keep all of them, yeah. Fabulous. What about the fourth group of enemies? We don't actually use the fourth one in this mission. We only use three because we're only level zero. We're tiny little little soft babies. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> you've got to take on that guy. <laughs> so um, now we've got our destiny dice, as you can see. I apologise, you're not be able, you're gonna have to try and remember some of the stuff we're talking about, sadly. Um, so I'm gonna do our initiative step now. So first off, we have <clears throat> Glorio. Then we have number two, which is Gorslav. Oh, then God. we have number three, which is the Ulfen Watch in the top, in your bottom left. That one. Then we have. Uh, two hammers. That is Yelson. That's me. Then we have Amelda. Then we have uh, the three open watch in this corner, and then we have finally Kiliona. So I appreciate you're going to be going the other way, guys, just so we can actually remember what's going on as yeah. well. Um, so essentially, this is the initiative order. So we start here and work our way across. But before we actually go into that, we're going to roll our activation rolls. Yes. And then we can actually manipulate the initiative order. Yeah. So I'm going to roll my activation roll for Amelda. Mm -hmm. So you roll four dice. So I rolled one, three, and two sixes. Do you want to roll one, one of your characters? Yeah, I'm going to go for Yeltsin. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, That's actually, no, I can work with that. So I've got five, two fours, and a one. Nice. Um, and then for Glorio, I get nice, all the fours. Nice. Fours strong, is strong, doors. Strong. And then for Queen Cleona. 
Oh, my love. Okay, one, one two, 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 and five. Again, not the end of the world, but also mm. not ideal. <laughs> yeah. Not great. Not, it's been better. We've rolled yeah. better before. Bit rubbish. So now we have the gambit phase. Well, so the gambit step, essentially what we can do is we can drop one of our dice, one of our activation dice, which is what we've just rolled. Essentially, each character has four activation dice plus the destiny dice they can use. We can actually drop one to try and, and manipulate the initiative step mm -hmm. so we can change the order of the enemies. Imelda has a unique ability where she can swap with any hero, which I probably will do. You think? Yeah, because I'll put her first because she's in front of Gloria. Oh, that's a good point, yeah, yeah, to get out of the door. So you can choose to manipulate it in the Gambit step, but you will lose an element of activation that you can get later on, unless you want to replace it with a Destiny dice. Obviously, that would depend on what you yeah, rolled. Yeah, exactly, time. exactly. Um, Are you going to do that then? Are you going to use Yeah, so I'm going to use I'm going to use Amelda's ability, which is one of one on her card, as you can see here. It is Battle Instincts, the bottom, the second um, ability. So I'm going to swap the initiative with her, with Gloria. Yeah. And she can swap with any player character, as long as they agree. Does Gloria agree? He does. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, we have the same mind. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, yeah, because otherwise he'd be a little bit trapped. Yeah, exactly. So uh, would you like to gambit? Uh, you know what? I'm all right, actually. You're all right? I'm, okay. I'm... No gambit. I'm in, a, I'm in decent positions there, I think. Yeah. So. Essentially, what you have to do there is roll agility. If you roll well, you can move wherever you like. If you don't, you can't. Pressing the wrong button, that's why it won't make it. <laughs> okay, so then we go on to the activation phase. Mm -hmm. So, Emelda is going to start. Yeah. Now, the, the activations, you have a couple of normal ones. You have move, which you, you need to sacrifice a dice of one or more. You can run for three or more. You can search for four or more, and then pretty much they have their own abilities on the card. Yeah. Searching is when you get a free mysterious <clears throat> object. Like you can loot, like loot yeah. the body in a game. And you can do that for any of the essentially hangmen we've got. So we've got three objectives. Um, so I'm going to be spending one of their activation dice, number one, to move. Strong decision. So I'm going to go with a. Uh, she moves three. She's got a movement characteristic of three. So we're going to move her, and we'll go for one, two, three. So I've made it across the board, but I haven't hit anything yet. <clears throat> You're gonna see lots of arguments um, between Mikey and I because I I can't get my head around the concept of like diagonal movement. So when you're trying to cover the biggest <laughs> distance, I'll just go you know forward, backward, left and right. Brilliant. And diagonals confuse me. So prepare for a, a domestic in a, a little bit regarding diagonal <laughs> movement. Probably. Uh, Isotope music. No, you can't use Destiny dice to gambit. Um, so I've moved once. I'm going to spend the three to move again. Because it's a three, I could actually run. I kind of wish I'd spent the run first because I could have just made one extra space mm -hmm. and then actually hit them in combat and yeah. then use the one to attack three times rather than twice. However, we, we move, you know. Um, let me have a look. Pick two yes. No, okay. So I'm going to go one, two, like that. And then I'm going to attack. So... Um, essentially, when you when you move, you if you move adjacent to a hostile at any point, you just stop. You can't like move around them. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to spend a six to attack with Dawnlight. So Dawnlight is a sword. She gets one dice, and she's going to be attacking an Ulfen Watch. Um, so basically, I roll one red dice, and I roll a two pits, which essentially means a critical hit, which is four damage. Uh, the skeletons only have two health. So that's a dead skeleton. Nice. Okay. And then that is pretty much her done. I've still yeah. got one dice remaining. I can't really... I could spend a Destiny dice to move and attack again. Unless I do do that. You can do that if you want. I might do that. Do it. Yeah. So each character can spend two Destiny dice. Uh, so I'm going to spend... Can I spend the one, please? Mm -hmm. Can you just shift that over? Yeah. And Thank you. What I'm sorry if I wasn't clear before. What I meant was if you use one of your activation dice, you can fill the gap on your activation card with a Destiny dice. You can't gambit with them. It's just because someone asked in chat, yeah. it wasn't that you confused them. <laughs> it's because it's the same, um, you can do the same in Blackstone Fortress. I just wanted to be clear, I don't want to misspeak. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move her. Let's have a look. We're going to go one, two, and then we're going to attack again. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it looks like you can. So I'm going to attack the open watch again. And I roll a, nice. another crit. Hell yeah, we're on a ball game here, boys. I love these dice as well. I think the dice are really, really, really cool. 
Really simple, really logical, easy to understand, nice little yeah. mechanic, I think. Yeah, exactly. So that is me done now. Mm -hmm. I'm actually done. Okay. <laughs> so now I'll finish my turn. Basically, now I have to roll with the quest dice, which is a d12. And essentially, I add up the amount of wounds I killed this turn. Mm -hmm. If I roll equal to or lower, I gain an inspiration point. And you can use them to help yourself later. And she's been canonically really bad at this. You didn't get inspiration for the entirety of the last game we played, so I've got my fingers crossed. Yeah, for I kept rolling 12. Well here. So you have to roll under the amount of wounds. So I need to roll a... I think they've got four, four? wounds. I should just double check. They haven't got three wounds. I would have killed them anyway. Yeah, they got two wounds. So under four. I, it continues. I rolled a six. Again? I rolled yeah. a six. Okay, so I don't get an inspiration, but that is her done. Yeah. That's all over. That's all her actions done. I've run out of dice. So then we move on to number two, which is Gorslav, the Gravekeeper. Where is he? There he is. Hope you can see him. So essentially, for enemies, what you do is you roll the quest dice, which is the d12, as you already mentioned, and then that's what they're going to do that turn. Mm -hmm. I like it. So you get a table of behaviour yeah. categorised into different increments, as you can obviously see on the screen. I just realised that as I was explaining it. Um, Great, right? Well, yeah, I know. Clever. Technology. <laughs> who knew? Sorry, um, it's a bit like flash up, flash back. I couldn't work out how to get cool transitions. But if you want to support the channel, don't forget you can do. And then I could pay for lessons to learn how to use technology. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Gorslav with an 11 does corpse planting. So if there are no heroes adjacent to this hostile, treat this result as call of the grave gravekeeper. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, he would bury a, bury a hero. He so want. call of the gravekeeper. This hostile and all dead walker zombies on the battlefield make an advance. So essentially, uh, hostiles have a couple of actions. Advance, I believe, is move and then attack. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to double check. That sounds I think about advance right. is move and attack. Yes. Charges move twice, right? Yes. So that he's going to move. He has a movement characteristic of three, and he has to move towards the nearest enemy model, which is going to be our be... our girl Imelda. Mm -hmm. um, let's just turn that off. So he's going to go one, two, three, and then that's pretty much him done. That's sweet diagonal action there. That was some diagonal action nice. right there. Okay, so that's him done. So number yep. two. Then we go on to number three, which is the two Ulfen Watch in the corner. These guys up here. It sure is. Um, I need a bigger stream deck. I've just realised, you know, Why? because I, I have to pre I have to change pages every time I want to click a different enemy. No. Yeah, because I'll yeah, no matter. Uh, so the open watch are going to seven. They're going to charge, which means move twice. Ooh. And then. Um, Their and movement's then not massive though, right? It's not massive, but it's also not tiny. So they move three. So they're going to be moving six. Oh, I thought it was smaller than that. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Um, Do you want me to move them? Uh, it's okay, I'll, I'll jump to it. I'm just trying to find the right button. So he's going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then attack, but he can't. So then one, two, three, one, two, three. So they have to move towards the nearest enemy, right? Yeah. Which the nearest is gonna... and one of us, basically. Yeah, we're enemies to them. Yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's um, that's the enemies done mm -hmm. for now. We obviously have this open watch here. Uh, but now it's time for... Jensen, yeah. Dador. Or Jensen Derrick, as you have Derek. also corrected it to yes. earlier. Okay. Right. What I like about this game is that it's cooperative. So when I'm in a pickle, like I am now, I can say, okay, do you want me to come and help you because you're not looking great, or do I head these guys off here? Mm. You could jump in. Because this, this one, you could take that one out. If you took this one out, before it activates, we'd actually get a new card, so more enemies would spawn. So you could actually leave that one there for now. Yeah, I'm just thinking if... if I mean, Gorth has already activated, so he's not going to come closer. Mm -hmm. But next turn, it's not looking hot for Imelda. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe if we all head into that one, they've still got to come a little bit of a ways. Yeah. So... Well, Jelson could probably just go in and take those two out, and then the other three could go over here. To be fair, that is true. Yeah, yeah okay. Current charge be move and attack and advice and advance, move twice. So charge is move, then move, then attack. But as they have to move into until they hit an enemy, which is going to be one of us. As soon as they hit that, they just attack. doesn't matter if they've got more movement. I hope that helps. Um, but yeah. Yeah. What would you like to do? I think that I... I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to use this one to move. Um, okay. So I'm going to go one, two, three. 
Okay. I can see them from there, right? The way visibility you can, works yeah. in this game. Yeah, you're on the same tile so you can see them. Yeah, which I like because it's not super mm -hmm. complicated in terms of visibility. If you're on the same tile, you can see something. Um, and what I think I'm going to... I should... I'm thinking now. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to use Judgment. Is mm. Yeltsin's card up so people can see what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, just going to... I'm just catching up with the chat. Mm -hmm. um, it says that... Basically, Glenn, Glenn has said, doesn't change anything at the moment, but looking at the Ulfen Watch Guard, the Sergeant and Bite on the Bearer should be on the board. Um, however, it says... Let's have a read, because I read the second line. A hostile group that contains any Ulfen Watch cannot include more than one Sergeant or more than one Banner Bearer. In addition, Ulfen Watch has four or more models. One of those models must be a Sergeant, if one available, and one of those models must be a Banner Bearer. So I've read that as if you have to have four or more, because we don't have four, none of them are Sergeants. That's what I've read it as. That makes sense? You yeah. want to read it as well? Yeah, so let me see. Yeah, I, wasn't, the, I wasn't aware of what you're asking me, sorry. It's the City Guard Patrol. A hostile group that contains any Ulfen Watch cannot include more than one Ulfen Watch Sergeant or more than one Ulfen Watch Banner Bearer. In addition, if an Ulfen Watch group has four or more models, one of the models must be an Ulfen Watch Sergeant if one is available, and one must be an Ulfen Watch Banner Bearer. Yeah, so if there's four or more models, one of them must be a sergeant. However, any group that contains them cannot include more than one. So I think under four, it's just normal it's, dudes. It's it's not it's, it's like optional as to who you have. That's how I would interpret that. If I'm wrong, please do, please do do tell me. Um, that's how I would read that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's that's how I've read it. That's why I've not put the sergeants down. Yeah, I'm gonna. Sorry for <laughs> Jelson. I'm gonna yes. use my five on my activations to use judgment, mm -hmm. um, which is. It's got the characteristic of reload as well, which means that I can only do the action once per turn because it's cool. like a... Um, so, two of these little blue babies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for this guy. Are you shooting one of the Ulfen Watch? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. so that'll do two damage Yeah, because you roll two hits, you essentially take the highest result. It yeah. doesn't matter how many you roll. So that takes two damage, mm -hmm. so he dies. Uh, thinking about it, I should have gone for the other guy and then... I'm going to move again with this four. So I'm going to run, I think. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Were well, you here? Yeah. You could just go one, See, two. This is what I mean. I <laughs> I wanted to get near to him. So I am now near to him. I'm in melee range with this guy. So I'm going to use my final um, activation dice for Yellison to use Ardent Blade, which is only a one plus and it is so good. Very good. Um, so, no! Oh, crit. that was looking dicey. You roll the crit. So that is three damage. Three damage. I think that little chappy is going to fall over. Don't just take him off the board. I surely do. Thank you. And so now I'm going to use the quest dice again to um, see if I get any inspiration. So it'll be under four. I'm terrible at rolling, so fingers crossed. You roll four. I roll four. So equal counts, right? I think yeah. equal, I'm pretty sure it's equal to all under. I will take that. Yeah. Uh, since this is a hunt, your goal is to kill this sergeant. It helped the quest to have one. I agree. I just don't read it as you actually get in a open watch sergeant because it says four or more. We don't have four or more. We only have sergeant three. Sergeant would make sense, I suppose, wouldn't it? But yeah, it's the way <laughs> intended voters are written, I think. But um... yeah, we're not we're not hundred percent sure. Again, I read it as. Um, if there's, you need four or more to have a banner and a sergeant. Mm. And I, I, again, it's I, you guys might disagree. Unless it's in the rule book that it says if you're putting them out, they has to have what they have to have one if it's under four. Yeah. Which I'm not sure if it does or not. No. Whereas the other character, the other um, enemies like the diabat and the rats, they yeah. say that so one has <clears> to be like the if you've big got rat. three, one's the big rat. Whereas they say if you've got four, one has to be a sergeant. We don't have four. We have three. Mm. You know. Um, so, that is the two all from Watch Dead. Yeah. So they get discarded. Um, so that's them done. And that's your activation done? For Yeltsin, yeah. Yeltsin is fini. Okay. So, let's move on. After Yeltsin, it is Glorio. Glory, glory, glorio. Radio. <laughs> Little Jojo reference be no. there. Guys. Part six gamers, let's go. Um, okay. So... He's going to do the old scooty run. Scooty run. He's going to run, yeah. So he's going to start here. He's going to go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 
You know what? No, he's not. Oh. He's going to go one, two, three, four, because I think that's correct. And then he's going to shoot with a four with Noblis. Noblis. He's going to shoot that. He's going to shoot into the uh, Orphan Watch. Here we go. Uh, his dice box not on screen. So he's going to shoot into the Orphan Watch. He gets a hit. With no bless, it's two damage. So that is the Open Watch destroyed. Nice. Now, Gloria has a path to glory rule. It's called Reclaim the City. Each time a weapon action made by this hero slays the last hostile in a hostile group, gain an inspiration. Nice. Because he loves to take the glory, yo. Get it? I do, yeah. It just wasn't yeah. funny. Um... I thought it was funny. He's going to spend <laughs> another four to move again. And we're going to move mm. next to the... Um, the Captain Imelda, and then I'm going to spend the final four to do a search. Oh, okay. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I hope they're okay. going better than the last time I tried to do a search. So, um, Gloria is going to search. So, what we basically do is we draw a card from the treasure deck, and if you could put it into the dice box when you draw it, George, that'd be great. Trap! Trap. When this card is drawn, the hero that made the search actually must make an either defense roll or agility roll. If the result is a failure, that hero suffers one damage. Then discard this card. The hero can choose to draw another one. Okay, agility or defense is the same. So to roll the dice. I apologize if you can't see that, that but essentially red's trap. That makes, makes sense, right? Yeah, they're all red, though. No, because the other ones are white, if okay. it's a treasure. So I'll roll. I, I roll the success, so I don't take damage. You know what? I'll choose to draw another treasure card. Gamer time. Great. Crisis. Crisis. Okay. Resolve one crisis for your journey from the... Cool, yeah. All right, then. So let's go into crisis. <laughs> um, so let's go to our quest. Um, I think of... Again, I like the crisis kind of element to this mm -hmm. because they're like moral quandaries. Yeah. And I appreciate that. It's very, like, um, character-driven, which I like. Yeah. It, this does happen at the end of each turn. Um, but I, <laughs> I made it happen sooner. Yeah, well, yeah, Crisis we time. So we roll on the table. We roll 12. That's not very good. Page 29, number 12. The Wrath of Azir. Clad in gleaming white Sigmarite armor, a legendary warrior, warrior of the Stormcast Eternals appears. Ignoring the hero's calls, she marches towards a small man selling sweet meats from a tray. As she reaches the vendor, she makes him... Makes to, Makes You're to right. strike him down. I'm scared there's a Stormcast okay. Eternal turned up. She reaches to strike him down. Is a weird sentence. The acting hero must choose to save the vendor or stand aside. Will I stand aside or save the vendor, everyone? Well, Let me know me. in chat. Let's go. Well, it's the it's acting me. hero. Oh, yeah. But Why it's... would it be you? Because I'm the nearest to Lich Gate. Well, I rolled it. I think. Oh, so would you override that I rule? I think so, yeah. Okay, you, you, have, you can have that moral Even dilemma. Even so, it me anyway. We yeah. both won away. Oh dear. Um, let's say it's Gloria. Okay. He drew the he drew the trap. He drew the card, didn't he? So yeah. he triggered mm, the end times. Do I save them or do I stand aside and let the stormcast do its bidding? You know what I would do. What would you do? I would save them. You would save them. Yes. But would Glorio save them? No, categorically he would do everything. No, he, he would, would to stand get out aside. Of a fight, I think. He would stand aside, which is what he will do today. So we'll go to number 123 on page 40. It's like a choose your own adventure book. It's great. 123. Warhammer Bandersnatch. <laughs> the Stormcast Eternal sword cleaves the vendor in two. Instead of blood writhing, instead of blood, writhing maggots spill out onto the floor. With a shout to their heavens, the Scion of Sigmar brings her weapon down on the cobbled street. Stones and dirt explode outwards as lightning fills the area, incinerating the maggots and several luckless citizens. Only the hero's quick reactions keep them alive as they hurl themselves aside. A deep voice emanates from the Stormcast Eternal Helmet. Five years I have hunted that creature. Now it is over. It was for the best that you did not interfere. The warrior leaves without further comment. Nice. No, see, so don't help people. Is the moral the of the story. hero loses all of their inspiration points and the crisis ends. So I was you... not feeling very inspired. No, not at all, <laughs> to be honest. Definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what's it say at the bottom of the card? Resolve a crisis and that's it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't get to draw another card? No. Damn. Okay. Right then. You've done enough damage. That was a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Terrible crisis. Okay. Um, that's him done. Yeah. I could use one of our destiny dice to search again. 
If you wanted to, you could do that. I'm feeling ballsy. I'm going to spend a five, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. The reason being I'm throwing Destiny dice away is because you only get them for one turn. If And then each player can, each character can use two, but the last character can use all of them. There's only one character left, so she's got like seven dice to play with. Yeah. She's having a great time. She's having the best time. Right then, let's search again. Let's go, gamer. Can you draw a card for me, please? Thank you. Hey! Treasure! It was worth <laughs> it! Soul Shot Reliquary. A hero with this treasure card can use it at any time during the activation. When its card is used, if the attack roll for the next range type uh, that this hero makes is a success, it's instead a critical success. Nice. That's good for you as well because <laughs> you've got a ranged bullets. weapon, right? Silver bullets. Love that. Well done, Gloria. Great job. Love it. Okay, that's him done. And oh. so that's his card done. It's now we go one. on to enemy number one. Who have all been obliterated, right? Yes, they have all been obliterated. So we will draw a They're new very card for proactive. them. So we now draw two Dead Walker zombies. Um, we bring on two Dead Walker zombies. So these basically come on on the the Lich Gate, which are these little things here, the one that's furthest away from any character. So these things, in case you couldn't see through the card, were there? But these My little bits sticking out here. Yeah. So we're gonna get two zombies. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, the other ones are quite close. So they're going to come out of the Lich Gate. Because they're on 25 mil bases, they can exist in the same space. Yeah. And then essentially they make a, an advance as soon as they appear. Mm -hmm. So they're going to go one, two, one, two. Oh no, he's got a little crew now. He's got a little he's posse. That's not very good. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So that is them done. They've appeared. Now it's time for Glee Hold Nah. Uh, more of the story, if at first you have a crisis, just try again, you'll find some shiny treasure. Maybe. That is correct. Um, so, I feel like you probably need it over there more yeah. than you need it over here. Um, apologies if you can't read the cards. I mean, there's a lot of information. I'm going to be reading the important information to you anyway. It's more to look at like the movement and like what dice rolls are going to be doing and stuff like that. Because the dice are just colours. There's no like, each dice colour is a separate dice, so... Um, but hopefully, it's, if, if there's anything we can do to help make it look better and make it more enjoyable, then do let us know. That'd be really cool. But finally, we have Cleona, and then we're yeah. going to be at the end of turn one. Um, I'm going to spend two. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I want to run. Um, I want to get to where you are. So. Okay, so you're spending two to move twice. Yeah. Because you've got one and a two. Yeah, one, two, three. One. What's the dice on? Two. No. Three. Okay. Um. You could have done that a lot easier, you know that, don't you? Why don't you move up all again? If you were here, yeah? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, one, two. I oh, know. How I'm is right. that easier? No, my That's apologies. just different. That's just different, yeah. Let's chuff in slick. Cheers, man. Mood lighting on point. Hell, it's first rule of Curse City. We've got garlic under the table if we need it, in case any vampires turn up. We haven't. We've got an entire bag of Easter chocolate under the table. We have, to be fair. Um, what would you like to do next? Well, I can't I can't see them from there, can I? No. So, so because you have to be on the same tile or in a space that is adjacent to that tile. But you have... So I've got a Destiny dice. So you've I'm got five high. dice, technically. I'm going to move again, actually. Okay. I'm going to use this two just to move. Can I move me one over to the left? Thank you. Why one over to the left? Because I like, don't want to be in the doorway. So... Uh, okay. You so, don't want to block Imelda's view of the zombie. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so now... I'm going to use my favourite name of a weapon, Heaven's Bolt Stilettos, um, which I can use on a 4+. plus. It's ranged, and the power of Azir means that any target that suffers damage from this weapon is also stunned, oh. which is really, really helpful, actually. It came mm -hmm. in real handy yeah. last time we played, didn't it? Basically, stunned means if they... Um... If they go to activate, they can only stand up. Yeah, because they get knocked down. And if they're already stunned, they take damage mm -hmm. instead. So while it's not like the most damage output, it's good for it's a decent. kind of status condition. Yeah, so who are you attacking? Um, Gorslav. You're going to go for Gort? I've got the wrong card up then. I'm, so I'm sorry. I want to go for the big guy. Wait for it. Okay. Go for it. You're on a crit. He gets one damage, which is not good, but he is Even stunned. on a crit, it's only Even one Even on damage. a crit, yeah, yeah. Wowzer. Um, but he is stunned. Okay, so he has eight wounds remaining. 
Let's put some little tokens next to him. And then we get to lay him down. Huzzah! Now because he's stunned, <laughs> if he takes no more damage, and it, well, if he gets stunned again, it, it converts to damage, right? Yeah. So, do I, with Queen Cleona... You're going to do it again? Or I just thought I could use Staff of Celestial Devastation yeah, with the sure. fix. Mm -hmm. Because none of us are in the room. Yes, I've been waiting to use this. Always wanted to use that spell. Right. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to use the six from Is the Harry Destiny. Potter? Is the Harry Potter? Okay. Um, I'm going to use the six from the Destiny Dice to do Staff of Celestial Devastation. Mm -hmm. And I will do a dramatic reading of that for all of you now. Well, yeah. This I can't wait. Can only be made once per turn. Pick one hostile visible to this hero and roll a red dice. If the roll's well, if the roll's successful, that hostile and any other hostile in the same space suffers two damage. Oh then roll a blue dice for each hostile or hero in an adjacent space to that hostile. If the roll's successful, that hostile suffers one damage. So I could potentially be doing damage to everybody here. Oh. And I haven't got to use it yet because we're always too near to them. I don't want to hurt you. So. Mm. Fingers crossed I don't fluff this one now. Okay, good luck. You did not fluff, you rolled a crit. I did. So, he will get... Who are you attacking? Um, Gorslav, again. Okay. Does he take damage? Um, so, if it's rolled successful hostile, any other hostile suffers two damage. So he suffers two, so he's down to six. Yes. Okay. Then roll a little blue one for each hostile one. or hero in adjacent space. So I will need to roll two because there are two. Uh, yeah, sure. Should I roll them both at the same time? Yeah, why not? I'll roll one each, actually. Okay, like, first one does not nothing. nothing. That's annoying. Second one also nothing. does nothing. Oh, that was a waste of six. I could have used a different weapon and done <laughs> more damage. Yes, okay. I'm not done, by the way. You're not done. You've technically got two dice left because you've got Destiny dice and one on your card. Well, I was going to go up to him and attack him with my thrice blessed mace. However, I would have to use one to move. And, mm. and then you get bodied if you get a really bad... Uh, yeah, uh, like, order. yeah, he can't. He's out of action for the next turn because he's got a stand up. So, I'm happy mm. to leave that there. I think. Okay. Yes. Ain't got no ranged attacks. We can't do anything. Oh, I could do heaven's bolt again. Heaven's bolt. But it's a four plus, so I can't because I've got two and a three. Um. Uh, okay. And you can't even search because that's a four as well. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. You do not have a great set of rolls. So because she has one dice left. Um. The dice would actually drop down one and it'd save his reaction. It's the end of the turn, so it doesn't really matter. But that's it. That's the end of the turn. Almost. Almost. That's the end of activation. After activation, we're going to. Just a double check. The event phase. Okay. Event horizon. Event horizon, yes, exactly. So we've got a little D12 table in here for our little mission. And we see what happens in the events. So we'll roll for the event table. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, oh, you got it. Do you want to roll it? <laughs> if you want it to be terrible, then yeah. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, our time grows short. Oh, we've not had Move this one. the nightfall token clockwise one space. I don't want to. So that means it's going to go two that, this that turn. That took two hours, basically, to do that. Because we had to explain to everybody. That's the points one, the other oh. one. The one with the, the light one. It's difficult. That's one space. Okay. So we're going to have to move that two this turn. I can't believe. Though we had to explain how to play to them, so we lost a whole hour on our game. It's not your fault. We love you. It was their fault. Okay. What are people saying? What are people saying? Um, I feel like you else? haven't checked in on them for a while. Uh, anyone else loving the highly detailed minis and board sections? Also, the candles are a nice touch. It said rule one. Curse City actually says at the front, must have garlic, must have candles. Yeah, it's like the rules of living with me, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but the tiles are so, so pretty. And it's a really minor detail, but it's something that I really appreciate because I'm really impatient. They're, the sides are like drastically different in colour. So if you're looking for a particular tile, mm. you could eliminate 50% of your options because they're really different in colour. So you've got like these two. And yeah, they're, which is good. They're, they're really, really pretty. They're super mm. thematic. I really like it. Yeah. In terms of space, someone's asked what, how much space you'd need. I don't, we're like being, we've, we re, we're being very showy. Yeah. You don't need this much space. Uh, you can play it as like a small coffee table, I reckon. This is, well, a normal yeah. coffee table size. This is really reduced from how we had it the first time we played it. The first time you play it, it's nice to have everything out so you can see yeah. what you're doing. It's probably but... two foot by two foot, the board layout, plus mm. where you put all your cards and stuff. Yeah. So, that's about it. Mm. 
and everyone else just enjoying it, I think, just chilling. I hope okay. so. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We appreciate it. We're gonna. That's the end of turn one, okay? Yeah. So we're going to go on to turn two now. So, Joji, would you like to push on the time? Because we just... Again? That's our next hour we've just lost. Thanks, everyone, for having to explain how to play. I'm blaming the chat. It's all the chat's fault. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's that. Then we will have the destiny phase. Can we have some destiny dice, please, yeah. in the dice box? We can. So these are our destiny dice for this turn. Ready? Yes. Okay. So we rolled a double four, so we lose them. Yeah. They so... are our destiny dice Ooh. for today. Sorry, everyone. This hour, should I say? This hour. Yeah, I should say. I don't think I've properly explained the mission, but we've got to kill stuff. Um, essentially, we gain points for killing small generals. So we've got like the the inner dial. Every time we kill like basically like a sergeant or someone, we get an extra point. Yeah. We get, we're trying to basically score ten and then get out. That's it's not plan. for every model. It's for every. Is, is it sergeant or champion? Mm. So it's that. It's sergeants or champions. Yeah. So it's not for every like little baby one. It's for. The yeah, potential one. which makes me think that maybe you should get an open watch sergeant if there's three, but I still don't. It doesn't read right. It just sounds like yeah, you it would get make one. sense. I definitely agree with. I don't know who said it in the chat. Like yeah. it would make sense that if you're gonna put one out, at least one person in a person, at least one model in the band should be like a higher rank. Maybe mm. I think maybe we should play it that way from now on. Like yeah, maybe me. maybe. Um, hard to get a, an idea since it's not a whole board. The minimum size looks kind of big. Well, this is the um, this board in particular is one of the layouts. All the layouts look pretty similar, but they are they are modular, so it's not like the same board every time. Mm. Um, it's probably a bit smaller than Warcry. Um, this is on a small table. It's a forty-four inch table that way, so it's probably using again. It's like twenty-four by twenty-four, I reckon. I think the thing with it is because it's modular and because you've got some funky looking shapes, it's always it's a bit more. I don't want to say cumbersome because it's not huge. It's mm. not like a fold-out board that's very um, like a Static. rectangle or anything. Yeah. It's it's quite like a dynamic board shape, which can make it a bit mm -hmm. unwieldy, I think, sometimes. But again, I think, obviously, we're very lucky that you've got this big table. I yes. never say that because I hate <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, the, past, the gates are just gates. They are wide open. Some of them are blocked. We do have a blocked one um, just on the top. Just here, there's a little red line. I don't know how well you can see, but there's like a red line going across it. That's well, essentially our getaway. Put that on. Um, so basically, that's your gate. Then you flip it over. That's, bam. A, that's a closed gate. Bam. Bam. Uh, it's smaller than Warcry, the board size. Yeah. Um, uh, are they here as prime? No, they're just different colour plastic. I haven't painted anything, sadly. But we didn't really have time. Anyway. So we at the start of the turn we've ticked the night time over one hour. We have. We've rolled our destiny dice. It's time for the initiative step. So I'm going to roll for Amelda. She gets one, two, four, five. Loving life. Do to roll for one of yours? Yeah, I'll go for Mr. Yeltsin. Mr. Yeltsin. Oh, buddy. Okay, two, three, four, five. Not too bad. Glorio feeling extra inspired. Just kidding. He's not. He's a bit. He's a bit scared about that stormcast that got to him <laughs> earlier. And then finally, Cleona. Oh, honey, two, 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 five. Ripperoony. Yep. So, I will say before we proceed. That's at the start of the initiative step. Before she said it sooner, right? Um, well, the initiative step is after the roll step. So at the start of the initiative step, it's one of Cleona's abilities called Portents of Doom. At the start of the initiative step, this hero's player can choose to discard one or more of his hero's activation dice that have the same score as any discarded destiny dice. Oh, we're four. I thought it was five. Never mind. Um, for each activation dice discarded, gain one inspiration point. That's not the one I thought it was. Ah, it's when she's flipped over. It's an ability she has. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Ignore, Ignore everything that. I just said, basically. Okay. So we're going to do our initi initiative step. First first off, we have the face down card, which hasn't been revealed. Then we have Yeltsin. Then we have Amelda. Then we have uh, the two dead walker zombies. Then we have Cleona. Then we have Glorio. Then, finally, Gorslav, the Gravekeeper. So that's not a bad initiative turn, I'd say. I'm, I'm, it's not too bad. I'm not mad about that. You're not mad? No. No, we're going to keep that? Yeah, I'm, I, I've got 
a bit kind of crappy roll, so I'm not going to wait any longer. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm happy with that. I think that's okay. fair. Cool. All right, then. Let us, let us begin. Ready for lettuce? There's a spooky yeah. music. Got louder so I can actually hear it. Did, it. Didn't it? We can't hear it very well because it's playing from a small speaker. But then it just got really loud and really spooky. Ominous. Very ominous. I hope okay. it's an animal. Initially, we have not a good one. Three dead walker zombies. Okay, let's put three dead walker zombies out. The problem is that we've got the big zombie on the battlefield and five zombies. I know. So does that not mean if he gets one of his? Yes, basically. Oh, no. One, two, five to there. One, two, three to there. So I think they're still going to spawn here. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Elton they're... might stay over here in that case. Then so they've got to make the most direct movement, but they can't get through here because it's blocked. Yeah. Um. So. Well, I guess hmm. they go round, wouldn't I they? I guess they'd probably decide to go round, yeah. So they're going to go round one, two, down, huh? one, two, one, two. But they're still quite open there. They have to make take the most direct route that isn't blocked. And they can basically... Enemies, because they're on small bases, they can f sit in one space together, but because that's blocked now, they're actually going to go and try and go the other way. Um, so that's number three done. That's the Deadwalker zombies done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next up, we have Yelthen, the Vampire Slayer. Um, or is he? Dun, dun, dun. Don't say that. <laughs> um, well, I feel like... <laughs> I'm going to use a lot of my activation to get him over to where the action is. Mm. But you can also go up and explore that or little I mysterious go, object. I'm thinking, I've got to track two bottoms on, I'm so sorry, I didn't think I'd have to stand up. They over say, and okay. round, potentially. Uh -huh. um, I've got stressful memories from the last time I had to explore <laughs> one of these and got attacked by like 20 bats or something. Um, yeah, it's it's not fail cast. It's just it's just like lighter plastic because it's coloured plastic though. It is softer, but only ever so slightly. I don't think you should split the party. I'm gonna go that way. You want to bring the party back together? Yeah. Okay, you go for it then. So, move. Yes. One. Yeah. Two, three. Is that allowed? Is that permitted? <laughs> yeah. Is it a three cool. or a four to run? It was a th it's a three to run, which means you get your second um, movement. Uh, no, I know, but I didn't know if I had to use a three or yeah, four. I'm to trying to think. It's a second move movement characteristic or value. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Now we have got three Destiny dice. If you want to use what one, I might four. do, what I might do is I'm going to use the four. Mm -hmm. So go one, <laughs> two, three. Okay. And then and I'm block off use... that so I can't. No one else can get through. Oh, sugar! If I go here, can I still see into there? No. Because I'm not on an adjacent tile. No, you guys move afterwards though. If I spend any one of those. If I use a wise, I'm going to be mad. No. I don't know. So okay, I'll go back here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do judgment with my five, which mm. is ranged into Gorslav. Okay. How many has he got left? He's got six left. Okay. So I'm going to do... Not that one. Sorry, that one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do Judgment into Gorslav right now. Cool. Oh, you not it. as the case may be. I thought that would be a really cool opportunity to do firewood stakes as well, but yeah. I ruined it for everyone. That's underneath his gun. So now he's going to spend that one Destiny dice and just kind of go, do you want really to... sorry. Well, why don't you use two? Well, use because... one to shoot again, then one to move out of the way. Maybe because everybody's... Oh, you can't shoot again. No, it's ranged. Yeah, you can only shoot once with that guy, can't you? Yeah. Not okay. ranged, sorry. It's um, reload. Reload. <sighs> he's embarrassed himself okay. enough now. He has embarrassed himself quite a lot. Just, just, yeah. Let's move on. Okay. Is that your turn done? Unfortunately, yeah. Okay. So He had a good run, didn't he? He had a little he had, jog. Yeah, he did have so... a run. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was a good run. It was a well, run. Well, he got some distance. <laughs> I'm okay. going to eat a chocolate bar while you do okay. this one, I'm Next up, we have Amelda. Uh, so she's actually quite good at killing multiple enemies in one go. So I'm going to try and do that. So she's going to spend a one to do a run. you going to do what I couldn't. Well, walk. One, two, three. And then I'm going to spend Destiny six, if that's okay. Yeah. Can you flick it over for us? She's going to use Death Blur. We love that. Also, please tell me if I'm chewing too loudly and it's gross. Should be all right. Okay. 
Uh, Death Blaze is 6 plus. This action can only be made once per turn. Pick two hostiles that are adjacent to each other or two hostiles in the same space. Those hostiles must also be adjacent to this hero. Make one free Dawn Light weapon action against each of their hostiles. So, hello. Kara, I want to know if you're going to do the two little ones. I'm going to do the two little ones, yeah. Okay. They haven't activated yet, but I figured I can kill them. Mm. And then attack Gorslav afterwards. Because technically, because he's adjacent, I didn't know if you could kind of be a sneaky beaky. I could do... hit one and the other, but I'm mm. going to hit both zombies, yeah. which will also, when the other zombies activate, means only one can get to us because they'll start coming towards us as well. Mort. Milk chocolate or dark, says Chris. Um, That was a, a can I say a <laughs> brand name? Hashtag not sponsored, not an ad. Um, That was one of the little kinder um, milky chocolatey ones. Yeah. I love those. Love that. Right then. Okay. So we're going to attack with Dawnlight into zombie number one. Yes. It's cocked. I was going to say, that's cocked. We rolled that's a blank. <laughs> okay, against the other one. That's also blank. Okay. We're not firing. doing very well today. She's firing blank. She did roll two crits a minute ago, which she didn't need to. Mm. So we'll spend a two to attack again. <clears throat> Into... I think what? I'll attack Gorslav now. He's got six left, right? Yeah, I'll attack yeah. Gorslav. Or... I'll spend another one to attack Gorslav. Yeah. The cocks. Okay, right. Okay, that's four attacks and she's done nothing. So she's going to spend the other one to run away. Yelton feels a bit better, though. <laughs> he feels a bit better about himself. That wasn't a good activation, Amelda. After Not that, one bit. Ludicrous display. <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous display. That was terrible. Okay, so she's going to chill and do nothing. Okay, she's going to think about what she's, she's going done. She's going to literally hide behind Cleona right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Des. Good job, Amelda. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's that one done. Then we go to the two dead walker zombies who are now going to activate. <laughs> They're going to go after Amelda, I think. So we're all on their behaviour table. 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 I'm rolling 11 for the Zombombs. They make an impaling cursed briar. Ooh, Each hostile makes an advance. If a hero suffers damage from that advance action, they are trapped. Oh, it's going to hit me first. It's it going to hit Cleona first. It is, yeah. So an advance is basically move twice and then attack. So this guy's going to go one, two. Oh. Because, because of where they are, <clears throat> these two spaces are You've technically... you over them, huh? Okay, my apologies. These two spaces, no, you can't see yet. My apologies. These two spaces are essentially adjacent. It's like they're on the same tile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically the same. No, it's either side of a door, so it's yeah. It's... Okay. So let's go into Cleona. The zombies get one blue dice. Can you roll stolen. as badly as you've been rolling for a Melda, please? No. Don't, because I don't want her to get. Oh, thank. Sigma. Okay, let's just double check to make sure Gold Slab doesn't do anything. We don't have to. No, just double checking. Uh, so that's him done. And then the other one will do exactly the same. She got super attacked last time we played and she was in like half Oof. Yeah. She did two damage. <laughs> okay. So would you like to roll the defense dice? Yes, very much so, please. Oh, defense are on these horrible ones that I always on get. On the bone dice. Well. Okay, Sugar. so you, you don't block anything, so you take two damage, and you are also trapped. Okay. Shall I tell you what that does? Um, you don't need to, because I'm just going to go... You can tell the chat what it does. <laughs> Heroes that are trapped cannot make a move or run actions. A trapped hero or an adjacent hero can spend a four plus activation dice to remove a trap token. While a hostile is trapped, it would make a move action. It does not. And that's it. Um, do you want to explain... You're trapped. Yeah, I've put it on next to her. Okay. Um... In fact, I might put it on the card because I will forget if it's there. Yeah, put it on your card. Um, do you want to explain damage? Will I have to? Maybe you can. Re oh yeah, that's true. So essentially, when you take damage, the damage appears on your activation um, row. So as you've seen, we've got um, four squares in our each character card. If you take a damage, you put in um, a damage counter on one of those, and essentially that's where you'd put your activation dice. So if you've got Damage counters, you roll less activations, essentially. Is there a rule as to how, which dice you remove to put damage on it? I don't think so. Because I just took a two off. Cause, and not which you five, would. So I didn't know if I don't that think was... there is. Mm -mm -mm. So I was absentmindedly staring at my card then and being incredibly unengaging. Sorry. But... <laughs> no wonder the city fell if that's the captain of the city guard. Right. <laughs> Any wonder? Good yeah, lord. Yeah, pretty much. 
Um, I'm just looking for hostile, hostile move action. You put the dice camera on. I can show people the. Oh, you look for it. There you go. There you go. Oh, here we go. Also focus. So these are my activation spots where I've got my dice. I've replaced one with a wound. This one's two, even though it's got a three on it. Don't ask. I can't count. And that's one. So it will be there, meaning that space is taken up. So I won't have a dice there. Lost some activation, and it shows my wounds to be tracked. Um, and I'll mm. keep my the trap one trap card <laughs> near it um, just to remind me as well. However, you will see upon her activation um, why we like Cleona. I used to want to be a sneaky beaky and get rid of the low ones. There are no wound counters on the character's card. Apply one wound counter to that character's card. To apply a wound counter to the hero's card. Place it on an activation die space that does not contain any wound or grievous wound. If a wound counter is placed on an activation dice that contains an activation reaction or reaction dice, that dice is discarded. It doesn't say which, so I presume you can choose. I'm going to bin off the lowest scores then. To me, that makes sense. Yeah. So, because it was two she suffered, it'll be that side, yeah? Yeah, so basically it goes to one. If you take two wounds, it goes to Grievous. Mm -hmm. So, Georgie, well, Cleona has a Grievous wound currently. She does, and she is not loving it. I will be honest. Not having a great time. Not okay, cool. so that is the Zombombs done. She's trapped. Mm -hmm. And speaking of her, she's trapped, but now she's going to activate. So, Cleona is a little bit of a G. So she's going to mm -hmm. spend her five. Mm -hmm. um, because technically she is um, adjacent to those she is adjacent. Zomb bombs. So I can use my thrice blessed maze to attack them. I don't need to save up for my ranged attacks. Which means I can use my five to do invigorating touch. Ow. Um, this action can only be made once per turn. Pick this hero or one adjacent hero. Remove one ailment from that hero. Trapped? No, thanks. No trapped for so you. Ailments are like uh, trapped. Stat status stuns, effects. Yeah. yeah poison, like berries. Uh, unfortunately, she can't heal the wounds, but no. she can. Um, you can heal the wounds by doing a recuperate action. Yeah. Uh, but we'll get onto that well, when that's, we do it. That's not what she can do. So I'm going to use thrice blessed mace. Mm -hmm. Which I like because it makes me think of rice cook chips. Um, she attacking a zombie? Yes, please. I'm going to spend these. You hit. How down. much damage is that? Uh, one point one of damage. damage. Okay. One of them's down to two wounds. Are they three? These ones. Y yes. Oh, they are zombies. No. Okay, but well, I'm going to use the other one. Um, you going to attack again? No, you shouldn't split your fire, should you? You should attack the same one. Yes. Get rid. You or missed. not, or not get rid, to be honest. Mm. Um, well, good. at least I did more damage than Amelda. Amelda did not do anything. <laughs> um, she needs to, to get fair, inspired, and I've never had her inspired. Never had her inspired, to be fair, considering she's got a wound, had shit rolls, and cured a status condition. I'm fine with only doing one damage, to be fair. Okay. Um, do I do anything else? I can't. There's one Destiny dice if you need it. But you've got Glario. So That's do, okay. Do Glario's got him? four. Glario's got four. He could be fine. He would like a six plus, but there isn't one, so that's okay. Well, that's can I you. use it then, maybe, if I could go, go in again? It. Because if I if I get a crit on my Thrice Blessed Mace, that one's gone. Mm. So is that okay with you? Yeah. Uh, in the GW tutorial, it was left to right, but you can lay out your dice in any order, picking the lowest one sounds right. It makes the most yeah, sense. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Speaking of lowest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a blank. Yeah. And okay. also, it, conveniently, I did put it on the left. But yeah, I think left to right would be immediately what I would think. But then, then surely when you put your dice down, you I choose which one. I you always get lost put first. my lowest on the left and then go up because I'm a little bit pedantic. Yeah, so. I do the same. Yeah. Cool. All right then. So she did nothing. <laughs> All right, she did more than Amelda. All right, Amelda did attack four times. <laughs> yeah, she attacked twice. So. <laughs> okay. Cool. So that is the hair done. Now we're mm -hmm. going to go on to Glorio. Uh, so he can actually see the zombies where he's stood because they're in an adjacent space to the tile so he can see them. Yes. So he's going to go in with Noblesse with a three. And so that is a red and a bone. Um, so he's going to shoot the one that's already damaged because mm -hmm. if, I, if I get a hit, it dies. If you were, sorry. Oh, you didn't get one. Oh, no. <laughs> it dies. So he killed one of them. Um, I, sadly, I can't do that more than once because it's a reload weapon. Essentially, we've all got muskets because we're in... Oh, I didn't have the dice box on. I'm so sorry. I'm sure I clicked that on. He I was rolled... cheating. He didn't even I roll anything. Hit. My apologies. <laughs> um, so that's him. Then I think I'm going to spend a one to move. 
to there, and then he's going to go in with a Geist Sever. You're going to try that again? Geist Sever. Geist Sever. He's going to hit Sever. it. Crit. Lario is three doing damage. better than everybody. Bam. Guess what? You'll get inspiration. That was the last enemy of that group, so I gained inspiration. Nice. Um, so that's him. I've only spent two. Sure. Uh, a little bit, I would say. Um, you can't react to it. You can react to an enemy, but they're over there. They're not going yeah. to be at you, are they? Yeah, and I've also shot, so I can't react with a shot. Yeah. Um, I could go in and hit Gorslav. He's got six left. He yeah, has. Your I can't do six. Weapon, like. I can't do six. Uh, one to got, three, but I've got, got to move. Two crit. Uh, oh, and, there's I'm, no I'm, destiny. I'm not very close to him, so I can't hit him yet. Um, so I think Gloria will stay in character. He'll spend a one to move and move <laughs> away, and and that'll be it for him. So his reaction dice will go from a four to a three. Yeah. He can't react because he's already shot this turn anyway. I think that's right because it says once per turn. I presume the turn is all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So within like react, were you gonna say you can't you can't use noblesse again? Yeah, because yeah, because noblesse says this only can this action attack weapon action can only be made once per turn. Turns the entire thing, not character action. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, because it's the turn mm -hmm. in encompassed into everything. So that's him done. Finally, we have Gorslav the Gravekeeper. He's just gonna stand up. Uh, yeah. So basically, because he's stunned. Mm -hmm. uh, when a hostile group is in that way, stand that hostile back up instead of making that hostile group's action. So basically, he's going to stand back up, get a bit angry at us for doing that, knocking him over, and that's the end of his turn. That's why I think Cleona's really good. because Yeah, stunning everyone's really good. Like, yes, Heaven's Bolt, Stiletto's does one damage, but mm -hmm. he's now not being able to do anything. So I think that's really cool. Yeah. Pearl Jam, we're, uh, this is a review copy, so Games Workshop sent us this board game to review to tell you how great it is and how you can't pre-order it right now and was... probably be able to pre-order it later. Was that using the name Pearl Jam? Yeah. That's a good name. It is a good name, yeah. Pearl Jam 23. We love Eddie better. Um, okay, thanks very much, uh, No Beef Just Party. Have fun on Baby Duty. All right, then, that's the end. It's time for the event phase. Cool. Can you roll the quest dice for me, please, George? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh. Don't roll. Um, a certain number. Don't roll a one. Okay, cool. It was a seven. <laughs> okay. You rolled a seven, mm -hmm. so that is our time. Grow short once again. We lose another hour. Are you messing? I'm not messing, no. Oh. Of course, because it's in the same block, isn't it? Yeah. If you roll a one, we don't get any destiny dice. Oh, God. I don't want that. So it's for crisis, you want to roll low. For events, you want to roll high. So we've not even made any progress. We've not made any progress yet. No. Gorslav is worth two points, I think. Um, maybe... Oh. We're not doing great. Is he? No, he's only worth one. I just looked. Yeah, I don't think he was worth <laughs> two. Um, only one's worth two with the the vampire wolfy thing, I think. Yeah. And um, big big daddy. Yes, exactly. Okay then. Cool. So now that's done. Yeah. Can you move us on to one again? Oh god, hour. yeah. So this is here. It's a nearly. Here, it's halfway. And we haven't made any progress. It's halfway, as you can see. Look, this is here. <laughs> we started here, and that's where we currently are with regards to killing people. Points. Not people, um, bad, bad baddies. Baddies. Okay, destiny time. Do -do -do -do. Go for it. Uh, okay. No doubles. Nice. Right then, nice. we got a big nice. turn. Nice. We've got a big turn. Which is what we like to see. Is, is what we like to see. Um, okay, so Amelda is going to get. <laughs> Amelda is ready to party. She's a she bit annoyed. Than me this time. I hope so. I'm going to put my lowest on the left. <laughs> That's what I've been doing the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jelson. He's ready to party. He's all right. He's having a good time. I think it's going to be a big turn. We're going to score like two points, I reckon. I would not be as bold. Glorio is having a great time. Is he? Yeah. I did forget to roll uh, Glorio's inspiration. Can I just do that now? Yeah. He yeah. killed two zombies, which is six wounds. Mm -hmm. He's also double nice. inspired. Okay. I can't recoup yet, can I? I can't recoup until it's until, until your turn, turn yeah. yeah. So you only roll three dice. Oh, because okay, you've I taken a wound. That. I've taken a wound, so we're all three. Sorry. And look how bad those rolls were. The other ones are so good as well. They were like all sixes. I'm just not happy. Right, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I believe Gloria can gain into inspiration. I haven't seen a rule that says he can only gain one, but he gained one um, for his ability, path to glory, and then he gained one for rolling under the wounds that he did that turn. I think the maximum you can get in general is four. 
Yeah. Character can't have more than four inspiration on them anyway. That sounds right. Okay, drink Hydration. <laughs> Hydrate, everyone. Right Always then. make sure you're drinking enough. Okay, so that's the... We've done our activation rolls. Yes. Time for... Uh, this. <laughs> this. Okay, again, I apologise that it's not a great view. But first we have the three dead walker zombies, which are in the top. Then we have... Do you want to turn uh, the dice come off the middle? So you can point to you. Thanks. Here. So these guys first. Yep, then Imelda. Who is there? Then we have the mystery card. Oh, hello. Then we have Glorio. Mm. Then we have Gorslav. Who is there? Then we have Cleona. Who is there? And then we have Yeltsin. Who is there? I'm happy with that order. Because I'm, I'm going first. Because <laughs> I'm at the end. So, yeah. Look at this fit, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to stop standing up. My t-shirt says, I love... My boyfriend, but it also says, I love it when my boyfriend lets me play Warhammer. My boyfriend being whoever's on my channel at the time. Hey. <laughs> um, okay. So, number three, he's going to start, if that's okay. Cool. So, <coughs> Zombombs. I'm sorry. Bless you. It's all right. Yeah. Zombie time. Let's go. 12. Oh. Not good. Impaling Curse Briar. Oh, so they'll make an advance one. and then they will um, attack if they do damage. Yada yada. So, sorry, Cleona. One, two, She's three, already... four. Oh. Attack. <laughs> we should have done a Gloria and just run away. Yeah, maybe you should have gambited. Maybe that would be a good idea. No, oh, well, you know. It is over now. <laughs> so, here we go. Crit. Oh. Do you want to roll your defense For dice? For goodness sake. <laughs> So looking for uh, some sort of... Nope, that's two more damage. Okay, okay. we're going to have to get her out of there, I think. Yeah, in a big way. The other one. One, two, three, one, two. I'm going to attack again. Doesn't no. help that I keep rolling really high. Only for the enemy. Nothing. Oh Only for the enemies. You one, know. two, three, four, five. There you go. And again. Crit. I only rolled crits with them. Again. Another two. Do you want to roll, uh, roll the There's defense? no point. Two more damage, yeah. Yeah. Okay, she's she's struggling. Yeah, she's. Uh, I'll show you. This <laughs> is where she's at right now. She's like. almost dead. <laughs> That's not good. This is not what you ever want to have it look it's like. It's funny because yesterday you were saying, "I'm really gutted because I did so well in this game, and tomorrow I'm just going to roll really badly and make myself look bad." Verbatim what I said. Georgie was carrying me yesterday. I was tropic getting whacked. In a big and way. Amelda was reading really bad. Yeah, Cleona um, was like throwing out help to everybody, and it yeah. Was, no one's going to believe me. <laughs> no one's going to believe you, sadly. Okay, so we have Amelda. Come on, girl. You can do this. Uh, can I spend a one for a run, please, yeah. while I walk? Uh, she's going to move to there. And then she's going to spend a six for death blow once nice. again. Okay, so we're going to attack uh, any two zombies. It doesn't really matter. Sorry, I keep hogging all of these. It's all right. Come on, Amelda. Oh, that was close. Okay, okay that's one. That's two damage. So one's on three wounds. Mm -hmm. One on one wound. I'll mm -hmm. attack a different one. We're looking for basically looking for crits. Uh, okay, right. We'll attack the one that's damaged. Okay, hey. that's a crit. That's one dead. Then I'll attack again. I'll attack the one in front of me. That's one damage, and I'll attack again. Looking for any? Yeah, there we go. Kill two. How many wounds has that one got left? Two. Uh, it's, on, it's on. It's on full because I attacked the one that was already damaged again. Oh, okay, fair so enough. So I killed two zombies. Um, now do I spend another one to attack again, or do I spend another one to move out the way? Well, no offense to you and your plans, but I'm going to be spending some destiny dice if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Because like, hello. Well, who's next? Uh, number one, we don't know, but they're going to spawn over there, so that's okay. Yeah. Then it's going to be Glorio. He can't currently see anything. But uh, Amelda could move in, start tanking some damage, or she could attack again and try and kill them. Thing is, is Gorslav thing is, is Gors is going to come at Cleona and kill her. Yeah. So I think what we'll do is I'll spend a two and move. Oh, no, I can't move because I'm adjacent already. Yeah, you can't move. So I can only move away. Are you sure that's right? Can you not move? You'd still be adjacent. You wouldn't be moving... You'd be moving from one adjacent position to another. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. So I'm not quite sure. Interesting. Curious. Very curious. Oh, Cleona. 
I love you. I don't want to play as anybody else. I want to play as you. <clears throat> oh, hostiles can move through spaces occupied by other hostiles. That's a good rule to know. <laughs> Not upset that we didn't know that earlier, for honest. I don't say I can't move, so yeah, I'm just going to move one. Yeah, I would imagine because you're you're still adjacent anyway. So cool. So you flick over the lowest destiny dice for me. Oh, sorry. You flick over the lowest oh, destiny sorry, dice yeah. to say I've used it. Okay, cool. So Amelda there will take all the damage. Uh, however, she did kill two zombies. So can she be inspired? No. Again, it's <laughs> happening again. Terrible. Okay. That's her done. Then we go on to the mystery card, which is going to be three bat swarms. Bat. Batty bat time. Okay. So, with the bat swarm, if there's three of them, one of them has to be big mama bat, and then the other two are little baby bat swarms. Yeah. Which sounds really cute, and it makes me sad because we have to kill them all. But yeah, exactly. And it says you bring them on, you know. However, one of those bats, mama bat. The is, dire bat. Yeah, the dire bat. Diabolical bat. Will give us a point mm -hmm. if we one, kill her. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Cool. So they move five. They're a little bit faster. Mm. Okay. Actually, cursed dice. That's what this game should be called. <laughs> cursed dice. Literally, right. Okay. Cool. So that's them done. Mm hmm. Uh, so then we go on to Glorio. Yes. If he wanted to come and stand next to Cleona and kill that zombie, that'd be fine. Yeah. So he's That's got totally he's got an, a unique ability, which I don't know if you'll be able to see, but bring it on screen anyway. I'm going to spend a six for Duelist. This action can be made once per turn. This hero makes a free weapon action and one free move action or an action in any order. If I use the sword, if I roll a success, it's treated as a critical instead. Nice. So he's going to move one, two, and he's going to attack with Ghost Sever. Uh, into the um, into the zombie bomb. That's how he ranged attacks. Okay, I was just double checking. So I roll a hit, which becomes a crit, which is three damage. Bam. Nice. Then, because he killed the last one in that group, he gets an inspiration. Is he inspired now? I'm going to spend the three inspiration to become inspired. Hell yeah, which basically means he's a lot better now. Yeah. It's Hell cool. yeah. They get hench. It's good. It's pretty hench, yeah. Um. So then... His, his gun just got a little bit better, which I'm now going to use. I'm going to shoot with Gorslav. Um, Gorslav? Are you going to shoot Gorslav? Gorslav. I'm going to shoot with Gorslav. I was no, I'm going to shoot Noblesse for. with Gorslav. Go no. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Okay. So uh, she, he's going to shoot now. Um, so it's a red and a blue. Yeah. I rolled a hit, which is three damage. Mm -hmm. So he's down to three now. So as you get inspired, your weapons get better, so you can use lower dice to use them, and they get better in terms of what you can roll, so it becomes more achievable um, to be successful with them, which is always good. <laughs> uh, I don't know if, hopefully the alert is working, but Ginger Steve, thank you very much for the 23.99 donation. Please use custom There it is. Instead. Thank you very much, dude. Really well, appreciate it. as I'm not allowed to send fruit cake, have this instead. <laughs> Enjoying the stream, guys. Thanks, Jim Thanks, Steve. Really buddy. appreciate it. It's very kind of you. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it, everyone. The best egg. Legends. Okay. Um, so that's him. Yes. That's him, kind yeah. of. Well, I'm actually you... going to then spend a two to make a move. Did you go? You're going to shoot Gorse Love. I shot him. He did Do it again. Three damage. Kill I can't him. shoot again, but I'm going to attack again <laughs> with a Geist Sever, who gets two blue dice now. Yeah, there's one here. Thank you. Um, so here we go. Attack Gorslav. I'm looking for a crit. Please, because I want him to die. Yes! yes! There we go. Gorslav uh, is destroyed. And because I killed the last one in that group, I could become oh inspired. <laughs> I don't care. You can have all the inspiration you want because you just shaved... Okay. I just said you just shaved Cleona's ass. You stayed I've shanked him. Cleona's ass. I've shanked, I've shanked him. Yeah. Um, okay, so because we killed uh, Gorslav, we gain a point. Um, yeah. We gain one point. Um, Let's go. One point up. Move One the clock. point. One clock. For, for, for halfway there, we are now here. Hell yeah. Yes. Game of time. Carry off TV, my favourite power couple alive. Thank you much for tuning in, Carry off. Hope you're well, Hi, dude. Carry um, okay, that is Glorio done. So he did like 18 wounds. <laughs> he did more 
more than all of us have done because so far put though, together. Even though Gorse Hav and the zombie were already damaged, you just take the maximum amount of wounds. So the Gorse Hav was nine, the two zombies were... Was it one zombie? I'm holding this thing. I was looking it was at the It's 12. I'll roll it. I'm going to roll less than 12. I roll a two. two. He becomes inspired once again. There are other ways you can use inspiration, such as re rolling dice. Um, yeah. I can't remember the other ones. That's the only two we've used. <laughs> Become inspired and re roll. You can do something with gambits, can't you? Or am I completely making that up? Oh, you can make a, you can make a random search action. Mm -hmm. in, um, you can make a gambit without rolling dice, or you can become inspired. Yeah. Can gambit. yeah, I can gambit for free with inspiration, or I can re-roll, which is very important. I think re is probably a really, really, really clutch thing to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is Gloria done. He's taking all the glory. I love that. Um, so that's him. Now mm -hmm. we're going to Gorslav, but Gorslav is destroyed. So we draw another enemy card. We get another three bats. Little bats. Little bats. So I've put the bats separate. There they are. So we get three more bats. They're going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to put them there. Yeah. I'll put one in that space as well. While you're stood up. Yes. You want another drink? I, Are you entertain the chat? Absolutely. You can, can you, do you want to jump over? Yeah, um, no, because I will knock over. Okay, stay bit. still. Can you see that from there? I can see it, yes. There you Hello, go. everybody. You have to buy the cake mentioned. I'm yeah. not buying... It's, so, so Ginger Steve was on about buying us a, a slow gin fruit cake. But then I said, I, I don't like slow... Any I don't like fruit cake. Any cake that gets you drunk is good. So I don't know... And then he said it was from Yorkshire, but it's not. Any of you, I don't think any of you follow me on the internet. So this gift bag, here we go, that is just full of chocolate. Just full of chocolate that no, most got me for Easter. So True. this is what I'm eating right now. It's full of cream eggs and Kit Kats and everything. That's keeping me going. Play, Happy Easter. Play um, play. There's no Easter egg. But yeah, I hope you're, I hope you're your liking back. the game. If we're not explaining things properly, please stay. And we will go over it again. If you want close-ups, we can hold them to this camera here. Thank you. We're doing the best with the technology we've got. Yeah. I was waiting for while you're stood up, get me a drink. You know me too well. You know me too well. That fruit cake was from Yorkshire. <laughs> no, it's not from Yorkshire. It's not Yorkshire. Neither. Uh, I'm Curious. not from Yorkshire and I'm great. So the great. fruit cake's probably lovely. <laughs> okay. Cool. Right then. So now that bats are back. Bats, 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 bats. Like a bat out of hell. Yeah, uh, we've already done number three, so it's Cleona then Jelson. Okay, so what we're going to do is she's going to stay there. Is she going to recuperate? She's going to try. Okay, so you can remove wounds from your card. Essentially, take a grievous wound to a wound and then a wound off your card. Like reduce. By rolling vitality. So you have a vitality dice. If you reduce, if you roll a success, you reduce it by one. If you roll a crit, you reduce it by two. Yeah. Okay, so. so. And a recuperate, I think it's one plus, you know. But I've only got six for it. It is one plus, yeah. You've, all, you've also got to use some destiny dice. What I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to use all of the death. I can't, no, I can't use all of them because you can, you can only, only use two. two. Yeah, do you want to use, use one? Well, I'm going to use this one initially off of her card. Why don't you save the six and then use the ones off the destiny dice first? Because I'm just going to go away. Okay. So, okay, so take that off. I'll use that one first. Um, what's her vitality? Her vitality is, is blue, the blue. Which is okay. good because that is more chance of me not rolling like a pile of poop. You rolled a crit. <laughs> Not a pile of poop. Yay! So you remove, essentially, you remove two wounds. Yes. Um, do it again? Yeah. Spend another destiny 100%. Dice. Cool. There you go. Two more wounds. Hell yeah. A Melda who, right? <laughs> that's why the those dice are rigged, because that's all the zombies have been rolling. <laughs> this is it, actually. Okay, is. so you've got one dice left. You've got six. What would you like to do? Would you like to recuperate? I'm going to recuperate like... again, because... Probably she can't attack Probably best shot, anyone, because be there's no one around her right now. Yeah. Lich Gates... Let's get some. You're closest to the Lich Gate, but I mean, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking the chance. To be honest, I'd rather, I'd rather, um, I'd rather. Yes. Recoup. Yes. Bugger. Sorry. No. No. I'm just trying to work out how often no. do you roll the crisis? Crisis is that whenever you. It's only when we roll I think. to because events yeah, are at the end we, of every round. Because we did they? lots of crises last game, but I think we kept rolling five and six on the event table. That's why. Mm. And well, yeah. Again, Cleo and I got battered by a couple of crisis cards. Yeah. Um, I got nothing on that one. No, so she's got still, blank. Yeah. Okay. Is that hair done? Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Obviously, not exactly super productive, but. Hey, Moon Tyranny, thank you very much for the 46 month subscriptions in a row. 
That's impressive because I don't want to subscribe to you for 46 months in one go. So it's nice that we... We've even been together for 46 <laughs> months. We haven't, we haven't. Moon Turin is an absolute baby. He also sent me the anime mouse mode, so thank you very much to him. Yes. Absolute legend. Let's get some hype in the chat. Uh, have you played the Dark Souls board game at all? Do you want to tell us? Is that something you want to say? I've played it. I love it. It's a great game. I did some bits and bobs of work on the Dark Souls board game. Georgie was actually involved in some of the production. She wasn't. She was just... Put in a language. You, whatever. So Mike has played it and you like it, right? Great game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's her done? Yes. Um, then we have Yeltsin. Yeltsin! Do you want to go and kill it, some bats? Is he just going to be like a massive glory hog and be like... He could do. Yes, There's a lot of he bats. He going to do that. Um, so I am going to use this tooth to mm -hmm. go to there. Okay. Oh, I left the dice box on, sorry. It's okay. You can see, uh, he can see all of the bats here. Yeah. And because I am a glory hog, I'm going to... I don't like calling them the mamas and the babies, because then I have to say, like, I'm going to... It's gonna, a dire bat. A dire bat. But it's diabolical. <laughs> okay. Um, Are you going to go with Yelson? Yes. I'm going to go for judgment on the dire bat, which I'm going to say is this one, because it looks like it's that one. It is the one at the front, yeah. Um. So... Would you like to roll? to hit yes um if i could use my brain for a second mm -hmm. so the dire bat is essentially a flying bat with an extra wound yeah like a dire wolf with like a big bat yeah okay so you roll the crit how many damage is that four Thanks. four okay so the bat swarms have oh, a rule called the... hard to hit so <laughs> if um they roll a 10 plus you reduce the damage by two I roll five, oh. that's four damage. So die bat is destroyed. Bye. We get a point for killing a <gasps> sergeant. Sick. It's die bat because it's diabolical. I beat you to it, uh, Decker. <laughs> it makes you think, I don't know if anybody watches The Boys, um, but it's just Billy Butcher. Fuck, a diabolical. I love diabolical, it so much. Mate. So um, I can't use Judgment again because mm -hmm. it is reload. Yeah, you um, are the last player in the turn. Oh, I'm I'm a I'm a keep so going. So you've got another you've got destiny dice to use as well. Um, while you think about it, what's uh, curious says what's curious how this stack, how this stacks up, um, as I've got an absurd amount of time in that Souls game. Carry off. We should play together. That would be really fun. I love that game. I've got all the expansions. We should play together. Um, but it does feel similar, but not quite as similar because it's not quite as punishing. Like obviously in Dark Souls, a character activates and all the enemies activate. Yeah. It's a little bit easier in that sense and it feels more like it don't feel as hard, but it does have a very similar vibe, I'd say. I think it has a similar vibe in that it's quite methodical mm -hmm. in the you've not kind of got like the way like the deck mechanics work and the fact that if there's a set of enemies that come out, it's a very kind of linear and methodical progression to how you get rid of them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's definitely not as, as punishing, I, I don't yeah. think. Well, Cleona might care to argue. Yeah. But I... I haven't done much of the experience and stuff like that either, but I'm, so I'm not really sure how that compares to Dark Souls. But except for the treasure deck being too big in Dark Souls and this one not being quite as big and being a little bit more like a shop where you buy stuff rather than drawing a card and hoping for the best. Mm. Um, so this seems like a little bit more fine-tuned in that sense. But I, me personally, I prefer the Dark Souls game. But I'm not saying this is bad. I just prefer that. I prefer this. You, yes. Sorry, everybody. Uh, um, welcome, JC Wagner. Uh, thank you so much for joining the stream. I, right, okay. <laughs> it's a dire bat because it died, says Des. <laughs> Exactly. They can take that copy to the bank. Um, do you remember mm -hmm. the 21st night? No. Um, <laughs> where Yeltsin was before he moved? Wasn't to here. Why? Because I'm like, I don't want to spend another one to move, but I want to be in that room. Okay. So I'm like... Yeah, you'd have to spend one to move and then move again. Wouldn't you? Yes, I'll do that then. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go. It's a dire bat because it's in a dire situation. <laughs> you guys need to stop. Don't ever stop. I love puns so much. Um, But he's here now. Yes. And... Is he going to attack with his sword? Oh, I have a question. What? Don't slap me. Sorry. Am I adjacent to that dire bat? Or yes. Was it... was that... Is that another dire bat? That is, is that... another dire bat, yeah. Are you going to hit another dire bat? I'm going to hit another dire bat because I'm not going to get like... PR points. PR points. Another dire bat with ardent, ardent blade. That's his little axe. It's worth a six. Go for to it. To be honest. Watch it. Well. What do you roll? Um, one of these bad boys. Cool. Good luck. That's what Amelda rolled. Oh, you could roll a crit. How many points of damage is that? 
three. Flappy bird, hard to hit. Oh, bugger, I forgot about that. No, that's three damage. Ooh, you're lucky that is another die back destroyed the earlier three oh, I want to show people firewood snakes. No. I keep thinking like <laughs> that's going to be a really cool opportunity to do that. I say when you shoot them, isn't it? No, it's whenever I roll an attack. Basically, oh. I'm just going to tell you because I'm getting sick of the suspense. Um, <laughs> whenever Yeltsin rolls um, an attack roll and it's successful, if the target is still visible, he can make one free firewood stakes weapon action against the same target. Mm. So he goes full Buffy the Vampire Slayer with a stake and I poetic. He's also going to use that six to kill that one. Or okay. try to. So fingers crossed for firewood stakes. You're all the crit. Do I reduce the damage? Oops, I no. the box. Does it tell me it's not gone in the chocolate box? Because you never yeah. can find out. Oh, there it is. Can you grab that? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Live performance and all that. <laughs> One. No. Another bat is destroyed. Oh, my goodness. You killed all I of mean, the bats. It's great because it's great for him. But also, I want to show you the cool stuff. <laughs> um, uh, no bees. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, but... so two die bats, which are six wounds, yeah. and then another bat, which is two, so eight you need to roll under for influence. Inspiration, sorry. Me rolling terribly pays off. Feeling star star inspired star star. It's star star star, it's three of them. My apologies. Mm. Okay. Right then. Yelson done? Yes. Coolio. All right then, that is the end of the turn. You were right, that was a big turn. That was that a big was turn. A big we did a lot turn. there. That was so we lost the zombies, and we've you've half killed all the bats. Oh, okay. I forgot. Sorry, each time a weapon action made by this hero slays a hostile champion, gain one inspiration point. So you're actually up to like four because you yeah, killed two champions. Yeah, I can flip him. Yeah, so you'll be on one inspiration as well. Yes. Nice. So you are inspired, Jelson. So my judgment's easier to use um, and I get an extra fun thing, which... New abilities and more dice, which yeah. is really good. Uh, it sounds like a good balance depending on whether you want a less or more forgiving. Yeah, I think this is a more forgiving experience, this one compared to the Dark Souls board game. Um, but it's, I imagine it's probably the same amount of grindiness because you don't actually grow a level unless you complete a mission three times. Yeah, and this is it, like, it's, it feels less punishing and less, it's still quite grindy, but this is a game, like, if I was going to crack at a game that's similar to this with friends, I would pick this over Dark Souls because mm. I think the Dark Souls game can be punishing to the point of it being not enjoyable. Like, you yeah. get frustrated with it, personally, people, I think, anyway. People enjoy the Dark Souls board game who enjoyed the game, the, the whereas this game. is more open to, like, more casual play. Yeah, like, I play this with, with my friends who don't like Warhammer, you know? Yeah, and... exactly. So Moon says, isn't that the point of Dark Souls? Yeah, it is. Yeah, And that's why fair, some people, yeah. more casual board game players or people who don't know the, the Dark Souls franchise probably won't enjoy it as much. Mm. This is more like for a, a board game player, a more yeah. casual person. Whereas the Dark Souls one... Not like one... absolute epic elite gamer times. Well, it's a love letter to the video game, isn't it? You know, it's, Yeah, exactly. That's what it is, for sure. But again, there's another game that's on pre-order this weekend by Simon, which is the Bloodborne the board Bloodborne game. The Bloodborne one, mm -hmm. Which I imagine is more similar to the setting, but I don't know what the gameplay's like because I haven't played it. There's already a Bloodborne card game out, and it's yeah. not good. Yeah. Not good. By the same company <laughs> made Dark Souls, so... But Bloodborne's by someone else, so hopefully it'll be better. No, the Bloodborne one was... There's a couple in that case, and there's a couple Bloodborne of... Bloodborne card game was by Steamforge, I think. Maybe it was a really early one as well. Yeah. Different one, I remember we used to sell. And the Monster Hunter one, yeah, as well. That's there a Monster Hunter one There's a Monster Hunter out. one, yeah. Can we get it? Yeah. If you guys like board game content, we'll do more. Like, I love them. I yeah. used to, like, used to do my job for, like, five, four, five Long years. Long time. Yeah, so, exactly. I'm always happy to play board games. Hell yeah. Right then. Okay. Yes. That's the end of the turn. It's time for oh, the event phase. How badass he looks, I'm staring the bats down. What did we roll? A it's 10. kind of cocked, but 10. What do you think? I'm going to say a 10. I'm going to say a 10. Okay. Born hero. The leader that picks the leader picks one hero that is out of action. We don't have one of those. If there is no hero out of action, the leader picks one hero on the battlefield. Make a free recuperate action for that hero or remove one ailment. Maybe. If you'd like to make him recuperate, roll for the only person who's taking damage. Yes, please. Cleona, let's go. Um, Game of time. Vitality roll? Yeah, my brain stopped then for a second. Great. <laughs> Would you like to tick over the clock once? Oh my god. We are past the halfway point. We've scored two points. Folks. We've scored two whole Sorry. points. Sorry. Oh, I scored two points. You did score us two points all by yourself. Okay. Did we put one for Gorslav? Because uh, we're on two and I killed two diabats. Yeah, I don't think you moved it on the, for the diabat the second time. So okay. we're on three points. We're going to get to ten. I just think it's so, so pretty, that clock. Yeah. Okay, do you want to roll the destiny dice? Yes. Go for it. Hopefully we can be as good as it was last time. Here we go. 
Ooh, we lose two. Ooh, we got no. one, two, and a five. Not bad, I guess. We've put them to one side for us. Yeah, cool. Cool. I'll roll the Melda's activation. She's feeling fine. She's feeling glorified. She's not feeling inspired. Hashtag not inspired. <laughs> never <laughs> inspired. Never, never impressed. Not ever. Glorio. He's feeling pretty good. He's feeling pretty good about himself. Do you want to roll your two? Yeah, for sure. Yelson. Through one, three, four, four. Okay, that's good. Well, luckily he's inspired now, so his stuff is easier for me to use. Yeah. So that makes it a little bit better. And then three for Cleona, because she's still got oh, her grievous no, wound. Does. Oh, <laughs> I think it's going to be another turn of just recouping for Cleona. Great. Brilliant. Because when she's inspired, you can increase people's ability dice by two. Yeah. Um, but she's not, so she she's can't. Not, she's not. Really <laughs> she can't. Okay, so we start off with the three bat swarms. Then we start. Then we go to Glorio. Mm. Then to Cleona. Then to a card that should be not be that way. <laughs> then we go to the mystery card. Oh. Then we go to Yelson. Then to Emeralda. 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 <laughs> then we go to the other bat swarms. Okay. Right. Interesting. How do you feel about that? Uh, not too bad. I'm not really sure which bat swarms which. Sadly. So we'll have to, we'll randomly say below six is this group of one is the first one and then above six is group of two. Yeah, I think so. So below six, so the first one is one group of bats. Yeah. It's one bat. One bat. You. Yeah, I think, but then you're, you're going to get attacked by, no, actually, you're going to get attacked by one bat, then we'll spawn more enemies, then Jelson gets to attack, then say, the I'll, other bats go. If we were going to gambit, I wouldn't be annoyed if I went before the enemy, but if it's just one... It's one bat. And his defence is the blue die, so it's not like it's the bone ones where there's less chance of me being successful, mm -hmm. but it's me, so I can't, okay. I can't say that, can I? I? Well, I'm pretty much fine. Amelda's not going to be swapping with Gloria, I don't think. And the issue with him is it's really hard oh, actually... for him to roll Vitality because it's on the bone ones. Do you don't remember last time when he was yeah. trying to roll Vitality for like yeah. ages? You know what? Imelda and Gloria will swap. Okay. Because Gloria's got lots of good dice and he's quite powerful at okay. the minute. Imelda's not got much and she's miles away from anything anyway. So she, I'm going to use her three, four or more dice to go search that thing up there. Because Gloria can't actually search with her. He can only search with one, whereas Imelda can search with three. Yeah, that's so she's going to go and search, I think. Love it. Um, okay, so um, do you want to do any gambit in? Um, I think we're pretty safe. I'm going to take my chances with that one bat. Yeah, okay, cool. So we'll speak of one bat. The one bat. Uh, that everyone's making one bat jokes in the chat. <laughs> Um, Can I tell the story about that time when I was at home and I heard a weird noise at like 3am yeah. and I put the light on and a bat had gotten into my room and it was the most terrifying thing that ever happened to me because it was flapping around my head and I didn't know what to do and I was like I need to go and get my dad this was like last year it was yeah. really recently um, and it was absolutely terrifying so I had to try and guide him out with a dictionary and that's my story <laughs> about how I became a vampire carry on yeah uh, Ginger Steve says, can't fight a wombat, they look cuddly. Wombats are cute as hell. I'm combat like, Wombat is in a different like... stream. Oh yeah, Combat Wombat isn't here. He's in, as someone who watches the stream. Combat has a cute name, I love yeah. it. Wombats are super cute. Yeah. Uh, the heroes are lighter plastic, yeah. Uh, sadly, we didn't get them painted because we only really got the game like Thursday evening, so I've not really had a chance to paint them, so or even spray them. I didn't really know what colour to spray them either because it'd be like, they'd all be the same colour. Yeah. So. It's nice that they're different plastics so you can differentiate, but like... Yeah. That's the other problem with like, because love amazing of games workshop to support or the channel to send us stuff but like we don't get enough time to like properly invest time and paint them it's a shame because they, they're really really pretty i think they're they're really thematic they're really really nice figures and mm. i said to you didn't i was like they'd be really fun to paint um, and you don't want to rush them yeah that's it because you could so easily go spray and then contrast and they'd be yeah. you know fine for a the shitty gopro no mm. offense to your camera but um <laughs> subscribe and yeah then get us a join the small ball gang so get better not too to good because then it's gonna look my face will be in hd and yeah and the price isn't someone said the price all in it's quite expensive but when you think it's 125 quid and there's 60 miniatures i it's two pound a miniature i think as like i i am inclined sorry you can have your go in a second i'm inclined it's not my go it's the bat's go um, the bat is waiting the bat you. is waiting to kill me so i'm <laughs> going to keep talking and um, if you my point of comparison for something like this is kind of gloomhaven maybe yeah which is like a dungeon crawler with miniatures and that was what 180 
mm, I think was, was retail for it. So I think for 125, what was Warcry? Warcry was 125. Warcry catkins. Infinite, like obviously I get why. There's a lot more of, in this. Because of what's in Warcry is what made it expensive, you mm. know. But I think this, <laughs> stop it for this. The, what? <laughs> getting ready. The playtime that you get out of it, I think. Is higher, Campaign yeah. wise is higher. And I'm mm. I'm biased because I inherently enjoy this game more because it's more at my street. Yeah, but as Moon but... said, it's one big, one big expense, so it makes it's like yeah. bigger, which 100%, makes sense. Hundred percent, yeah. Anyway, back time. Okay. They roll a four. Charge. Um. <laughs> They're gonna attack. Or not. Do you want to react? Yeah. You can actually, shoot him now. Yeah, I want to do an ardent oh, blade. Can, can you do that? You can't. I don't know if you can react before you've activated. Oh, that would have been really cool. We've never done it, that's why. Reactions! Uh, so you can end your activation with reaction dice. So you don't have any reaction dice when you're activated. Bat time! Bat time! Hey, thank you very much for the sub. Weather for Nords has gifted a, tea, uh, gifted a tier 1 sub to Jake Two Pence. Make sure you say thank you, Jake. And thank you very much to Weather for Nords for the donation. Uh, your sign gift. is over there. We do have Weather a sign with your Nords name up. Not behind us, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Uh, the bat did nothing. Oh, Thanks so much for the sub, dude. Really appreciate it. You Thanks. brought me luck against the bat. Yes, you did. You. Okay, so now it's time for Amelda. Yeah. So Amelda is going to turn the bat thing off. Yeah, get that bat away from me. She's going to spend a one to move. So they mm -hmm. go one, two, three. And then she's going to spend a four for a search action. Let's go gamer time. Can I have a treasure card, please? Okay, are you ready? I am ready. Please. Show the camera. No. Why would you throw it like that? I throw it because you always get the good ones and I always get a chance when, when I search. When cast upon dead walker zombies, these magical ashes sear the briars that protrude their, from their bodies, leaving them wreathed in a thick fog of spark-filled smoke. Did you hear that? Very, very, epic. very sick. So it's basically, I can stun dead walker zombies if they're in line of sight. That is very cool. It's very in cool. line of sight, so not even adjacent. Within two spaces. Oh, cool. Nice. And then, because we found a treasure, I should get rid of this one as well. When you find the treasure, the mysterious objects disappear. That's really good. Yeah, okay. I think stun's really good in this. Yeah, but there are no zombies. Are so not. Amelda's going to do a run. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, was that the most effective way of yeah. moving that you could have Sure. One, two, three, four. Who's going to go there and help out yeah, big old Yelsa? He doesn't need your help. Okay. Right he then. might need your help. Clear on the time. Cleona. <laughs> it's just, just got absolutely dog shit rolls. Can I say that? Can I say dog shit? Yeah, it's live. I can't stop you. Dog poop. <laughs> um, she has bad rolls. But why should YouTubers get them though? I know, right? Bastards. Bastard YouTubers getting it for free so you can't have one. Take the dinner off your table next. Just kidding. What's a meme? So. Kirioff started it. <laughs> no, no, Kirioff put it incredibly eloquently in a far more polite way than I was going to, but I was at work, so I didn't have the time to yeah. vent on the internet about it. So, anyway, Cleona is going to recoup four days because. Okay, yeah, she can't do, can't do anything else. So. Yeah. Um, it is one, isn't it, for a recoup? You don't have to have more than that. Yeah, just one on the dice. Yeah, so. A one action, a one, one plus action. action. Um, and it's my vitality I roll. Okay. Please. Nothing. She's going to use a one. <laughs> She's gonna... Again. Okay, so it will go to one. So I flip it from the three to the one. Yeah, because you're all the success rather than a crit. Um, you want to recoup again? You know what? Absolutely. Makes sense. Why not? Why not? Yeah, like, oh, got now rid of I it. get a two, right? Uh, going back to Dark Souls, retail price for that is 99 Curse City is yeah. more miniatures, plastic objective markers, and rule books slash scenario. Yeah, exactly. So it's, yeah. it's probably comparable. Obviously, Games Workshop makes the best miniatures. It's not just saying that because they sent us a book. It's uh, just yeah. they do. They yeah. do. And they the are, thing is... Yeah. And, they're, and they're better plastic as well. It's obviously GW plastic rather than like board game plastic. And with the Dark Souls one, I think you rely a lot on different expansions for it. Yeah, there's not a great deal in the in the base box. Yeah, so um, whereas this is a pretty complete in and of itself. Yeah. But there are going to be expansions. Are there? So, Ooh, yeah. exciting. So, well, it's pretty much guaranteed. It's You'd not think, been confirmed. It's pretty, it's pretty much guaranteed. Okay, Cleona. She's she's blah, blah, she's blah, blah. Life. She's back to full mm -hmm. activation. Would you like to do anything else? Well, um, we have destiny dice to use. Honestly, no, because 
I don't know what she would do. Everyone's on sobbing because she said dog shit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, are they? No. Okay. It's a meme. Okay. Um, <laughs> she doesn't understand it. I don't know what she's talking about. Twitch chat are just rabid. That's what they are. I um, love them there. Um, what? <laughs> just say, I love my Twitch chat. <laughs> and YouTube chat, obviously. It sounds like you're playing favourites. <laughs> um, she's going to just chill out there. Having a great time. Mm. Because there's three Destiny dice. You're going to use two. Yeah, and I'd be moving, and I don't think I'd be able to get close enough. What are you going to gain out of it? Nothing. So you're going to say that? Okay. Cool, so that's her done. Then we go on to number three, which is the mystery card. Dun, dun, dun. It is one Vicross Bloodborne, oh, which is... That? We've not the... had one of those before. Oops. Oops. One of those before. Vicross... Some... Bloodborne is this guy, this little chappy, chappy Runeo. Oh, the Mr. Tumnus. Mr. Tumnus, yeah, the big vampire thingy. So they're going to go off to the furthest away, which I think is still here. Oh, I don't know. Well, because yeah, I'm be. next to this one. Actually, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I think they're still going to appear here. Uh, and then they're going to make an advance. So I think they move five. I think Destiny dice are going to be for Yelson, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's got to put some work to do. Yeah, they move five. So basically, these are just like half vampires. Mm. They're Mr. Thomas. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, An attack. Wow. He made it. Yeah. He made it. Look at that. I didn't expect him to make it. Um, right. So when he uh, picks a target, he must attack uh, a hero who's already taken a wound. There isn't one, so he's just going to attack Yelson. Oh, I can roll crits now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Great. Three damage with the piercing blade. Would you like to make a defense roll? Desperately. You roll a blank. Shit. Nice, three damage. So, a grievous wound and, and another a... wound. Oh, gosh. Can <laughs> I be picky for one second? What do you mean, picky? I, I, it is because I'm literally innumerate. Okay, I cannot count past ten without using my hands. I don't like that it's what one and three. Yeah, it's weird that. Because it confuses my tiny brain. Because so. the grievous wound is like two wounds, but it's never called two wounds. It's treated as a grievous wound, but it's got three stripes on the tile. And then one on the other one. Confuses my tiny little brain. So. That was savage. Bloodborne out of nowhere. However, he is worth a point. So. Well, he will not be there for long. No, exactly. Okay, so that's him done. Then we go on to Yelson. Double hammers. Hammer time. <laughs> and he's inspired. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So. Feel free to use some Destiny dice because I think you're going to need it. <laughs> well, I'm going to. I'm going to go. But I'm a gun. I'm a gun. Um, I'm going to go for. I might judgment first, just because I'm pissed off at him. Yeah, go for it. Is that alright? Yeah, um, sure. Judgment is now three plus, so bye bye. Cool. And then wait for it. Go for it. Okay, one. Not ideal. Not a massive fan. One whole damage. No, no, it's a what is like it's a crit. Not a crit. Sorry. How many damage? Two damage. Okay, so the bloodborne has shadow fast. So each time this hostile oh. suffers. <laughs> What's up? Just go on. Each time he suffers damage on a 9 plus, he ignores the damage. He rolled a 6. He takes the damage. So how many damage is that? Two. Two. So However, lads, lads, lads. Lads time. I finally get to use firewood stakes for y'all. Here we go. So. He's down to four wounds. And it now is two as well. So. Oh my god. That does nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Remove. Um, Ardent blade. Okay. It's him. It's him. Here we go. How many damage? Four. Okay. Does he block it? You better not. No, he does not. Praise. Uh, he's dead. Well oh. done. I mean, Smashed him. Smashed him. He had stood no chance. Chance whatsoever. Mr. Tumnus. Get lost. Mr. Tumnus. Yeah. Go away, Mr. Okay, Tumnus. Okay, so that is one point. So have you moved us on? Yes. Points. Cool. All right, then. Question. So we were big, big, really scared of him. And I think yeah. that's the other thing what we can quickly jump in before we go any further is the enemies in this. We haven't seen the, the, the lieutenants or the big bat thing yet, but the, the level one enemies all feel like level one enemies where there's no room yeah. for ex there's no room for expansion except for putting more on the board. So I think yeah. it's a bit more swarm tactics rather than things getting stronger. Yeah, it's not... It, you don't ever feel like it's pointless. We're level zero. Do you know what I mean? You don't ever and we feel just like... took out a general, you know? Yeah. Well, there you go. And then obviously as you 
as it goes, it gets <clears throat> more difficult and what have you, but I think it's... Um... Yeah, exactly. But again, the difficulty, I think, is going to just be putting more models on the board rather than yeah. changing the models and making them stronger. Yeah, for real. Which I don't know if I like, but we'll see. Oh, that's, oh, that's quite strong. Yes. Can you use Destiny dice to recuperate? Yes. Can I do that? Yes. Thank you. Don't know why I put it there. Don't go there. I don't know. <laughs> it's vitality, isn't it? Oh, I forgot that his vitality is bloody hard. Vitality roll. Oh roll. my god! Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, that, that never happens on those ones. We reduce a grievous wound to zero. Oh, mate. Oh, okay. I can feel the power coursing through me. Uh, do I make another one? You know what? I'm high on life. Yes, I want to do okay. it again. Sorry, Glario. Glario's going to use the final. I'm back down to earth. Never back mind. That's work. okay. <laughs> okay. Crashing back cool. down. Has Yelson done? Yes. Uh, yeah, I've had a fresh trim. I've trimmed my hair today. Thank you for noticing. Uh, Phil, looking at you. You okay? Yeah, yeah I fell off again. I got too cool. excited done about my, <laughs> my grievous wound. Yeah. Cool. All right, then. So it is Glorio's time. Mm -hmm. It's Glorio's time to shine. That's it what is. it is. That's it. It's time to shine. It's going to kill some shine. bats. You know? Is that okay? From over there? He is, yeah. Is he going to do a big run? Uh, he's going to do a run. So I'm going to spend two of my dice to mm -hmm. do two moves. So six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so you can there see yeah. there. Then he's going to spend the Destiny 5. Mm -hmm. for Destiny 5. Destiny 5, yeah. Um, which, for Duelist, because it's now 5+. plus. So he's going to make a move. One, two... And he's going to attack with Geist Sever with the, with the Duelist. Mm -hmm. So now it's a blue and a red. Mm -hmm. And then the crit is a, is a, uh, the hit is a crit, mm. basically. Which he gets a hit. So he's no. going to kill that one, no. which is on his own. <laughs> Cause then, oh, no, he doesn't get that anymore. He doesn't get the inspired thing. I keep forgetting. I forgot to roll my inspiration for Yelson. Do you want to roll your inspiration for Yelson? Yeah. want to roll it? What did I do? You, did six, you killed the Blood Wall, which had six wounds. Cheers, Des. Appreciate it. I got a six. Okay. So, so I get it, right? Inspiration, yeah. Yes. Can you use inspiration to recoup? Just out of interest. Yes. But only during your turn, which you would get at the end of your turn. Yeah? Because you wouldn't have the... Oh, you would have had the inspiration. Do you suspend the inspiration to recoup? Yeah. Go for it. That was pointless then, Mike. Carry well on. Done. Crack on, Glario. As you would okay. have asked. So now he's going to use uh, Noblesse. It's a dual weapon, so he can use it in melee as well as ranged. Um, I realise I used the wrong dice, but never mind. Disgusting. So Noblesse, I'll spend a three to shoot one of the bats, which he gets nice. a crit, so he kills a bat. So that's that These are dead. both little bats, neither of yeah. these are champions. And then I'm going to use Crippling Strike, so I'm actually going to use the correct dice this time. <laughs> so he's going to hit him with the other bat with his sword. Which he does. He does indeed. Okay. And because you... Oh, no, you don't get it anymore, do you? No. Nope. So he did that. Absolutely loving life. We, had... no, we, didn't put it... we pulled it back in a big way. Yeah, so he killed three bats, which is six wounds. He gains inspiration. <laughs> he gains what? Inspiration. Okay. We pulled it back. Yeah, so that's him done. And then we draw an enemy card. I'll put that down there. I'll put that one down there. I'll put that one up. We get three, two dead walker zombies. Well, you've got your special thing for an elder, right? Yeah, I think that's going away. Oh, that one, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, same. Indeed. So we'll go with that one. Then I'm going to make a move. We can choose because it's the same. Um. <laughs> Clear and I need to actually move, I think, because she's just been chilling out. The short size is a bold AF look, and I'm here for it. Yeah, I cut it shorter than I normally do. From I usually cut it at a 20, but I cut it at 15. I know, right? Um, so that is the turn done. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think this game it can go on for quite a while. We're doing a lot of talking, which is making it take longer, yeah, obviously. Sure. I mean um, what time is it? It's, it's like nine, nine. nine. It's played for like two hours, two but hours. but we've probably spent an hour talking. It's about two hour game, I think. It doesn't feel like it's been two hours. Do you, yeah. do you want to roll the uh, quest dice to see what happens at the end of the turn? Yes. Where is it? Uh, Move it super far away. Sorry. Event time. Six. Six. Crisis. Oh. Resolve no. a crisis for your turn. Do you want to roll it again? <gasps> okay. Crisis time. Six. Six again. Yep. Very good. 28 number six. I have nothing if not consistent.
Dun, 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 dun. 28, number six, Thieving Dire Gargoyle. Excuse me? Thieving Dire Gargoyle. Okay. A mischievous Dire Gargoyle flits from the shadows oh, and steals. Mischievous Dire Gargoyle. Mischie mischievous. Don't you say mischievous because that's not how it is. It's a brummy thing. No, it's not. And it, everyone I know who is from Birmingham says mischievous and that is honest to God. It's not a thing. What? A Dire Goyle. It's actually called a Dire Goyle, not a Gargoyle. Um... <laughs> After stashing it in a small chest, it flaps its wings and begins to escape. The hero must either abandon their valuables or give chase. Um, so you skip five, six, seven, eight, and said, unpause the game and follow the following instructions. Place a Diagogo model in the nearest empty space to the acting hero. Oh, that's me. So in this instance, the acting hero is the one who's closest to a Lich Gate, so basically Klonoa, Cleona, uh, because she's closest to this. Yes. So we'll put a Diagogo, which I think I'll put down here because I don't think we use them. Oh, he's cute, though. Um, if acting heroes only use treasure, one of them chosen by the leader cannot be used or discarded until the Diagargoyle is slain. After which crisis ends, place the second Diagargoyle model on top of the card to remind you. If it has no treasure, an item of significant personal value is taken. The acting hero cannot gain or spend inspiration while the Diagargoyle is on the battlefield. Okay. Place the second Diagargoyle model to on top of the hero's card to remind you. A diagoyle. Well, you weren't supposed to turn it on when I was yawning. Right. Oh, let's not find it. Diagoyle. It's like diagonal. I got diagonal. Like, literally, is what I'm thinking. The diagoyle, diagoyle <laughs> is treated as a small hostile with the wounds of one. Okay. So once you've got that there, you can't use inspiration. Well, I've got no anyway, so. Okay. Can I kill him? He's got a wound of one. I will kill him. He lives with you now. Oh, can he be like my little pet? He won't let you use inspiration, He's so you cute. can't become inspired. I'm going to call him. Jeremy. Jeremy, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Right then, right then. Are you ready? Yes. Um, the first step of the turn. Nightfall. Tick tock, goes the clock and the party don't stop, no. Uh, uh -oh. Then it is the quest step. Would you like to roll the destiny dice? Do you want to put the... Ginger Steve says, I've just realised Mikey's right about mischievous. I've been saying it wrong my whole life. Literally, okay. So Romy weighs right in my heart. Now. Thank you. So it's mischievous, right? But then mischievous, someone, not someone, mischievous. Then someone told me, yeah, look at the word. There is no extra letters in there. And I've always said mischievous. So I literally sent messages to every single person I know from the black country and from Birmingham saying, like, can you say mis what's this word? And, and everyone say says wrong. mischievous. <laughs> And they all say it wrong. It just <laughs> I keep saying it and keep laughing. Baffled. Baffled me. Okay. So. Roll some quest dice. I'm stressed. Okay. Oh, roll the good. triple four. Which means you only have a one and a two this time. That was a little bit, that was a bit mischievous rubbish. of me. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Um okay, so Amelda gets Ooh, one and triple double five and a six. Loving life. Yeah, I'm uh, boss time. Glorio. Gets oh, not a decent roll. Hmm. Really, what he's looking for fives now rather than sixes. Um, Yelton is only going to roll three because he's still a wounded little sausage. So one, a five, and a six. Not, not terrible. Bad. And then Cleona. What is that emo? It's my head in a basket. Oh my god. <laughs> Your head in a basket, my like an Easter egg. Yeah. Our Cleona is absolutely having. Is that diagargoyle? Diagoyle. Here and Jer Jer Alley. <laughs> Jeremy is like a lucky charm right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not a dice off. Initiative time. We start off with Yelson. Then we go into the mystery card. Then we go into Amelda. Then Cleona. Then Glorio. Then Enemy. Then Enemy. Ooh, interesting. What do you think? It's not a very good order because there's not many enemies on the battlefield. But, I mean, Yelson's going to go kill them. And then they're going to activate at the end. Which is good and bad. But Gloria has a chance to get out of there before any enemy spawn, so I don't mind. No, I'm thinking, so I, I don't I don't want to gambit because I've only got three for Yelson anyway, so I don't want to use one it's of the The chats are full of brummies. Ginger Steve. <laughs> Brummy supremacy. Uh, Jake as well. Tom Warden. Oh, <laughs> ben Rhea. You're, you're all my brummies. People. Yes. <laughs> I'm surrounded by Oh, we slark on back home. Oh. Right then, okay. Mm. What'd you like to do? Are you happy with that order? Yelson, go kill the two zombies and then we find out what happens next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> 
Um, we haven't got many dice, so it's probably worth using the dice to run away from everything. What I'm thinking is, if I go to them... Mm -hmm. Kill them. Kill them, if I can. Then run away. Would you be mad if I used some Destiny dice? No, to I can't, I'm a bit too... I kind of just want to get out of the way anyway, so... It's such a little wimp. Okay, I'm yeah. playing Gloria to cat in character. And I'm playing Yelton in character, I mean, like... Tom Ward and I'm from the South. Are you saying like a normal person? I mean, like, not like a brummy. Rude. Can we um, have a new brummy board gang email? Brummy, brummy small, board gang? Small, 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 small brummy gang. Yes. I don't have enough email slots, sadly. Make one. That is okay. worth it. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm going to move. You're gonna, you're gonna go yell soon. We're gonna go in with yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, I just figured we were gonna. Yeah. Go for yeah it. Okay. Cool. So, and what is his? One, two. You're gonna move three. Then you're next to him. Three. Because you can shoot in combat. Because you got a dual weapon. I do. Correct? And I want to be in combat because then I can use Arden Blade as well. Yeah. Cool. Judgment. Judgment. Um, I can't do that with my voice. <laughs> Judgment. Um. Yeah. So that is. For damage. The board. Bye. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go for Ardent Blade. Makes sense. Or, no, I'm not. Can I please use this one to do Ardent Blade? Yes. The Destiny one. Mm. Destiny one. Destiny's one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we like to see. Okay. Get him gone. Two zombies. Four there. damage. I saved the six because... I thought maybe with I could do Remorseless Killer, which is a free weapon action. Mm -hmm. If it slays a hostile champion, you can make another free weapon action. So I was like, uh, maybe I nice. can get like a free one. With There's no hostile champion though. No, I know, but I thought if I could get another weapon action, mm -hmm. it would be worth it kind of thing. Makes sense. However... You've got two dice left. I'm happy to use for you to use the Destiny dice. Um, no, would you like to run away and then recuperate? The thing is, if we wear... <laughs> <laughs> Currently, we're gonna. It's gonna spawn. It's gonna up spawn here. over there, so I don't can't need see. to no run one can away. See. Really, do I? So currently, it's gonna spawn up here next to Cleona. Because Yelson is here. If you run away, this is Glario. This is Imelda. This is Cleona. Yeah. If you run here, or at least next to him, then we can choose where mm -hmm. it spawns. We can spawn it over there. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that then. I'll just move. Um... Well, I mean, it's up to you. Where would you like? Well, it I, I don't. It's not really. Six and two threes to me, to be honest. Well, if you leave, if you stay there, you're going to get attacked by two enemies. I am, aren't I? Yeah, okay. So if I, I thought if you run away... One, two, three. Yeah. But and that had adequate movement choice. Yeah, yeah, then use the last dice to recuperate. Oh, bugger, I forgot about that, yeah. Do you mind that I've literally used the Destiny There's dice? no enemies on the battlefield. So oh, yeah, I can do with all Recuperate. One. Recuperate. <gasps> you recuperated. You back to full. Well I'm done. so proud of myself. Yeah, cool. Cool, yeah. That um, went pretty well, I yeah, think. not too shabby. Right then, number three we yeah. reveal for the second in command. Three Ulf and Watch. We go into the debate again. What would you like to do? So if anyone joining us now, we had a bit of a debate hey. earlier. Oh, where's the camera gone off? Sorry, one second. This is how bad the debate got. It was very debated. We're here. Can you hear us still? I can still hear us, yeah. Can everybody still hear us? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I should have been prepared. Hello. <laughs> it went to night time, Kiri said. It went to night Yeah, exactly. So we had a bit of a debate with, if people are still watching, awesome, but for people who weren't here at the time. So the Ulf and Watch sergeants are worth points. But we're bringing on three Ulf and Watch, but it says, a hostile group that contains any Ulf and Watch cannot include more than one sergeant and more than one banner bearer. In addition... And if an orphan watch group has four or more models, one of the models must be a sergeant, and if if one of it is available, and one must be a banner bearer. But if there's less than four, it doesn't say to bring on a. Does it say sergeant. in the rule book? It doesn't say on the card. Um. So I'm not really sure. Because when we set up the orphan watch, for example, oh. When there are multiple hostiles in a group, the leader picks which hostile models are used. For example, if a hostile group contained three Orphan Watch, the leader could choose to have one Orphan Watch mm -hmm. Banner Bearer, one Orphan Watch Sergeant, and one Orphan Watch Skeleton, or just three Orphan Watch Skeletons. Right, okay. Therefore, I think... Yeah, but it says, but it says on the card... 
oh, if it has four or more, it must. Yeah, so it's optional until you... So, hello, enjoy my hand. It's optional until you get over four, which I think I can see it from both perspectives because if it's a tiny group, you would be able to farm points pretty easily. Mm. Whereas I also feel like there should be a sergeant in them. I don't know. There probably should be a sergeant. So that makes sense. So it says, yeah, may, maybe, Glenn, it, maybe it says, maybe it means that it's optional until you have four. That's what I think. From okay, what you said, Okay, so that's what we're going to play. We're going to say it's optional until we have four. So we're going to bring on a sergeant and a banner bearer, which means they're better, but it also means they're worth points. But the, I, feel like you, I feel like you shouldn't be able to just decide if you're on points because you're always going to decide if you're on points. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so we're going to bring them on. We're going to bring on a sergeant and a banner bearer. We've bring also, some points. <laughs> we've also never never used them, so because well, we, yes, we played it the other way around. We're going to be a fun learning. So class. that's the banner. Which one's the sergeant? I don't know. Is he just big? I don't know. Um, I've got no idea which one's the sergeant. We say this one with his sword going backwards. Great, thanks. He's got a sword. The one with the sword is the sergeant. Why not? Sergeant sword. Like, you know, you guys aren't going to be able to tell very well either. So sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. Carry so on they... being a little baby angel on Twitter. Thanks, mate. Love Is it? You. What a yeah. king. Okay, so they're going to make a move. Sergeant, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's them done. <laughs> okay. There is a clip. There's a clip? There is a clip. Do you want to watch the clip? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a leader's choice below a certain number of models, but we always house rule this smaller groups and we just had the dice decide. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I like that. Yeah, I like it, that it, way of doing it. I it think. makes sense that you'd bring them on. So. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention, so I was reading the group chat. It's been popping yeah. off. Okay. Uh, so that's them done. Now yeah. it is time for Imelda. Imelda is going to go and do some bosking. Bosking. Gonna... Bosking. Bosking, <laughs> yeah. She'll save the one. She'll use a five to run. One, two, three. Now, she's technically adjacent to all of those skeletons. So she's going to spend a six for Dawnlight. Death blow time. Right, okay. Can she do it? She's going to attack the sergeant. <laughs> um, how many wounds have they got? They've got two. The sergeant has three. Okay. I feel like that's doable. We'll attack the sergeant. I regret this choice. <laughs> I've, made, I've made a huge mistake. I'll attack the banner bearer. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm two damage. That's gonna be fine. Yeah, so the banner bearer doesn't have any extra wounds, so the banner bearer is destroyed. Okay, then we're gonna spend the one to attack the sergeant. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna spend the five to attack the sergeant. God damn it, Amelda! <laughs> that was really <laughs> like, is this on the tilt or something? It is on the tilt, yeah. Well, then that's probably what happened. Yeah, it's because there's hinges on this side. Um, okay, so Amelda's terrible. She's not uh, terrible. She's, she's terrible. terrible. <laughs> she's terrible. Okay. Um, so she killed one dude. He's got two wounds. Is she inspired? Yes. She's inspired for the first time ever. I'm really ever. proud of you. Wow. Epic. Okay. Cool. So she sucks, basically. I mean. She's great when she's inspired. Until then, it's very hard. Until then, it's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's like hard. It's, you know, it's like a 50-50 on this dice, right? to roll a result yeah it's better than this one though yes it's a one and a six yeah but exactly and i've only rolled blanks i've rolled one hit <laughs> maybe get good maybe then. okay cool um so after that is cleona miss elder that's a new name miss <laughs> elder would you like to take your turn whilst um i go and get another drink i'm um... excuse my jammers we're very comfortable gamers we are in case you wanted a quick peep at the fit again y'all it's um trackies and the black templar hoodie um so it's it's not my go is that it's clear on this go oh you haven't what what i just got confused because you moved your car and i didn't see that you moved it so i thought it was glorio irrelevant no, sure so i <laughs> i know i should get rid of jeremy um <laughs> but get rid of jeremy get rid but I like Jeremy. Get rid of him. Okay. Jeremy. Attack. He's got a wound of one. <laughs> that, you need that to roll one dice. You killed him. Why, Jeremy? I didn't kill him. I just... 
gave him a him. stern talking to and said, Jeremy. <laughs> Got it. Cool. What would you like to do next? Probably join the party, I think, that actually, because he's been stood there kind of like meditating on getting healthy <laughs> for mm -hmm. a little bit. you got three sixes to play with. I do. Not to, not to brag. Um, so I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm probably going to move again. Makes sense. One, two. You can actually see the skeleton now. If you got a ranged attack. Because he's in adjacent space to this tile, so we you can actually see them both. Yeah, he is actually, isn't he? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I might I might have and spot stiletto him. Because at okay. least then if I were to get a... Oh, is that your neck? No, carry on playing. Ignore that. <laughs> if that was... Yeah, if I was to hit him, then he'd be stunned, so I'm going to go mm -hmm. for that as well. Are you going to go for the normal guy or the sergeant? Sergeant. Who has three wounds? Sergeant, please. Okay. It's like, it's not... Again, it's not the damage I put for it isn't huge, but it's... That's why I was wondering if you wanted to go for the normal guy because you've got more chance of killing him. But it's one. Even on a crit, it's one. All right, okay, cool. But he's go, just... Yeah, go for the side of I figured if he's got a higher damage output, it's better to stun him. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Or I could just do nothing. Great. Time for Glorio? <laughs> also an option. Yeah, it's time for Glorio. <laughs> Glorio is feeling God. Is he? Yep. He's going to spend his six for Duelist. It's a really good, it's a really good, um, one, two, traits, character yeah. thing, word. That and he's going to use Geist Sever, two blue, can I have the blue? Oh, there he is. Um, so because I've used Duelist, any hit becomes crit, and I'm going to attack the sergeant. I've rolled a hit, which becomes a crit. The sergeant is destroyed. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, can you move us on a point, because we killed the sergeant? Yes. We're on five now. Um, oh, I'm actually like... No, no joke. I'm actually very impressed with it. I'm still kind of <laughs> proud of how we've, we've pulled this back. And then I'm going to use Guy Sever again, but just normally into the other guy, which does a crit, which does nice. three damage. Nice, 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 nice. So that is him destroyed. <laughs> and then I've got two dice left. He's an absolute beefcake, this guy. Uh, so he's going to do exactly what Gloria would do. And he's going to move behind the captain. <laughs> that is thematic. Thematic. And then he's going to I'll end his that. activations. Oh, it goes down to three. Follower. Thank you much for the follow. Really appreciate it. I can't quite see it from this distance, but thank you. PD. It looked like That's... Phoenix, but you went for PD. PD. So. Thanks, PD. Um, so do I gain any inspiration? Uh, one, I do. I'm feeling very inspired. I've got four. Okay, that's him done. Number two. Two dead walker zombies. They're the ones we killed a minute ago. Are they? Yeah. So we get two more Ulthan Watch. Sergeant again. Why not? We can do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, bring on a sergeant, it's twenty past nine. <laughs> and then they're gonna go one, two, three. Like so. Okay. Would they go that way? The, I mean that's probably the closest way. Is it? It's six uh, I keep I don't saying think, I don't like... think it's I don't think it matters too much. Uh, so that's them, and then number one, we draw in three corpse rats. We haven't had any corpse rats yet. We've not. Just can you remember how fast they are? I want to say three. You reckon three? I think. Yeah, three. So we get a corpse rat. So there's a squad of rats. One of them is a blood rat, which is bigger. We'll send them this way instead. These guys are large, though. They're not small. Yeah. Well, they only fit bases. one per square. But this is, like, really specific. 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 I think these the models for the rats are really, really, really cool. Yeah, they look but... so dynamic. They look for, so full of movement. I think they're really, mm -hmm. really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what is the size of the models? Um, so the, the zombies and the skeletons are quite spindly. All the characters are quite big, but then like the the rats are quite big and the you know like the bloodborne are quite big. But they are they're closer to like true scale rather than heroic scale. I'd say. Yeah. So they are a little bit. Like Age of Sigmar scale, you know, all the height, all the characters always seem a bit bigger than the normal enemies. So that is the end of the turn. It's time for the event phase. Would you like to roll the quest dice? Not really. What'd you roll? Eight. Eight. I believe that night ticks down. One. Our time grows short. Move the nightfall symbol over. Would you like to move it two this time? No, because, because it's getting closer is, to night time. This is me because I was like, I think we're doing well. Like an idiot. Yeah, it's one, too soon. Two. We have. We have one go before it's night. Lovely. Which just means our enemies become empowered and more difficult to kill. 
Yes. Would you like to roll the destiny dice? I would love nothing more. Go for it. Don't roll any doubles. Uh, okay, that's... I want to... <laughs> we rolled one. Oh, any God. duplicates get taken off. I didn't realise that I rolled two fours. I thought I only rolled one. Yeah. So you got one destiny dice. I didn't third. roll two fours. I ro I've just picked those oh, okay. up. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you'd be like, you're worse than me at that. Okay, ML there. Bossed it. Nice. Oops, I've, I've taken the dice off. He lied, he got Gloria. one. I, ML, they rolled pretty well. Uh, two threes, a four and a six. Do you want to roll yours? For the first time in what seems like forever, I've got full activation spaces on both my characters. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So Nice. That's okay, Jailson. So. Three, three, one, six. Oh, that was three, three, one, six. I not one over because I'm terrible. Um, and Cleona? No. Better, better indeed. We like the that. Okay, so activation phase. We've got Yelson first. Then we have Glorio. Then we have the two Ulfen Watch. Then we have Emelda. Then we have the three Ulfen Watch. Then we have Cleona. Then we have the three Corpse Rats. You're waving a finger. I yeah, don't I'm because people can't. Oh no, you're it's fine. You're it's in the corner anyway. Uh, so that's the order. Are you happy with that? We're very far away from all the enemies again. Yeah, which is great, but also it feels like not like a wasted turn. But so in, ga in case you can't see it super clearly on here, um, Imelda, Imelda, Glario, Yelson, um, Cleona. Cleona, and I almost called a Cornelia. And all the enemies are because of the anime we're watching. Um, <laughs> rat, 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 scaly bobs. Mm. So I don't. Just I. I don't know because I feel like we're far away and mm. I don't want to waste my my dice running over to them. Well, yeah, but otherwise you, know you I mean? have to roll a crit to choose to swap with an enemy. But I don't want to... I also don't want to waste them gambiting. Yeah. I just want to fight stuff. <laughs> okay, so we just go for it? Yeah. Can I sit down before we put the camera yeah. back? I'll sit down there. <laughs> okay, cool. So we'll go with Yelson first. What yeah. would you like to do? Um, He is gonna go toward the big rat, I think. Okay. Um and I want to run. Move, sorry. Move, yeah. So, so I'm gonna three. go one, uh -huh. two. Did you see that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Are you going to that one that one? Yeah. You can actually see that one there. I thought you were gonna go up here. I think you were gonna be really proud of how I use the diagonals then, That's but great, no. Though. Great job. You're telling me that you I can move again? You can move one more space, but you can actually see the rat there because you're on this tile. This rat is in the adjacent space, so you can actually see that tile as well. What I might do is I might use my ranged weapon from here. Mm -hmm. That is um, the blood rat as well. Yeah, this is it. So I might use my ranged weapon from here and see how I do. I don't want to move too close unless I have to, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use judgment. Okay. It's judgment. Judgment. Good, bad. So Colts Rat has four wounds. Okay, so that is two done with Damage. Cool, it's down to two. However, because I made an attack roll that was successful, the target is still visible, I can make one free firewood stakes weapon action against Go the for same it. target. Double shot. I have read this rule about 60 times, and every time I do it, I read it out loud because it seems really good. And it, it is, it, really it, good, is yeah. it is what it says. So he's, I got a dual, like... he's got a musket with a fire state launcher underneath. You know, and it just feels really good. Unless you roll blank. Unless I do that. Does that spend inspiration to re-roll it? Hell yeah. Okay. Heck yeah. So I can't say hell, it's Easter. You get a hit. How many damage is that? Two. Two. All right. That's that is one. the corpse rat destroyed. We'll just, we gain a rats. point. We get a rat, yeah. Oh, we get a rat. We, we get, get a rat. Point. Yeah. Um, no. The question <laughs> remains. Two dice left. Do I... Do I go closer mm -hmm. or do I keep them as reactions? One of them is a six, so it would go to a five. Yeah, you could react with it, but you've already shot. But I could ardent blade with it. Mm -hmm. If they make it into you. Well, this is it, so I don't know what to do you for might the do. best. There's two chances of them getting into you. Because I feel like if I move, then I'm not going to be able to move close enough to be in melee weapon range mm. so it's not really much point no. whereas if i keep it as a reaction it's there in case you know yeah i'm gonna do that 
immediately. You say that? So you get end your turn, so the dice will drop down by one, and then you can use them as reactions. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So that's you done. Then it's on to Gloria. Oh, can I please roll to see if I get inspiration from the, the, the rat? Yeah. So what was it for? Four, yeah. You rolled ten. The highest I've rolled. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Gloria will go. He's going to use a three to run. So he's going to go. The opposite direction. <laughs> One, no, no, two, okay. three, four. I'm going to spend another three to run. No, I'm not. I'm going to spend a six oh, hello. to duelist. One, two, three. And then he'll attack with Guy Sever. Nice, because you're adjacent. Into the corpse rat. Let's go. Well, it's just, yeah, it's just a corpse rat. Uh, it counts as a crit, so that's three damage. Get gone, rat. Get gone, me little rat. Get absolutely gone. And then I'll spend the four, uh, the three to attack again. Yes, oh, goodness me. Um, so that was two. I rolled the wrong dice again. I'll, that was a blank. No. That's your okay. punishment. Uh, I'll spend two inspiration to re-roll both. Can you do that? I don't see why not. You can spend an inspiration to re-roll any dice. I didn't know if you could spend two in one go kind of thing. Yeah, oh, it was worth it. Kills that. Okay, so that's the cults rats destroyed. Roll your... Um, unless you're going to go in and attack more. No, I'm actually going to stay still okay. and drop that four to a three. Yeah. Because then you can react with it with the guys. So roll your inspiration. Inspiration, so I need less than six. Nah. Not double. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Um. So that's him done. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to number two, which is the two orphan watch. Uh, so orphan watch, get a four, which I think is just move, charge, which is just move. No, it's move twice and attack into it. Is it toward the nearest one of us? Yeah, which is you now, I think, buddy. Yes. So we'll send the sergeant. So yeah. charge. It's move twice and then attack. One, two, three. So we'll go there. Is that the, the guy that stabbed you the other day? That skeleton? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try and react as he moves into my space. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We've not reacted before, so that's going to be cool. Cool to lose. I might choose to do this. I'll simply have nothing useful to do. When this happens, reduce the score of all remaining dice. It can be used to make a weapon action when a hostile that is invisible to the hero finishes a move action or weapon action or is deployed. The hostile that triggered the reaction must be the target of the weapon action. Make the hero's weapon action and then carry on with the hostile activation. So I'm going to react. I'm going to hit him with Grace Sever. Yeah. Uh, two damage, which kills him. Nice. I oh, know it's the sergeant. Is it? Yeah, he's got a sword. Oh no. So he's on my wound. My apologies. Okay. So then he continues his activation, so he'll then attack you, right? Yes, he will. Um, so he gets two attacks. Yeah. Two attacks with the bone ones. You keep hiding them behind me. I thought because I, I like them. You rolled a dumb blank. Like. So the sergeant's rubbish. This <laughs> one will do the same. Sadly, I can't react again because I'm out of dice. Can you react? I don't think. Can you react twice if you've got the I dice? I think so, yeah. I and he'll think. get a crit, which is two damage. So Gloria will roll his defense dice, which is blank, so he'll take two damage. He takes a grievous wound. Thank you. Okay. So that's them done. Mm. Now we're on to Captain Imelda. Yes. Who's miles away? She is a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, Imelda will spend a three to run. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, go up that way, yeah. Yeah, and then she'll move through that one. Another run. One, two, three, four. Spend another one to move to there. And then she'll spend the final six to death blow. Nice. You, and, the, you and your death blows? Me and my death blow. Here we go. So looking to roll. Uh, we'll hit the sergeant first. Mm -hmm. So I roll another blank. Oh. oh, we got two damage. That's this side. This, no. this, these ones are really tricksy because they always go really slowly and tease you. Yeah. And then we're going to roll the other one for the other one. Mm -hmm. So attack the other one as well with death blow to so attack both of them. Yeah. Two damage, which does kill him as well. All right. You know what? Normally, I, because of who I am as a person, mm -hmm. I normally really, really hate co-op games. I don't, I'm quite, it's been said that I am quite a competitive person. Mm -hmm. um, so normally I don't necessarily vibe with co-op games, but I really like this one. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Um, Gloria doesn't gain Path to Glory because he's already inspired. So he doesn't gain that inspiration. But... Um, 
I didn't roll it last yeah. time, did I? Okay, the rats. So confused, what yeah. did I? Well, I can't really kill, so I'm not going to roll it. But Amelda will try and gain inspiration. She did five wounds. She finally feels more inspired. Oh, I thought she'd gone to three. I was about to be like, yeah. oh, why? <laughs> yes. So after that, I kill the sergeant, so we gain a point. Yeah. So we're up to seven now out of ten. And that is her done. I'm so excited. She did well. She did all right there. Yeah. Number sure. three, the three open watch. We don't have them anymore, so we'll draw a new card. In fact, we've actually got no enemies on the board, so I'm going to ditch them to draw yeah. three new cards. So we now have... We're going to have to reshuffle that one soon, I think, because we're rattling through them, huh? Yeah, we've got one left in the deck. Now we have Watch Captain Halgrim, which is the leader of the Orphan Watch. This guy's worth two, right? He's worth one. No, he's worth one. I always get this confused. It's the vampire. It's the main head honcho and the vampire werewolf thing. Yeah, so Halgrim is a big skeleton, and he moves three, and he's got seven wounds. Oh, yeah, he's hench. And he moves to there. Okay. Okay. That is him done. Then we have Cleona. Come on, girl. Come on, my love. What would you like to do? I'm going, going to shoot Watch Captain because she can see him. Go off with Cleona. She's going to absolutely flip the shit. Yeah, for sure. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to. Let me think. I'm going to go for. <coughs> I'm going to spend six mm -hmm. to do my Staff of Celestial um, Devastation. Sure. So, only once per turn, hostile is visible to me, right? It's visible. Off you go. I'm going to take this. I'm not going to read the whole thing out because it needs to be successful first. Is Cocked. that? Okay. That's Blank. not, and it's still blocked. Also, if you like the look of this dive tray, let me know because I've got some for sale. He does. As you were. Um, you want to try again? I can't, I can use it once per turn. Do I need an attack? Stab? I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do Heaven's Vault Stilettos. Okay. Um, again, not massive damage output, but if I can stun him, then I can stun Go him. Go for it. So that's good. Um, nope. Or I could just do shit all. Um, so then, I'm sorry. Well, Nelda's passed on the bad luck. What's that to do next? I'm get better at Even playing attack? this or game. Are you gonna run away? Um, no, I'm, I'm. I don't. I'm annoyed at him. I want to. I want to. I want to <laughs> do it again. I'm the last one. You're the last one. I'm gonna heaven's bolt stilettos with that six. Can you do that twice? Yeah. Cool. Go for it. Okay. Only one damage. One However, whole damage. He is stunned. He's stunned. He Which like was that, the aim it? of the game here. You know, I don't yeah. intend to kill him with that. I just want to stun him with it. Nice. Okay. So that means basically when he activates, he'll just stand back up. So I'm gonna use my two mm -hmm. to move. Oh. One, two. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one here to thrice blessed mel thrice blessed mel it's in thrice blessed mace him. Cool. Okay. Hit him again. Hit him while he's down. Oh, you. <laughs> Blankety blank. Yeah, very much with what I was going to say. Also, okay, so that would have been good because I could have done three damage. However, what's I done? I did not do that. I did comparatively little, mm -hmm. and he's got six points of damage um and so i <laughs> will stay there when because Georgie he gets annoyed you can hear the brummy come out it's really bad you really can't you really can't um yeah you really can so i'm gonna stay there because he's only gonna be able to get up next turn yep. famous last words for cleona she's probably gonna get like a billion points of damage probably. okay so the final monster we're gonna be getting this turn is three more dead walker zombies um so where is the furthest away uh, one, two, oh. three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, I think. Cool. There they go. And they'll make a move. They only move two currently. Yeah, so these are the go... slow ones, aren't they? How many? Do... One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the go. That way, like that. Yeah. Because it's from there, it'd be one. Two... Either way, actually, so we'll send them this way, why not? <laughs> we'll split. Why not? We can do that. Okay, that's the end of the turn. Can you split them? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. They're all independent. Okay, except they all act together, but they're all actually independent. Okay. Okay. Um, would you like to roll the event dice? <coughs> no pressure, everyone. Six. Six. Keep rolling. Six. Crisis! Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Right then, go for it. Crisis, roll the table. Five. 
That's good. The lower, the better. Okay, good. Five is 28. Number five. Number five is... Help! Help! Are you okay. help me or not? Why do you... Yes! <laughs> what am I going to do? The heroes notice a group of terrified citizens trapped in a nearby house surrounded by dead walker zombies. The hapless vin victims cry out for help. The acting hero must choose to help the citizens or ignore their cries. I think that's you, mate. I think... One, two, three, four, five... Oh, it's me. Glorio will choose oh, to ignore is... them. No. <laughs> for that, we turn to page 43 for He's number 152. <laughs> Not choose to ignore them. <laughs> Let's say 153 on page 52. I don't know. I was too busy ignoring you like you ignored those citizens. Oh, my God. I've lost which one it was. Uh, 152 on page 43. Mm -hmm. 152. In these dark times, the greater good must prevail, even if it comes at a heavy cost. The acting hero becomes fatigued, and the crisis ends. Oh no, you become fatigued. What does that do? Acting hero activates before they make any actions. If they have a fatigue token, change all the activation dice scores to one, then discard the fatigue token. That's punishment for you being a little <laughs> shit. I don't know what fatigued is. It's this one, I think, yeah. Which one? It's the one with the... No. the, the um, oh. Okay. That was worth it. <laughs> Gloria's a little bit of a dickhead. That's what I've decided. Massive bit of a dickhead. I've decided that's what he is. Right then, okay, so um that's the end of the event phase. Clock time. Ticks on one more. We are on our final turn before nightfall. I it's did the eleventh it's the eleventh hour. I did ask for the um addition of a law and order special victims unit. Sadly not. For whenever we could do it, but there's two. I was gonna put Legend of Zelda Dawn of the final hour. No. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> okay. Can you roll the destiny dice? Yeah. Hopefully, I'll do better than last time. Yeah, hopefully. Oof! He did exactly the same. No, I didn't. He did. Let me see. Two oh, doubles. I did. Yeah, he I did. He rolled exactly the I same. So we have one that. destiny dice this turn. <laughs> okay, activation dice for Imelda. She's feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling mm. Gucci. Uh, two sixes. Gloria only gets three. Because he's fatigued, and they're all ones anyway. They're so. going to become ones when he activates you. Yeah. I just wanted to see you roll high and then have to turn into ones as a punishment. Not unless you get rid of my ail ailment. No, I'm not going to. Jelson? I actually might choose not to because you deserve the punishment. Get Mikey a Red Bull and rescue those citizens. We have a we have a Red Bull in the fridge <laughs> and he still chose to not do that. Gloria is feeling pretty fine, but I just feel like I want to know what the bad things do. Especially little Belen. Curiosity kill Gloria. <laughs> yeah, kill those citizens is what it kills. Yeah, well. Right, okay. Not bad, actually. I'm not massively upset. I've got to start standing up because I look like a tent in this. Um, it's a great jumper, right? It's not. It's, if you missed why we're wearing really bad t-shirts and jumpers, there'll be a video out next week regarding the $1,000 that I spent. Um, okay, so then it's the initiative step. Yeah. It's going to be... Again, sorry about this terrible camera for this, but Yelston first. Nice. Then we go with Cleona. Then we go mm. with uh, the what zombies. Mm -hmm. Then the mystery card. Mm. Then Amelda. Then the watch captain. Then Gloria. I don't Gloria know if will we... go last. <laughs> I don't know if we mentioned it before, but you don't have to have the um, the same. Please symbols. use custom fields instead. Can you Genius make sure to say Sandwell and Dudley District? I can't know. Okay. Council to remind all Brummies at home? Question mark, exclamation mark. Sandwell and Dudley District So, Council. honestly. Dudley. On, you, you can never normally, except when I get really annoyed, tell where I'm from. Thank you until much, my my old postcode at home is a... Don't say your postcode, please. I'm not going to say. It's, 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 <laughs> We've it's had a, enough of that, I assume. Dudley. 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 So what am I saying? Sam He's Sandwell and Dudley District Council. Sandwell and Dudley District Council. You said it quite normal. So you're all right. Start being back at home. It know. says to remind all Brummies of home. Yeah. So. Honestly. And the I'm one thing me. for my Brummies in the chat, shut up you, you don't get an opinion on this. Thanks the, for the 10, Steve. Really appreciate it. The bane it. of my life is living here in general. But also the fact that these, one See? of the, it's a tough. And you Tooth. use toothpaste Tooth. and a toothbrush, and you have a toothache. It's a tooth. Yelson's good first. What do you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, kick Glario in the tooth. He okay. would like to 
I think. Um, There's some zombies come in. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Okay, go zombie there. hunter. I'm going to go. Let's go. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. You can now see them with his ranged weapon. Um. Oh, oops. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ranged weapon of judgment for, for them. Mm -hmm. Are they both in one space, yeah? Yes. Cool. There's not like a leader. No. Um, Brilliant. Thanks, Esty. <laughs> Thanks so, again for the yeah, tendy. Yeah, really I'm welcome. It. Yeah, I'm welcome. Um, and then... Can you shoot? Yes. Go for it. Please. Oh. Nice. Inspiration to re-roll? Uh, I've not got any. No. Um, oh, that's oh. a bit of a shit. Sorry, everyone, for saying <laughs> the word shit. Um, Can I go in and attack? I don't think I'm a choice, to be honest, am I? No. But then I don't want to move. You have to. I mean, if you don't attack them, they're going to attack you. I mean, if I do attack them, they're still going to attack me. Yeah, so either way. Okay. Move a one. I should, you know what I should have done? I, I should think have, that's what. I should have run in the first place. Because yeah, I can use the two in. for Ardent Blade. That's yeah. my own fault for being... Stupid. You, you you instinctively go for the low dice, but I think the tactic is go for runs and then use the low dice to attack because it's one plus on most cards. Yeah, so like my ardent blade is one plus, so yeah. I should have definitely gone for that. I reckon. Yeah. Um, you gonna attack with a blade? Yes, yeah, so it's two damage. Uh, they have three wounds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have ruthless. As of three days ago, YouTube is cool with swearing as long as you don't take the piss. It's all right anyway. I really am. Cool. So um, ruthless. So fire stakes. Hit. Ah, oh, two one. again. Cool. Is that it? Oh wait, no. No, you used to you used I used you didn't that, take your didn't attacking dice off. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um Happy? Honestly no. Honestly no. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't run because then I would have had an extra activation to do another arm bleed. And I don't want to use a destiny because I feel like I was taking the Mickey. Cheers weather from odds. I didn't realise I'd updated it. They don't really communicate that very well. You can say Bitch and piss in the first 30 seconds now without getting demonetized. Bitch piss. Hell yeah. <laughs> is that him done? Uh, well, I don't know. Because I feel like I can't use that. That would be bad. Cleon is probably going to need it more than him. Do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, speaking of, Cleon is next. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, Thrice blessed mace. Boom. Into what, Captain? Yes. Okay. Um, come on, John please. Snow does not feel it. What cool. is dead and it may never die. What a beautiful small man. Um, and again, please. And again. Oh my God. Okay, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Heaven's Bolt Stilettos. So at least then wait if it's range can i st i can't do it at that distance if it says it? range no only if it's dual can you use it whilst next to the hostile did i do that before then so should he not be stunned no you were you ranged and then went in okay um so i'm gonna just thrice bless him again again if him. he's got six wounds remaining <laughs> this is actually a joke. Actually, a piss take. Okay, Brilliant. again. You can't do. Are you using the destiny dice? Are you? No, it was my last one. I, I didn't move, so I just. Oh, used... yeah, there's four times. Okay, but cool. that's a crit, so he gets three for that. Three piece. damage. Yeah. Okay, he's down to three. Do you want to use the destiny dice to attack one more time? I really do, but Go on, the, then. but the thing is, if I use it, I'm not going to kill him. Unless you roll a crit. No, even if I rolled a crit, it's three, so I wouldn't cut. He's got oh. three left. <laughs> Two and one is three. Go for it. Chat, just in case you were... Roll it. <laughs> roll a crit. No. no, it's one, so he's only got two left, so... He's only got two left. Not as bad as it could have been. Mm. Okay, so that's her, that's her done. I believe so. Cool, number one, three dead walker zombies, go. Oh, can I please check for... Um... Yelson for his inspiration. Go for I it. keep forgetting to do that. Was it two or three? Three. No. Okay, zombie time. Zombie time. What do they do? They get a nine. Nine. Charge. Who's got... 
Who's got the... It's Imelda who's got the special Imelda, yeah. zombie thing. Okay, so they're going to attack with hands and teeth. With what? Hands and teeth. Oh. Uh, so they'll attack Yeltsin. Nothing. This one will move. Uh, one... They blocks. can go through that. Oh, yeah. One, two. One, two. So send them here, yeah? Yes, please. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I'm feeling, not feeling very good. Left by Sigma. Yes. <laughs> Next up, we get more enemies. We get three corpse rats. I was going to say, we've not had as many um, rats and bats as we did yeah. last time, have we? So, furthest away is probably going to be here. Yeah. Uh, where's the big boy? Big boy. Big boy. Yeah. Uh, so, they're going to move towards the nearest. Cleona, huh? Cleona or us. Okay. Send them up here. Um, but, well, no, because that seems unfair. So what we'll do is well, odds, it's... odds, Cleona evens you, yeah? Well, that one's got to go there. It's just this one. Well, it says even, so it's you. So... <laughs> Either way. <laughs> just playing by the rules. Yes. Okay. Hey, Anthony Green, how's it going? All right, then. So that's the corpse rats done. Yeah. Then it is Amelda. Yes. All right, then, Amelda, what are you going to do? Attack the corpse rats. Probably. The big <laughs> one's this way. Yeah. So. What have you got for your... your... She's going to use a six to run. A three to run, sorry. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And attack. Oh, no, I don't think she can do that. Why? Because they're, they're not adjacent. So that one. Then she'll spend uh, one to move. Oop. To there. And she'll attack mm -hmm. with a six. It's death blow. Doesn't make a difference. Good old death blow. <laughs> this, attack again. These ones are cursed, honestly. Curse city. Two damage. Uh, they have three wounds. What do they have four? They're I think three. the Colts right has four. This one's yeah. cranky. Okay, that was not very good. That's in the bag. In the sweet bag. <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> Unlike that death. Sorry, don't worry about it. Find it later. Um, okay, that's her done. She spent all four dice to do two wounds. Don't worry about it, it's fine. I'm not worrying about it. I'm going okay. to Next up, we have Watch Catching Halgrim, yes. which stands back up. Because he was stunned. He was stunned by my beauty. And then we have Glorio. Now, when Glorio activates, because he's fatigued, he drops all his dice down to one. My true is not to help. And no longer fatigued. Okay. So he'll use a one to move. One, two, three. Use another one to move. One. And he'll attack with the guy sever into the corpse wrap. Gets a crit, so kills it. Oh <laughs> Who cares if I got ones? It still goes. Goes a point. I mean, I've got a mouthful of food, so I'm not gonna. Point. Oh. Eight. Okay. And then does he gain any influence for four? Inspiration. Yeah, he does. Something. Sorry, after I finish scrying my chocolate. Yeah, a bit Something... of professionalism. I know we've got the brummy accent out, but you know, come on. Um. A bit of professionalism he says sat in his pyjamas and his I love my boyfriend t-shirt. Um, <laughs> no, what I really like about this game is obviously if you roll blanks on um, your attacks and stuff, it's, it's good and it is annoying, but you do you are able to get inspiration quite often so you can still re-roll them. Mm. And even if you do get ones on your activation, like both of my characters... And yours too. You can still do stuff with ones. So like yeah, you move and attack. You're just a bit slower. My attacks are actually really good with ones. You know, it's it's I I like the fact that you never ever feel completely hamstrung yeah. unless you've got like loads of grievous wounds, loads of status conditions. Yeah, and like it's basically the block. less dice you have makes you worse rather yeah. than what you roll. Yeah, you can always good. attack because you can always use your melee weapon, yeah. which are ones, which I think is nice. Yeah. Hey, I just arrived. Do all hostiles activate at once in Curse City? No. So you basically have you have a set of cards that you draw out, which are about to do. If you want to stick around, you can see how the the activation will work. But essentially, you take it in turns with the cards, tell you who goes next. So that's the end of the turn once again. Mm -hmm. um, event phase. I'm gonna. You wanna roll the twelve d twelve? Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it. Twelve. That's good. Oh yeah, it's crisis low event high, right? A a destiny fulfilled. After the destiny roll is made, move all discarded destiny dice to available destiny dice, destiny dice section of the Sky Vessel board. Yes. That is very handy, guys. Would you like to make the destiny roll? Yeah, I would. 
So basically, we just keep them all this time. Do all the other one as well? There's five. Yeah. So the only turn that we wouldn't keep them all, you roll up perfectly so we wouldn't get rid of any. Brilliant. Okay. I feel like that really embodies who I am as a person. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, so we keep all the dice because we didn't roll any good. doubles and the event would mean if we did roll doubles, we wouldn't discard them as normal. That's a good one, huh? That's a good one because, you're all, again, events, the higher you roll, the better. Crisis, the lower you roll, the better. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> However, dawn of the final day. Move the time oh, clock one. No. And now it is night time, which means all of the enemies become empowered, which means they basically get a different side card, which we will will have on screen. I've set all those up as well. So similar to when we became inspired, <coughs> they also empowered. get empowered. So and they get better tension. Yeah. And they're empowered for the rest of the game. So zombies, for example, move twice as fast and they hit twice as hard. They roll two dice rather than one, yeah. and they move four rather than two. For, as an example, that's the other one I remember off the top of my head. Yeah, but luckily you've only got two points left until we have succeeded in the mission. Yes. So thing, thingies cross. Thingies. <laughs> and we've got to get off the board as well. Oh, for goodness sake. Yes. I forgot about that. Okay, so let's do the initiative step first. So you will see now, if you're still here, how you do. Uh, yeah, so William, Matthew, Robertson, if you're watching, basically the initiative turn will be... Imelda will start, then we will have Jelson, uh, then we will have Cleona, then we will have Glorio, then three enemies. Okay. I Almost don't... a perfect roll. Almost. So that was a shuffled um, deck of cards for who we have in play. Yeah. Give them a shuffle, lay it out in the order that, that you intend to um, activate. Yes. Then we roll our activation dice. So this is Imelda. She rolls those. And do yours. Yeah. I'm going to go this. for Jelson. Oh, hello. Oh, Someone nice. turned up for work today, didn't they? Get <laughs> one by one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Gloria has taken the wound, so he's only got three spaces left. It rolled pretty well. He did, actually, to be fair. And then... Cleona. Oh, hello. Yeah, he rolled girl. Boss. She bossed it. Okay, so now it's the gambit step. So now we can actually rearrange characters if we want to. We roll agility dice, and if we can rearrange with enemies. Which I think I might do. Honestly, I was going to say, I'm not mad about that. No? I'm really not, because I feel like if we can clear this... Can you want to bob the dice thing off so people can see? So we've got Yeltsin here with two enemies. Yeah. Cleona here with an enemy. These two coming up this way. And yeah. you follow it. We could clear them up, but that means three enemies will spawn all at once. I don't... Towards us. Yeah, but I feel like we, we'd be on an empty... I, I don't hate it. But okay. if you want to change it, then I completely understand. No, we'll just we'll, we'll roll with it and we'll see what happens. Because I think like it would be, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't hate it. Okay, cool. So uh, let's go into it then. So we're going to go through the card order again. If you're still here, um, that's what's going to happen. Basically, whatever we draw that goes next. But then you can move it if you want to by spending dice to roll agility. Or Amelda can move it for free with another character if she wants to. Speaking of which, we'll go with Amelda first. Yeah. She's going to spend a four to run. To go one, two, three, four. No, she'll move to there. Oh, hello. She's going to use uh, Death Blow, but she can't actually attack both because they're not adjacent to each other. So oh, yeah, she's adjacent to both, but they're not adjacent yeah. to each other. So she's going to attack this rat, this one closest to you guys. She rolls a crit. That's four damage. Nice. Okay, she'll spend another dice to attack. Mm -hmm. The other rat. Oh. You got your crit and that's you done yeah. for the day. I'll huh? spend my final one to attack. That's a hit with the two wounds. Now they have, because they are stronger now, they have three wounds still. Yeah. I'm going to spend an inspiration to re-roll it. Well, I mean, we've got absolutely bank destiny right now. Oh, yeah. Can I use a destiny dice instead? To yeah, for again? sure. I'll use a one. I'll attack again with the destiny dice. I get a crit. Nice. Hell yeah, we killed him. Uh, you roll your inspo for that because you're going to hopefully do well. Yes. So I've <gasps> I've done... Hello. If you get an inspiration, That's why you will to use flip the destiny to dice. be inspired. She's got two inspiration right this now. I need inspiring. to roll six or less. Yeah, she's finally inspired. This is the first time she's been inspired. <laughs> Such a magical day. Genuinely very exciting. So now she gets a better card. Look, she gets much better dice and she can, uh, she, death blow is cheaper and uh, she can't be stunned or fatigued. I feel like a proud mom. Yeah, I like, would. 
Uh -huh. she, she just gets better dice everywhere, which is so good. She's a really good character, I think. Like, yeah. she's, she's just really, getting there. Really just getting good. there. It's hard. Dawnlight isn't very good. <laughs> Dawnlight isn't very good on his own. But there we go. We did it. We finally did it. Good job, Amelda. Clap. Round of applause all round. Thank you, Love everyone. It. Right, okay. Jelson. Cool. Or is he going to kill some Zombombs? A heckin' yes. Do you want to use your ranged weapon first? Uh, well, I can't because they're, they're there. But it's dual, right? So you can use the dual weapon. No, it's not. It's ranged. Oh, Fire with okay. dual. Hit him with um, a stick then. <laughs> with my blade. Yes. Let's have a look. So, Jelson. Art and blade. I'm going in Art and blade time. Or I'm going to kind of just be like, look at this. It's so good. Go for it. Again? And again. Hello. Crit. How many damage is Four that? Four damage. Okay. Let me just get the card up. I don't I don't think anyone increases wounds. They just get much nastier. Still yeah. three wounds. Um, and again. Yes. Uh, How many damage two is that? damage. Two damage. She's got one wound left. Uh, not sticks. if my firewood sticks have anything to say about it. But he did. I was so ready then for them to, nice. be, to be blank and to not hit. Um, so I have a seek <laughs> in my head. I'm like, well, he can see him from there, so I want to, I want to shoot him, but that's not how it works. That's not how it works, no. Um, I'd say I'm thoroughly enjoying this, guys. Missed the rule a bit, but it looks both fun and balanced. Great stream. Cheers, Ginger Steve. We appreciate you. it. We try not to like dwell on the rules too much. We kind of give a rough overview. We're trying to give an overview of what's happening at the time. Yeah, yeah, um, like a Cliff Notes version of the rules yeah. kind of thing. Would you like to do anything else? He has one activation dice plus two destiny dice available if he wants them. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? This is the... I think, I think you overthink things. If you want to go kill it, just do it. I want to! Go for it! I'm going to use the two to move. Okay. Why am I putting it there? Why do I keep doing that? Which way are you going to go? I, could you, can you do it for me, please? How far does he move? He's moving three <laughs> towards Gorse Lab. Give him a four. No. no. Move that. Give him, give him a run. We'll spend a four to run. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now you can see him. Now I'm going to use... Du du judgment. Judgment. Dudgment. 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 Dud one of them. So spending a three plus to use judgment to shoot. Go for it. Please. 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 You're all okay. success, which is... Two. two oh, damage. he's dead. He's dead. You killed the Halgrim. And he's a champion, right? He is a champion. We gain a point. Yes. Cool, yeah. All right. Oh, no. That's... Oh, how exciting. Okay. Okay. And now, as we mentioned, um, we've killed all the enemies. So now we have no enemies to fight. Would you like to use more Destiny dice to move? Yelson? I don't know. Because we've got two characters left and then it's all enemies. Basically, just move away from the Lich Gates. You think? Yes. I'll pull back from here. You pull back here. Or even stay there. And they'll spawn in that corner. Okay, I'll stay there because I've okay. used Destiny Dice. So I don't want to take the piss. You come back towards here, uh -huh. and they'll spawn over there, which buys yeah. a bit of time. Yeah. Cool. So I'll spend a. Th I'll Glorio's next. Oh no, Cleona's next. Sorry. Well, I've... do you just want to just wait for a reaction? Well, I'm kind of gutted because I got three fives and a six. Yeah. So I'm a bit like, mm, mm -hmm. maybe we should have gone with it. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I. Let's... Do you want to move somewhere where she can shoot? Can you shoot there? Well, then again, if they... They're going to spawn in that corner if I move. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to move with... I'm going to use a five. Can we set up the dice tray between your heads in the middle top next time? Yeah, true. That's probably a good idea. Hmm? Don't worry, it's okay. I'm talking about production. All done? Yeah. Okay. Uh, these are going to go down one each because they... Down to fours and a five. Ah, uh, reaction. And then Glorio, then all three enemies are going to activate at once, even though we said that's not going to happen. It can, can happen because it's random. Yeah, like because of the way the pack was drawn yeah. here. So I'm going to spend a three to run. One, two, three, four. I'm going to spend a six to run. One, two, three. Four. He's such a little wimp. I'm going to spend a one to recuperate. Oh, yeah, so I recuperate as a vitality dice, so it's a blue dice. Yeah, get rid of smashed all it. of it. Okay, and then because he's the last character, he actually has three destiny dice he can use. Um, I could go for a run and secure the do the mystery. One, two, three, four, one, two. I could actually do that. Do you want to? No, I'm yeah. going to stay there. It's okay. a bit of a gamble because sometimes when you search, you can have crisis as you yeah, see. Yeah, which we don't want. And like Cleona in the last game we played got absolutely like, annihilated by. A crisis when she was searching, so I'm really wary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so we are to enemies now. We yeah. don't know what they're going to be. We first start off with two orphan watch, mm. <clears throat> which will bring on a sergeant and a normal dude. Yeah, and they're going to come from. They're going to come in this top corner. And now, because it's night time, let's double check their move. We're going to be moving quick. Move three. Oh. Don't know. They're just better They're in combat. They're the same, right? Yeah. Yep. So, one, two, three. I'll go there. Then we will have number two. We will have a Corsagi Night Guard, the final card in the deck. Oh, we had We haven't. Before. So, a Corsagi Night Guard is a big boy. A big boy. Big boy indeed. So he's gonna come on here. He's a big, big oh, beefer. Oh, he is. He's massive. Beefcake. Maybe he moves three. You gonna go there? <laughs> I always took them out. Yeah. And then we're gonna go with uh, some corpse rats once again. Cool. Uh, the other problem with them not being painted. I know. I know everyone. <laughs> The other problem with them not being painted, I can't tell which is which when I'm trying yeah. to like scan for them. Do they move any faster? No, they move three. I think it's mostly when it One, comes to night two, the combat three. that gets better. Three, yeah. Two. But they can't end on the same space, so they'll just have to stay there. Yeah. Cool. All right then. So that's what we're looking like now. Mm-hmm. Bit of a nasty board. A bit of a nasty board indeed. Not if you're over here by where Yelson is. Well, Yelson's great. chilling. Absolutely chilling. Right, okay, would you like to roll the event, please? The event dice. I keep losing it. Yeah. And then tell the chat what you roll, because I'm not put the camera on. One. A destiny denied. What does that mean? Do you want me to tell you, or do you want to find out? Either way. A destiny denied. Do not make a destiny roll at the start of the next turn. We have zero destiny dice. Well done. I hope you're proud of yourself. Oh, I'm Disgusting. sorry. Disgusting. I'm sorry. I didn't realise that I controlled the law dice? of probability. See these dice? Gone. You rolled a 12 last turn as well. I did. Nice and fine. Nice yeah. one. You rolled the opposite. Okay. So no destiny dice. The clock can't move any further because we're already at max. We're already at top oh, dollar already right peaked. Now. Is that big boy booty miking game? That is me and my dump truck in the game. My dad's going to watch this. I love it. Cool, so the initiative order this time is the Orphan Watch, oh. then Cleona, then uh, Yelson, yeah. then the Corsagi Night Guard, then Amelda, then Glorio, and finally the Rats. I think that's quite all right, actually. Yeah. I think that's quite um, evenly spread out, I think. <laughs> Tom says, Tom Warden says, at least you won't roll any doubles this time. Yeah, well. Okay, Amelda's activation. Oh, she's not feeling good. It's very dark today. One, two, three, six. Glorio. He's, he's feeling half chipper, he's, he's not having the best day. Is that, yeah. Okay. Are all yours? Uh, yeah, for sure. So, Yeltsin. I think he took all of your, your excitement Certainly there, did. to be honest. Um, I, sorry that I take them all one by one. You I'm do. A literal infant who can't hold more than one thing in their hand at the same time. I'll edit this video and just cut out all the bits of Georgie moving nice. It'll be about 20 minutes long. Sure. Go for it. Um, no idea. Two, one, two, four, five. Mm -hmm. Would you like the gambit? Um, I'm going to let you decide because my decision last time wasn't. The no, best. I think it'll be all right. Unless I think want... that's quite evenly spread. Unless so you I want think... to swap with Imelda because she's closer. So she might take out a couple of guys before they get in. But I'd be swapping with Cleona. Um, because Cleona's a bit far away. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want. Yeah, you okay. can do that. For, can you still do that for free? I can do that inspired? for free. Yeah. So battle instincts, basically, um, I can swap the uh, order round with a Melda with one other hero for free. Otherwise, you would have to roll agility dice. We haven't actually done it yet, but it's because we've not really been heavily stacked against. We've always yeah. been stacked for it, so we've, we've got quite lucky. We've been quite lucky, to be fair. I think with mm. it. Okay. It's a nice thing you can do though, like. Yeah. It's a nice little option. But this is also why it's not as punishing as like Dark Souls, because it's like the enemy yeah. activate once. Rather than that, it's every time a hero activates they activate. So Okay, number one. Open watch. One again. Open watch. Yeah, so they will roll on the table. Question. What? So they can what? So they can move through other enemies. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take the most direct route, you can just hop straight over the rats, right? As long as I can't I, I, I just can't end on them. Yeah. They get a 
10. A dance macabre. Macabre. Sorry. You butchered that. A dance macabre. So basically, each acting hostile makes a move and then a charge. Simpleton <laughs> terms, for people who don't know what all those words mean, essentially means they move and they move, they move and attack. They move three times. Yeah. Nasty. And also, for those listening who like the sound of Dance Macabre, fantastic book by Stephen King, all about the notion of horror and the genre itself. Really, really good. Really recommend it. Carry on, as you were. Cool. Uh, so they're going to attack. They rolled a hit, which mm -hmm. is two damage. Uh, Imelda has a red dice to defend. She doesn't nice. have very good luck with that, but there we go. She rolls a blank. She takes two damage. That's I'll good for defence, though, I think. It's a good, it's a it's good, a good die, have. but she's not, she's not very good with those damage. <laughs> yes, the other skeleton will do the same. So he'll move three times as quickly mm. as possible. And he'll do two damage because they, they do the same amount of damage. And then my defence dies. I roll nothing, so I take it's four It wounds. knows. I'm telling you. It knows what you're rolling. Yep, yeah, so she's taking four wounds. She's half dead. Why Okay. Now she will activate. Oh, you know what would be really nice? What? Some destiny dice. That is not, yeah. No okay. She'll spend a six to death blow. So she'll attack twice. She'll attack uh, the normal guy first. Mm -hmm. uh, I can make, because I'm using a death blow, which is five or more. Uh, I can basically attack each mo model that goes in the same space. Yes. I'll attack the normal guy. Get a crit, which nice. is four damage. So that's him dead. And then I'll attack the other one as well. She's much better at attacking now. She'll spend a one to attack him again. <laughs> Got another Better. crit. That's a sergeant dead. Is okay. he a champ He's not a champion. He is, is he? a champion. He is. Yes. Okay, so she gains inspiration because she's got no dice left. Um, so that was five. However, however, we just scored, got ten points. So we're almost at the end of the mission. Hooray! We're at so, the three hour mark as well. <laughs> so happy three hours, everyone. Hooray. So, so this is exciting. So, because mm -hmm. we've got to ten now, that means we've technically succeeded in our mission. Um, that is the, the hunt mission. Yes, kill so, ten, get ten points. Mm -hmm. So, this means that then we can add an extra step to the game, which is our the finisher essentially. Yes, we check the journey's end. Mm. So we will have to now extract our heroes from this scenario, which is not as easy as it sounds, but it is definitely as painful as it sounds. So. What I, I still like to kill everyone first because mm -hmm. it's just fun. So um, essentially, the victory conditions of this mission it it ends if we um, at least one of our heroes not out of action and ten or more hostile champions have been slain. The heroes are successful. So essentially, we have to get out of here to to win. Essentially, so yeah. we have to get one model onto Adamant, mm -hmm. which is mm. if we show you, um, Adamant is. Here, we have to go unlock this gate unlock and get that. one out. That's the plan, but it's sadly guarded by Corsagi Guard oh, and well, three rats. we can rats. go that way, right? Well, yeah. If he's there, we can go that way. Also, can I just say how proud I am of you that not once have you started singing Adam and the Ants when we're talking about the Adamant. Oh, yeah, Adamant. <laughs> I'm good, though. I'm good like that, you see. It's because you didn't realise, right? Anyway, <laughs> it's Jelson's turn. But that's what we've got to do now. We've got to escape. That's the plan. Look. We haven't opened the door yet, so put that down. I know, but I'm just excited. You're a little sneaker. Um, so we have a basically we have another basic action which is allowed to extract. You know that I think the best bet here is for Gloria to make a run for it. So if he's here yeah. and he's got to get to here, I reckon you could definitely do that in a turn. He could do, yeah. He's quite good at doing that, to be fair. Mm. I think that would be a good mm -hmm. a good shout. So in that case, I don't know. So we're know. not going to see the Kosagi Night Guard in action. I know, <laughs> yeah. I'm annoyed, man. Um, we can't extract if there's enemy models in uh, an adjacent space. And sadly... Oh, uh, can you not? No. I literally didn't know that until this moment. It didn't happen last time, that's why. You know what you want to do with Jensen? Yes. you got four dice. Yes. You want to do some running? In a big you way. You could run. I'm... Well, yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, you could go uh, search the mystery. Oh, objects. No, I've I've got traumatic memories from that. Could so be treasure, could I'm be realm use... stone, which no. is worth money. I'm gonna use three <laughs> for a run, so you can move four. One, two, three. Can I do that? Yeah. Four. 
four. Yes, there we go. I'm learning. Um, I am not a mathematician. I also did knock all of my dice. Um, yeah. So just for everyone who's who can't quite see where the red candle is, that's where we've got to pink. go. Pink. It's red on camera. Okay. Um. Um. I'm going to do it again. Another run. Four yeah. spaces. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Okay. Was that impressive? Very good. Very good tonight. You can actually see those rats. You can see these rats here. Can I, though? Yes, because you're in this tile, so you can see everyone in this tile, as well as any adjacent space that's touching it. Understood. You're going to shoot the rats, or would you like to run further? I would like to run again and try and shoot him. But then um, he's going to activate and I'm going to get killed, right? Yeah. He's um, a beefcake. We haven't never seen him empowered, so... Maybe I shoot the rats then, huh? Being a beefcake. He does Maybe... up to six damage. That's disgusting. I wish and he rolls two dice. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Gloria, you he's only got two results on his table. He's either oh, really no. bad or bad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to um, be sad. Glyn, that is a question I'm not really sure of. What's the question? The question is, do you have to get all four off while they live? I Well, I didn't know that because I thought that initially. I thought that you would have to get all four onto, like in um, the Zombies games. Like you have to get everybody yeah. on the hell is that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so I'll just read you the action. But I, yeah. The read that while is, I think about the rats. Yeah, it, the action is extract. So it says, a hero can make this action if they are in a space touching a closed gateway while there's no hostiles adjacent to that hero. When they do, place the extraction zone tile so at least one space is touching the closed gateway and is not touching the other ball tile, then flip the gateway. So it basically adds another room, right? That makes That's easy to understand. Also, you said when there's no one adjacent to the hero, not on an adjacent tile. Well, that's what I, well, it's adjacent. An adjacent means next to, not on, yeah, not on so an adjacent nice. tile. Oh, right, okay, my apologies. That's not what I meant. Um, so then it goes on to Journey's End. After Journey's End, the heroes are picked up by Adamant and can tend to their wounds. Determine success. De to determine whether or not the heroes are successful in their journey, consult the victory conditions in the quest book. So the quest says, just score 10 points. Yeah. So maybe we already win. No, because it says the victory conditions is, if the journey ends while there... If the journey ends while there's at least one hero not out of action and 10 or more hostile champs have been slain. So... Resolve extraction event. The leader rolls the quest dice and looks up the table. Add one to the roll if the heroes were successful in the journey. Add one if the result was nightfall token was in daytime. And then that's it. Determine if you survived. So it doesn't say if you have to make... I presume you have, only one of you has to get there. Kind of like um, most co-op games. You all just teleport there. Cutscene well, starts. We've not rolled to see what the thing... Well, we haven't extracted what yet. What was that? Sentence? We haven't We haven't extracted yet, so don't roll it yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot... So that. I presume... What when one of you gets to the extraction point, that's it. I could be wrong, but that's how I read it. Yeah. You're already there. You then you determine if you've won, which we yeah. will. Have. <laughs> it, you can also leave early if you're really struggling, but it just means you come out with a failed mission. I'm gonna shoot the rats. <laughs> um. You can shoot the rats. Yeah, judge. Go for it. Where's my Where's the blue? Can I have a blue, please? My apologies. Rightly so. Please. Okay, so that's not. Terrible two. Okay, one on one wound. Um, then I'm gonna firewood stakes them. Okay. Or I'm not just gonna show them the firewood stakes and say, look at this, mm -hmm. and do nothing with it. You got inspiration? No. I do not. Okay. I think the plan of action is the Kusagi night guard's gonna go next. That's gonna be bad for both of us. <laughs> um, I think the plan of action is is to fight our way through there, move all the party over here, um, and then let stuff spawn over here and just run away from it. Because the further we are away, the more, the further the enemies are. So the enemies will start spawning over here, so we just run that way. Okay. So we well, see, fight. mine would be to go through there and then there, but that's... That's not epic. We're going to throw it for content. Okay. We're going to fight through the Kusagi Night Guard. Okay. Because if one of us dies, we lose. If If one dies, the party loses. No. Yes. If the journey ends while there is at least one hero not out of action and... So there has to be one of us left. Oh, yeah. No. No, we must all make it out alive. Okay. We have to make it out alive. Right, okay. It's time for the Kosagi Night Guard. Are you ready, gamers? Pray for us. 
Oh, it's not going to go well, I can tell. One to seven is a charge. An eight or nine is ha is nasty. Good oh, job, we got I rolled, a 12. The, I rolled a big... I'm so sorry the thing is on screen. I rolled a big 12. I'm so glad we did that. So glad. Lumbering that charge. Each acting hostile makes two move actions. While they're making those move actions, each hostile can move adjacent to heroes without ending its move action. After both of these move actions have been made, each acting hostile must be adjacent to as many heroes as possible. Each acting hostile then attacks each adjacent hero once. Basically what it means is move to as many heroes as possible and attack as many as you can. I would have thought that would be there. It's there, or here, or there, or here. Yeah, but I figured it was the nearest one possible, and it's two for wherever you are, so I figured that it would be... It just says it can. It has to move to where it hits the most, so we have to decide. Right, okay. So basically, for everyone at home, it's here, here, or here. You need to move the card. People are not able to no, see right. where you're we can pointing. See. We can see. Here, 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 or here. So who do we want him to attack? Imelda's almost dead, so I actually don't want her, him to attack her. Do you want to go to... Because if he gets a crit and she doesn't block any of it, she's dead. Okay, so do you want to go to... I think Between Glorio. Glorio and Cleona? Or Glorio and... Oh, well, what do you think? Jarvis and Yelson. Do you want to go there? I would rather you go between Glorio and Yelson because Yelson's defence is easier for me to roll okay. than Cleona's So he's going to move. One, yeah. two, three... One, two. How many move actions does he make? Two move actions. One, two, three. One, two. He's gonna have to go there. He's gonna have to go there. That's, yeah. what, that's what we said. That's fine. That's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so he's gonna go there. Okay. We just have to rely on me oh, not rolling follower. big dice. Thank it's you much for follow. the follow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um. So he gets two dice. Oh. He gets these two. He's going to hit uh, Jelson first. He rolls oh, a crit. He's gonna roll... Oh, goodness okay. Sake. okay. So that is six damage. Would you like to make a defense dice? Please. We haven't actually made a defense yet. But because you rolled a success, a, a critical, critical success, success, you reduce the damage by three. So three damage. It's better than six, right? Yeah. Glorio will get hit by the Corsage okay. Night Guard. He rolled one damage, which is four damage still. Okay. It's still Thanks. four damage. His defense dice is a blue, so mm -hmm. I'll roll this one. What did I take? Did I take two or three? Sorry. You take three. Okay. So he takes four damage. So Gloria takes two mortal wounds. Two grievous wounds. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Big oofs. Big he's nasty oof. when he's powered up. He's nasty oh anyway. God. Look at him. He's scary. He's very scary, but that, whilst powered up, my God, he is a beefcake. Uh, well, no, could... not, not the closest. He, he just has to end to most enemy heroes, and then the leader can decide, so... Look Stop moving his, the dice tray. But look at his little hat. He has got a little hat. <laughs> okay, so that's him done. Then it's Cleona. Stun him. Stun him. You can see see him there, by the way, where you stood. I'll stun him then. Stun him. Well, I'll try to anyway. Um, can I have a blue, please? Yeah. That's a crit. Yeah. How many damage is that? One. Okay, he's got nine remaining. But he's stunned. He's stunned. I love that. He's bloody nasty. <laughs> you get to lie him down with his funky hat. Question, if you use a weapon that stuns... It, um, if you stun him again, he will take a damage in addition to being stunned. So, I could either stay ranged and keep spamming that, or I could mm -hmm. go nearer and do potentially more damage. Yeah, you can't stun him again. No, I'm just thinking... He's I'm already trying stunned. To do the, I'm trying to math it out. I think it's probably best to go in and attack. That's what I think, because I could get a maximum of three with that and then I'm nearer to where we need to be. The problem to is... facilitate the extraction. Yeah, the problem is, is if he does activate and does a big swing, he'll hit all three of us at the minute. Well, you know what? We're just going to have to kill him before we can do that, aren't we? Hopefully. Um, thrice Bless Mace. I'm going to do Thrice Bless Mace. Okay. Thrice. <laughs> cool. Um, it's not entertaining more than it should have. That was nothing. Attack again. Why is it so like. That's a crit. Oh, How many damage is that? Three. Three, okay. So it really does a little six. amble around, is it? Yeah, I think that's it because I don't think you've got rid of all your dice. I did. She shot, bolt. moved, and then attacked twice. That's four. Oh, it is, isn't it? I yeah. forgot that I moved. Trying yeah. to sneak some extra actions in yeah. in a cooperative game. Okay, that's her done. Mm -hmm. Glorio, time to shine. We're going to go for a duelist. So he's going to go in with Geist Sever initially, 
So if I, if I get a hit, it's a crit because I'm using Duelist. Okay? Yeah. So I get a crit, which is three damage. Yeah, you get a crit because of the, the, the thing. Oh, because of Duelist. Thank you. If I get a hit, it counts as a critical. Okay. So he's on two. No, he's on three, right? He's on three, yes. Now I will shoot Noblesse. Why should we shoot Noblesse? Noblesse. I don't know why. Um, I was going to make, I was going to use Soul Shot Reliquary, Reliquary which is my treasure card. Mm. But if I, basically what it means is if I roll a hit, it becomes a crit. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to roll his Deathly Vigor. We'll roll his Deathly Vigor now. What does that mean? If he rolls a nine, he ignores the damage. No. Okay, so I'm going to, if I would use his treasure card, it makes hits become crits, but the damage is the same, so I'm just going to hit. So I'm going to shoot Noblesse. Noblesse. Damn. I'm going to spend one to re-roll. Yeah, definitely worth it, I think. I'm going to spend two to re-roll. Yeah. Oh, oh goodness, that went out of the box, so you get to re-roll it. It hits. It does three damage. Right then, on a nine plus, he reduces the damage to, to one. Thank God, he's dead. We killed him. We are bosses. Hell yeah. Let's get some spam in the chat. Let's get some big poggers. Let's see your best poggers emotes. We haven't had many poggers today. Okay, and then he's going to spend an inspiration to do a free recuperate. Yeah, for sure. Uh, which is a vitality roll, which is a blue one. Um, and he rolled a blank, so nothing. Do I gain inspiration for doing killing a 10 wounder? No, I rolled 12. Okay. That's, that's the highest one you could have had. <laughs> if you're a sub, show us some pog emotes. You, you've got them. Go for it. All right, then. That's him done. Now we've got the corpse rats. Um, so, corpse rats inspired. Inspired, yeah. They're inspiring they're rats. Empowered rats, aren't they? They're feeling good. Two. Ooh. Sewer swarm. Remove all wound counters from acting hostiles, and each hostile makes an advanced action. Oh, shit. So that rat that we did damage to earlier is back up to full wounds. That's annoying. Then they make an advance. Straight into Amelda. A very annoying. A little bit. Amelda could suffer here. She's not looking too hot. Thankfully, right now. that one's rubbish. Then this guy's gonna make a move. One, two, three to Amelda again. No, she's not looking too hot. No, that's one, which is one damage. Amelda's defense dice is a red one, so oh, she's looking for a success to reduce it by one. Yes. She reduces it by three, so no damage. That's good. Then the final one. one two, three. Can't get in combat. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's that done. That is the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Woof. Woof. That was a that was a rough rough go of it. That one, I think. That was a tough turn, because they're all they're all really good now, so their difficulty level is definitely increased. Definitely. Definitely. Right then. Okay. Event time. Can you roll the destiny dice, please? I'm going to take a sip. Sippy time. Twelve. Twelve. Is that good? That's where we get all of our destiny dice. Yeah. No matter if you roll doubles <laughs> or not. Would you like to... me to roll them now? Yeah, roll them. So we get to keep them all because we rolled a twelve. So we would have lost four of them, but Which we actually keep luckily, them. Luckily, keep them all. Finally came in there. We got two fives, two sixes, okay, and a one. Good way. Okay. okay. My apologies, I'm being a bit slow with the old uh, dice box camera. My apologies, guys. Okay, initiative time. We're going to go with Imelda first. That's good. Then we're going to go with Glorio. That's good. Then we're going to go with Yeltsin. Then the rats. Then the blankety blank. So we've done that one. Right. Then the Cleona. Then the mm -hmm. other blank. Uh, which is the open watch, which we've already got rid of. Okay, I don't think we can do much about the order without gambling, and I can't afford to lose any dice because Imelda's going to get two, which is double five, and then Gloria's going to get two, which is a six and a one. Right, so I'm going to roll Jensen. He only rolls two because he's in a, ooh, six. Hello, hello. In a bad way at the minute. Um, and Cleona is absolutely balling with all four of her activation dice available. So okay. what I think we should do, if I may be so bold, we have got absolutely bank destiny dice right now. Yes. So we need to do as much attacking as possible and recuperate in this turn. So what I think is, if we bin the enemies off, when do they respawn? Those ones will respawn. Like when and not where. Do they respawn at the beginning of the next turn or immediately? When they their activation. So we get to go first. We can just run for it and kill all well, the rats and run. Well, this is what I'm thinking. That's the plan. Know? 
So do you want to gambit? You're still playing. Amazing. Yeah, we're we're in the final turns. This is like the final. We've basically stretch. got to escape. So where the where the pink yeah. candle is here, we've got to get our models over there. As you can see, we're here, and the escape is here. We've got to get one guy over there and survive. Um. So yeah, I'm happy with the order. This is the order we're going to go in. It's left, uh, right to left for you guys. Do you want to gambit? Because I will no. use some of Cleonus to gambit if you want to do that. No, I don't want to. Okay. I want to. I I've got two dice on each one. I'm just going to go for it. YOLO. Are you going to gambit? I, no, I'm not. No? Unless I want to, I was going to say, the only thing I want to do is move Cleona. We'll go for it then. But no, I, I don't think it's worth it. Okay. To be honest. So, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll go for it. We're going to go with Imelda first. Inspired Imelda. She, she's going to use a five because she's got two fives on a card. For death blow to attack both of these rats that yeah. are in front of her. Bear in mind, use your two destiny dice. Like they're good scores as well. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to attack one of the rats. She gets a hit, which is three damage. Mm -hmm. They have three wounds. Nice. Get binned off. She's going to do it again with death blow. <sighs> Nothing. Oh, no. Okay, Draw she's going to use. She's going to use two. Really need to heal and run. Mm. I'll use my one for death. I'll use the one on the, the one? destiny card okay. for a free attack. Now oh. I use the one on my card to attack. There nice. we go. Three. Got one gone. Okay. Did some pretty good work there, though, to be honest. Yeah. So she's killed two. Now your choice. Do you want to... I think I'll... Can I spend one to try and heal? Yes. Okay. That's what I was going to say. Do you want to One Destiny dies run? to try and heal. Her vitality is a blue. I'm looking for a crit, really. No, a hit. So Better, than down, nothing, down, no, nothing. Better than nothing, though. Better than nothing. Okay, that's her done. Glorio. Then we're going to go into Glorio. Glory, glory, Glorio. Radio. Uh, he could actually sit and shoot where he is, but I'm going to spend a five for duelist so he can move and then attack. One, two, three. My apologies, guys. I appreciate you can't actually see that. It's okay. He just decided to clatter into all of my characters. Oh, you can see that. That's okay. Um, so he's not adjacent, but he's going to shoot with noblesse. Here we go. He gets a crit, which is three damage. Nice. So the rat's on one. Yeah, because they're four. I did forget to roll glory for inspiration for Imelda. She gets inspiration. Yeah. She's inspired. Uh, so the rat's on one. I can't shoot again. Can you go in with like an SM melee or? No, I've only got one and then whatever I use on there. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, so if I use one to move. Yep. Well, I'll use my one to move and then I'll use crippling strike. Mm hmm. So, get ill attack with his sword. Oh, not ideal. Not ideal. If I'm honest, not where we want to be. Uh, can I use one more destiny dice? Mm -hmm. So, I'll spend a six to attack again with Guy Sever. Gets a crit. Nice. So, the Blood Rat is dead. And that's cool. him done. That's all the enemies gone. I would like to use, when it comes to my turn, a destiny. Well, I've, well, I've finished, oh, you've finished now. now, haven't you? Yeah, never yeah, mind. That's it. Um,. Maybe I should have used my soul shot relic career at that point. I know it wouldn't have made a difference again. It's just three damage, so. Um, okay, that's me done. Mm -hmm. So now it's Yelson. Mm -hmm. What he like to do? He's gonna make a run for it. I mean, I don't think I don't feel like it's worth me healing, because oh, that's famous last words, right? But if I think he should just run. Yeah, because yeah. if if something's gonna spawn over there. Mm -hmm. Then he's not going to get to us, you know. So I'm yeah. going to use these two sixes. It's like a waste you? of sixes. Yeah. Um, so so I'm... for eight movement, eight, you can yeah. two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you've made it. I have. As long as a crisis doesn't occur. Don't even jinx it. Um, <laughs> but you can't open it because you've got. You could use a destiny dice to open. Yeah. We'll spend a destiny dice to open the gate. You've got to roll a. Sorry, you have to roll a four plus to, to open the gate. Yeah. So we're using a, an action four plus. To summon the gate, we'll have to move the candle out of the way. My apologies, it's dice on screen. It's terrible. Very, very uh, unprofessional. We get the extraction point, and the gate becomes open. And now we just have to finish off the turn. Yeah, so I think <laughs> watch all of these enemies spawn, and then us be absolutely <laughs> overrun and be unable to get there. Yes. But yeah, Yelson is there, which is good, and it's positive, and I'm very proud of him. Okay, That's cool. Speech. <laughs> so number three will be three Ulfen Watch, which will spawn over here. 
be here, right? <clears throat> yeah. Or would it be here? Um, I think it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's literally the it's same. It's the same. So they're going to spawn there. They're going to move three. Mm -hmm. Make sure people can see that's all. That's them. So they've moved from here to here. And then number two is going to be two dead walker zombies. Which would be... Now they of... move four now. Oh, golly. One, two, three, four. And that's that. Then it's Cleona. Make a run for it, Cleona. I, I want to, but also I <laughs> want to kill them. But... We've already finished the mission. I know, but just don't, I just... just need to survive. Okay, okay. Fine. You gonna run away, or are you gonna go for the or the mystery objective? I'm definitely not gonna go for the mystery objective at the all. The candle just the out. candle just gone out. I hope <laughs> that's not like a portent. Um, that's one light out as adamant flies away. Yeah, don't. <laughs> um, if I was to attack them, I'd have to go that way to then go back yeah, to just... where I want to go. Yeah. So I'm gonna blah, blah. just run away. Yeah, to be honest. Just put her next. Just put her on the extraction point. You can move probably like 16 with four runs. Yeah. So with four on the extraction point. It's going to go there. Onto the extraction point. Well, what? Okay. Beep, beep. You can um, hear Adamant in the distance coming in with his little chopper blades. Thing in Prince Charming. Yeah. Run you, fly you, fools. Exactly. Uh, that <laughs> is very relevant right now. And then finally, just to finish out the turn properly, guys, we get three more corpse rats, which will come on here. Yeah. And go one, two, three. Like so. And then another rat behind them. And that is it. Now we check for success. Well, we roll the crisis table initially. Event time. Do you really want me to do this? Yep. So the event is? Nine. Nine. Born hero. We can make a free recuperate action. I'll do it on him because I get to choose. Glorio. <laughs> Glorio, do you recuperate? No. Good. It should have been me. <laughs> okay. So now we have made it to the extraction point. Adamant is flying in and we find out how the extraction goes. Would you like to roll it or shall I? Um, you can roll it. Okay. Because then I can't get blamed if it's So we have an event dead. table here. It's one for 12. If you succeed in the journey, you add one. And if it's still daytime, you add one. So we're only going to be adding one because we only succeeded. Yeah. It's very night. We definitely felt the night. <laughs> very night. And we rolled a six, which becomes seven. Colgo Nugson has scrounged some spare resources from the adamant. Lower the cost of the first empowerment the heroes purchased during the following spend realm stone mm -hmm. step by one to a minimum of one. We didn't actually find any realm stone. However, we make it off. All the heroes escape. Obviously, the board, because it's nighttime, just floods with a <laughs> dice box on Everything. screen. Everything. All the enemies are here. They're all coming after us, but thankfully we make it and off. And we just say, deuces, we've done our and part. We, we, we fly are away. gone. Off we go with Adamant. Bye, Adamant. He Bye. just left Yeltsin there. <laughs> well, you know, he's a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a weapon, isn't he? So. Well... And that's it. We've completed the first journey. That is the first mission. Obviously, it's it's been three and a half hours. Um, we've done a lot of talking. I don't think it would normally take us that long. It first didn't game, before, did it? First game took about two and a half, I think. And we were learning. Yeah, yeah. And also, we weren't playing with the Orphan Watch Sergeant, so it took us longer anyway. Yeah, for sure. So we actually got through the deck a lot quicker. Um, and we didn't get to Nightfall as quick because we didn't, we had, like... didn't keep all sixes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so what would happen then? After you've done that, you'd then get in some experience. You'd try and buy stuff uh, if you found any realms then, which we didn't because we didn't explore the final mysterious token. And so basically you research, you <clears> inspect <throat> them to try and find treasure, essentially. Like, we got some treasures which we can actually take with us, but also you can get realm stone, which is essentially currency, yeah. which you can buy from the engineers on Adamant. Uh, you spend your realm stone, you do your empowerments, then um, you would lose your realm stone if you don't spend it because mm -hmm. it basically runs out of power. Use it or lose it. And then we pick a new journey and that's it. That bit's very like um, very like the part in a D&D &D campaign where after the mission you kind of go recoup, you, go to the you shop. level up, you, you do that kind of bit. It's the admin section. So if you're playing it as a campaign, which obviously we, we intend to do, please let us know if you wanted to, us to stream it because I want more excuses to play it. <laughs> and if, if I don't have to do it on stream, then I'm going to be like, oh, I'm busy. So please let us know. Yeah. Um, so someone just asked, would you mind explaining how you would upgrade your characters? Well, that is a very good question. I kind of read it yesterday, but not very yeah. well. Absolutely. So that, again, <laughs> plays into the campaign element. So as you play it with different journeys, you level up your characters um, as you progress through the entire campaign. 
Um, and there's, I think there's different ways of doing it, isn't there? Yeah, so essentially when you complete complete a mission, you gain a novice token, yeah. which is the silver one. That's on it. Um, and then, oh, you can put it there if you want to show. Yeah. You gain a novice token. Um, if And then if they already have that, when they gain more experience, it becomes a veteran token. Then if they gain more experience while they've got a veteran token, they gain a level. So it's quite hard, not quite hard, but you have to put a lot in to gain a level, mm -hmm. which is great in one respect because it means, oh, cool, you get a lot of playtime out of it, you get a lot of different um, options and you get a lot of different journeys out of it, but also mm -hmm. it can be difficult because you're not just kind of levelling up and it can feel a little bit grindy. So I yeah. can definitely see that from both perspectives of it being good and it being a bit of a pain. Mm. But um, You could definitely shorten it down by maybe making it two missions. When you get the gold one, you mm -hmm. automatically grow level. Or you could just make it as every time you complete mission, you grow a level. You just you just fly through the yeah, campaign. Yeah, you could you could definitely house rule that. I think yeah. it wouldn't be too. So when you gain your first level, you gain traits. So there's another pack of cards, um, and each trait is relevant to each type of hero you've got. So if you've got like a blade hero, you gain uh, you gain certain traits for them, and then you can get a class. Uh, for example, blades are experts in all fields of battle and can stand toe to toe against all comers. As they reach high levels, they become excellent tacticians as well as better fighters. Mm. So there's like another pack of cards which you then gain traits, which is basically special rules as yeah, your so characters get better. And it's, it's relevant to the level that you've got. Yeah. Um, it's not this, it's on another pack of cards. No, but I'm saying like for Cleona, oh, right, Blade cool, would be like where Lawmaster she is. Yeah. You have like a little brief breakdown of what you are, yeah. what class you are, how you can gain it through that. Tall Paul, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Really appreciate it. And thank you very much for hanging out with Jin It's Thank um, you. Obviously, I'm got, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, but uh, also we really, I think we enjoyed playing it as well. 100%, so. yeah. Um, everyone's saying, Tom says stream it, Ginger Steve says stream it. Maybe we should stream it. Um, Good city Sundays. As yeah. part, like, I, it, Sundays I'm like in work for a full day, so I am sleepy, but I, I definitely, I definitely would definitely like to do mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So once you've upgraded your characters, you then spend your realm stone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you gain empowerment cards which are essentially like random buffs you can get armor and weapons and stuff like that um then you pick a new journey and then it tells you how to pick a new journey you have essentially have another deck of cards which you draw from i, I we don't have them all out because i just want to keep it tidy because i'm so, anal <laughs> but you draw but, an exploration card then set up your board tiles then play another mission yeah so in answer to the question about leveling up there are different ways to do it mm -hmm. you've got your novice and veteran level um, where you can go novice veteran level or you've got the ways um, that Mikey said in terms of like buffing your character and giving them extra extra things that's yeah. a terrible way of describing it but as opposed to leveling up you can collect things that buy items character... essentially yeah thank you my brain was just buffering. essentially when you're on adamant you're in a town if you're playing D&D &D, you're in the town you can go to shops mm -hmm. go to armories and stuff like that buy items buy weapons and yeah. stuff like that and generally upgrade yourself and then you grow levels and then as you're growing levels, you gain more abilities. So upgrade as yourself as or upgrade your equipment? Yeah, as far as I understand, that's kind of sounds right from what I've read. Uh, but overall, it's a really, it's a fun game. Um, again, we play a lot of board games. It's a really fun cooperative game. I would say currently it doesn't feel hard. It feels grindy. So mm -hmm. if you're into grindy type board games, then this is probably for you. If you're looking for a challenge, then this is a challenge, obviously, when they're empowered. And maybe when we get further into the quest, it might feel a bit more um, more difficult rather than grinding. Yeah, for sure. Because we were playing the first level, you know. We're essentially supposed to play three levels before we grow a level. As you grow levels, the encounters get harder because essentially we were using zero. Mm -hmm. If we were level five, yeah. it's going to be out of focus anyway. Okay. Um, so level zero, this is a two dead walker zombies. If we were level five, we bring on a bloodborne, three zombies and three on from watch, which is obviously quite a lot. I'm never too sure about difficulty being on the amount of enemies you have rather than the enemies getting better, as yeah. I mentioned earlier. So I'm not sure. We'll have to try that out. Um, if you enjoyed it, then let us know again. We, we might stream it. Um, also, for doing a hunt, you reduce influence, but fear does go up. Yeah. So it kind of makes you choose certain mission types. Yeah, that's also what happens. We reduce. So essentially, at the end of this quest, once we've completed <clears> it... Um, you after this journey you grow the fear by one so people get there's consequences to each mission you play um so you basically as the town that the city you're working in it can grow more fearful or it can feel more influenced by radicar the great wolf the ultimate big bad in this game so that's the thing kind of thing you can't just like farm the same mission you've got to go all the do all the scavengers and hunts yeah. and stuff um, <clears throat> so scavengers and uh, there's another one i can't remember what it's called now 
A scavenger uh, hunt and something else. Oh. Yeah, we just did hunt. Yeah. Um, but that's something that I really like. There's so many moving parts to it, and there's so many different elements that you can do. So you've got your influence and your fear factor that, in, that affect your future gameplay. And deliverance. <laughs> deliverance, yeah. Which is great, I think. Even like having a table for how the extraction goes, I think, it is it is a campaign game. Whilst you could very, very easily roll and just set up a board and play one session like this, I really like the little details that are put in to affect mm -hmm. how it would play as a campaign. I mm. think that's really, really nice. Yeah, exactly. Um, what was the... Was that a standard get length for a playthrough? So we obviously took a lot longer because we're, you know, presenting the game, essentially. Um, we played yesterday. Our first game took about two hours, maybe two and a half. Yeah, and that was just learning. But we were learning well. the game as well. So you're probably looking for, like, this sort of mission, especially while you're low level, probably like an hour and a half to two for each mission, for each playthrough. Mm. Um, it says two on the box, doesn't it? It says so two I to think... three on the box, or two yeah. To three, yeah. So ours was obviously a lot longer. It's been, like, nearly four hours, but we're doing a lot of talking, you know? Um... So your dice rolls were pretty bad and you weren't putting sergeants out at the start, plus interacting with us. I'd cut off an hour off at least two and a half hours. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So we're about that two and a half fair. hours, I reckon. Uh, thank you much, Andy. Really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, if you've got any more questions, now the time to ask. Um, basically, I'm really excited to play another game. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we can take our characters. Essentially what you do, you get loads of bags. You take your characters, you put they them in the bag. They give you the bag. This is a such... A, I, I'm sorry, I will let you finish that sentence, but... The, it's such a simple, simple thing. Mm. Give us the little baggies to put the tokens in. Because so often games will just be like, yeah, have at it. Your tokens are everywhere now and they're yeah. lost in the hoover. But you get... I got so excited I pulled my mic off. I don't know why you didn't chuck it up your jumper. Um, yes, they give you the little baggies so you can put in your... So Yeltsin here, he's going to keep his wounds, uh, keep the dice, keep his token. He will heal. All he in one... No, but like... He'll keep... Yeah, you keep your items, what you've got together. Basically, if you collect anything, you yeah. keep that. You lose your inspiration, you lose your wounds, you basically heal up. If you die, you die. That's the end of them for the yeah. campaign. You have to play with another character. If you lose five characters in total, you would lose the campaign. You have to start again. Mm. Um, and then if the if you, if you the city gets too fearful or too influenced by Radakar the Great Wolf, then you also lose as well. You if do. it reaches ten, basically. It starts at five. So, obviously, mm. it goes up and down. Yeah. Um... It's a great job, Mikey and George, you're awesome stream. Really appreciate it, Glenn. Uh, thank, thank you very much you. for watching and tuning in. Um, will I paint the minis on stream? Potentially. I do really like the minis. They're nice. There's a lot to do, though. Yeah. There's a lot to do, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. But we'll work it out. And I think that's going to be it for now. Did you, do you like it? You haven't given me your opinion. You I like I like, opinion. I like. the game. Obviously, you know, it's, I'm going to have to compare it to Dark Souls because it's a very similar feeling game. I really like that game. And I think this is more, ca more. This is better for casual, more casual players. That's what I'm trying to say. It's better for more casual players, um, and for people who are getting into board games, getting into exploration games. People who are into D and D, mm. um, and I think it's a really, really fun board game. The only downside I'm feeling is it does feel a little bit grindy to grow levels, but not in a fun way. I'm not sure yet. We've only played one mission. Yeah. The grindy aspect doesn't excite me. Mm -hmm. Um, when I do play Dark Souls, if you die, you actually reset all the rooms. I'm very much one of those people who's like, well, I've already beat this room like three times now, so I'm just going to skip it and gain all the experience. Very much like that. So I'll probably do that. Very, I'll probably do something very similar in this. <clears throat> I'll probably be like, okay, we've completed two missions now. We're at level six. We've already done all the missions already. Shall we just skip one and go to level seven? I will not allow that. For well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I am so, so, so pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, my my gaming preferences yeah always are gonna lie on the board gaming side of um of tabletop like i like tabletop games and i've played a fair few of them you know mm. um, but we've but... been kind of playing games workshop games which are just basically war games but in a box this is it so whereas we've... this is not it's a board game you we've... know we played um war cry war cry we played Holmes, yes. Cast... and what else do we play brian, brian exus. exus as well mm -hmm. and whilst i definitely enjoyed them both mm -hmm. this is one of those things that by comparison but. has done them a disservice <laughs> because i really 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 enjoyed this and this is definitely a game like i was talking to my friend about it today and she loves board games and i said mm. oh i'm really excited for when we can finally get together and play this because i think you really enjoy it yeah. i think it's got such a wide appeal 
Yeah. It's not and a war game, it's a board game. Yeah, I'm a little goth, so it's full of like yeah. you, the goth stuff. So I was I trying to it. get Georgie excited about it. She was like, I don't really get it. And I was like, yeah, but... Yeah, but they're vampires. vampires. And I was like, sign me up. Zombies. Yeah. And it was like, let's go gamer. Um, but I love it. I think it's really versatile. And not to make myself sound completely stupid. Oh, no. It, it, it's easy to understand. Yeah, it's because really easy. Because don't get me wrong. When you play something like Warcraft, when you play something like Pariah Nexus... If you play Warhammer, sign as a pound, you're sorted. You can, you know it off by heart. Whereas for me, I'm not a, a Warhammer player first and foremost. So mm. I find it difficult to engage the enjoyment center of my brain because I had the concentration center of my brain trying to figure stuff out. Whereas for you, it's second nature, right? Yeah, yeah. I do it all the time, you know. Whereas this, once you've had a turn or two, you just you just know and it's you feel really, like it's really, really comfortable. Simple. And it's, it's because yeah. I think it's the way the, the, the game functions is really simple. It's just like roll dice, whatever the numbers are on the dice decides what you can and can't do. Mm. And it's all on your cards, you know. The only ones that aren't are very generic, like run or heal and stuff like that. Um, it's yeah, overwhelming the, because there's a lot of stuff. But... Yeah, and that's kind of what I said at the beginning. There's a lot happening in this game, but it happens sequentially, not simultaneously, which really helps because you basically go mm -hmm. through the book and do it one at a time. Because you think in a turn, the clock ticks, mm -hmm. you score points, Enemies get interact each time. All the characters have to, they can gambit. Then they all activate. They can do multiple activation. Then you got the cr events. You got crises happening. Then you see if you won the mission, and then you have to get off. You know, you have to get off and get to adamant. You know, yeah. that sounds really complex. But when you go, okay, turn one. What do we do? Yeah. Step one: tick this over once. Cool, we're done. Yeah. Now we roll some dice. Cool. Now we're done. So it, it, it is relatively simple. And again, for me, someone who plays games like this all the time, and I'm very familiar with the language, because it's very familiar language from Age Sigma and 40k. Really easy for me, but I imagine for casual players, again, once you explain, like, okay, you can do these sort of actions, yeah. they might be, need to be reminded of the numbers they need, but overall, it's really simple. Yeah, 100%. It's super accessible um, in terms of gameplay. Yeah. In terms of the price, again, coming at it from a... It's difficult because you've got to try and reconcile the board game and Games Workshop parts of your brain. So GW are known for their beautiful minis, but also their <laughs> price, price tags. tags. Yeah. So as a Games Workshop product, it's, it's I think it's good it's, value. Yeah, GW really good value. Good value. Again, you compare it to the, I did a video the other day. And you can also go check it out about the value of Curse City because it got leaked that it was 125 quid. Mm. In a sentence, it's two pound for mini plus all the cardboard for free to play a full game. That lasts as yeah. well. And plus, you're not going to be buying it direct from GW. You're going to be buying it from any other discount store. So it's going to be less than £2 a mini, you know? Plus, you can't for free. When you break it down like that, people won't do that. Because at the end of the day, if you're having to lay out 125 quid, that's a significant mm -hmm. amount of money for a lot of people. And the thing is, it's one of those things is an initial outlay that is quite large. But mm -hmm. you've got a lot in it. You've got hours and hours and hours. It's a campaign yeah. game. And again, I bring back the Dark Souls and the... The Gloomhaven comparison because I feel like they're the ones that are very, they're the closest. I think they're yeah. similar to it. You know, Dark Souls is you're looking at ninety quid, then you've got your expansions on top of it. Yeah, and for Gloomhaven, you've got the length of the campaign, one hundred and eighty quid. I think was there's the... not as much in the Dark Souls board game in terms of miniatures and yeah. the worst miniatures. This is it. I mean, I love them, but they are worse. It's rubber plastic, you know. It's like yeah. resiny, bendy plastic, like toy plastic, like board game plastic. Whereas this is Games Workshop minis. They're different color. That's the only thing. Um, so I think it's a good game. If you didn't pre-order it, then congratulations. You're one of the lucky few who did. Sure, right? Um, but Games Workshop, thank you much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Can't quite see your name from over here, but thank you. Um, Games Workshop haven't said anything to me about the production or anything like that. However, Blackstone Fortress, which came out like nearly three years ago, is still available on the shelf. So don't worry. If you do want one, I'm sure it'll come back on the shelf very soon. Three years ago. Like nearly three years ago, yeah. I've had yeah. it a long time. I've still not done anything with it. Um, so be aware that don't go and buy it off eBay. Just wait. It'll come on the shelf. Let's be real. We've got yeah. plenty to paint already in the back backlog. We don't need any more right yeah. now. But obviously, the company is struggling with the pandemic. So they haven't made as many, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So uh, not that I'm pandering, not that I'm a shill. I'm saying it's a good game because I like it. Yeah. And I'm saying it's a good game because Georgia likes it as well. Yeah. So that's and my like... that's my reasoning. They're not paying me to review it. They sent me a copy so I could review it. Yeah. It's very different to being, you know, a lot of people will say you're a shill because you get free stuff. They did send it for free, but they didn't pay me to say it was good. There's also a lot of discourse going on around that. Yeah. I'm not going to touch on it because you've been doing for like four hours. But yeah, it's um, 
it's really fun and I'm not paid to say that I just live here. You just live here? Yeah. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. I preferred it. I just have to ask Georgie nicely not to leak what I've got because she's not under an NDA. <laughs> um, but I, um, I feel like it's really, really enjoyable. Far more enjoyable, no offence, than the other box games that I've played with you. I love you, but they're not for me. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I feel like it's very accessible. I feel like I could sit down and play it with my friends who don't even know what Warhammer is mm -hmm. or the ones that have no interest in finding out. It's good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Big going, thumbs up. I think up. we're going around in circles now. We can keep saying how good it is. I know. Okay, fine. Sorry. Yeah, not you, us. Uh, so you compared it to a redo of Hero Quest the other day. It isn't bad value if you can compare to other things. Yeah, exactly. So Hero Quest. This is it, yeah. It's, it's Hero Quest, but Games Workshop doing it rather than Hasbro doing it now. Yeah. So. Uh, so that's it. So we're going to go. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for the donations from Steve and everyone. I uh, obviously have Weather from all to send a donation as well. Thank you very much for the subs. Really, really appreciate it. If you liked it, then let us know. If you're watching this back, congratulations for getting it through. You are an, an excellent legend. 100%. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see another stream of it. We will consider doing it or make it, make it into a video. But George would really like to do it. I would really like to do it. I'll try and get like at least some colour on the model so they look at, like, they're like differentiated a little bit. I didn't want to spray the bats black exam because it's just like a black yeah. miniature. Um, but otherwise, uh, go and check out Jay's stream at twitch.tv slash Mohawk Miniatures. He'll be, li be live for another 10 minutes. He'll be so, alive like, for he'll, he'll be alive minutes. and oh live for at least another 10 minutes. Um, we did overrun a little bit, but there you go. So thank you much for watching. Check out other videos on the channel. Hit subscribe. Join the small board gang. Love you all. And good night. <laughs>